All right, what is up, everybody? His Royal Fat is here, and welcome back to the channel and to another live stream. Today, I will be playing the FV215B, this long beloved tier 10 British heavy tank of mine, to determine whether or not the tank is finally goaded. That should be fun. A little hint the tank's always been good. It just might be a little better than it was before. Anyways, hope everyone is doing well. Welcome, welcome. We have uh, Kamu, Batman, Zeon, Dwarf, Ominous, Lightning, Falk City, Tennessee, Gentleman, Hitman, Yuri, uh, Aiden, Russian Disaster. You said you'll be back later, so greetings right now. How's it going? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Please do, if you'd be ever so kind, and uh, tap that like button for... Uh, like button yeah click a uh, like button for me it is appreciated thank you very much and so here's what's up guys fv215b update 9.1 saw as most of you know an incredible amount of changes to tier 10 the 215b definitely did not miss out on those changes now for the last uh you know couple of years or so the 215b has been kind of stuck in a bit of a ditch where it wasn't really bad but nor was it really great it was very kind of average and cultured enjoyers like to play the 2 and 5 b um now it actually is going to be a lot more competitive so first significant change it got its old damage per minute back which is close to 3000 if you're running calibrated over 3000 if you are running rammer that dpm is great it always had good accuracy and also its hash pen got bopped up to 187 that is a ton of hash pen you'll be able to pen so many tanks uh, through the lower plate, through the sides, heavy tanks with Hesh. It is very, very nice indeed. And so the gun's great. Everyone knows this. 2 and 5B, one of the best, hands down, best tier 10 heavy tank guns in the game. But <laughs> it still has fundamentally the same flaws that 2 and 5B has always had. And that doesn't make the tank bad. It's just what balances it out. So... In terms of armor profile, turret armor, as we know, it's pretty good. Unless people get very lucky and hit the flat front of your hatch or have enough heat pen to go through the front of your turret, your turret armor is very nice, but your hull armor do not expect to bounce pretty much anything from your hull. And unfortunately, you have a rear-mounted turret on a ginormous hull with gigantic drive wheels with almost no effective armor. That means if you get caught out, if you get tracked in the open, any kind of situation that's unpleasant, you're just getting destroyed instantly and so that puts the 2 and 5b into a difficult position because unfortunately you're like okay well no armor but a good gun maybe has great mobility its mobility is very passable but it's not stellar in the current meta we think of tanks like the 5a the is7 the 113 the t125 now uh, amx to be all these other heavy tanks that are going like up to 45 or even 50 kilometers an hour and have all have all just had their traverse speeds buffed the 205B is still stuck at 34 kilometers an hour top speed. That is, in my opinion, the biggest limiting factor on this vehicle. Because if this tank was to go, I don't know, 38 or so, it would be so much better. But I think it is balanced in its current state. If we're even going to give it a gun that is this goaded, then it needs to have some weaknesses, unlike Type 71s. <coughs> type 71s. <laughs> so, now you know what's good, what's bad about the 205B. It does have good traverse. And uh, unfortunately, with the rear-mounted turret, you are forced to kind of side scrape around. That's because if you decide to pull around with the front of your hull around a corner, yeah, you're getting permatracked and dying. You're dead. So you side scrape in this tank, knowing that there's a very good chance with whichever tank you were playing against is just going to pen your hull regardless. But you do it to limit your profile and prevent yourself from getting tracked. That's something you'll have to keep in mind. Let's jump into some games because I love the 215B. But I would be lying to you if I didn't say that even in its current buffed, in my opinion, overall buffed state, it did get an extra 150 hit points, I believe. It's it's still a very skill-dependent vehicle. You have to know how to play this tank, how to utilize it to its best ability in terms of its firepower, while also negating its weaknesses, such as its armor profile and its mobility. And so let's look over at the enemy's lineup to start this first game off. Three tank destroyers. Yeah, that's what we like to see. As far as heavy tanks go, they do have a Yo and a couple uh, other tier 9 heavies. Nothing I'm super scared of. I have a 50B for support as well as a lot of TDs. I think here's what we're going to do. So 2 and 5B is best in a haul down situation. If you can get this haul tank haul down, it actually performs pretty well. Now I'm going to make sure I have a lot of support here. We can see the Patton 405 are coming with. 50B looks like he's headed this way. Other two TDs are kind of sitting in spawn. But the enemy's heavy tanks... 
I'm not super worried about. We can easily deal with a yo as long as we're hitting our hat shots and, you know, the 50 TP 75. So what I'm going to do for the start of this battle is uh, let's try and see if we can kind of catch someone off guard. Now, there is a wild uh, 50 TP being extremely aggressive here. We managed to get a shell into him right off the bat. And actually, we might even get a second shell into him. And that's where that new increased damage per minute comes in very handy. Looks like there's a 183 over in this bush up top over here. We will try and not poke Mr. 183 so we don't get nuked with a head shell and the 50 TP gets taken out. So, so far, not so bad. We did ricochet a shell. It looks like it hit right near our turret ring. So pretty lucky that he didn't hit our upper plate there, which would have been a pen for him. But for now, for now, we're chilling. So obviously the enemy team is... It's quite split up here. You know, they have this 183 just kind of chilling up here. Uh, he's not going to be too, a super big problem soon. I can see the Yo is pushing through the mid, and he's putting our poor T22 into a crossfire. So I think what I'm going to do... The 183 doesn't seem like he's going to be a significant concern, hopefully, uh, soon enough. And I'm going to see if I can start crossfiring out the enemy team. Now, this Yo... Might be a prime target, although there are still unspotted tank destroyers. Yeguru, 4005. Yo gets spotted in the open. We do take one shell there, and I believe that was from the 4005, as you can see. And here's a projectile. I'm just going to shoot AP because I didn't have time to load up Hesh there. And we also know that the 4005 is somewhere around that corner on A. The Yo is about to get taken out, which is good news. And this 183 actually kind of has shots on me if he pulls forward. But I think considering the kind of crossfire reason right now, we don't have to worry about him too much. Let's see. If he gives me a shot, we can try killing him here in just a moment. But I think, I think he's going to get taken out by my allies before that can happen, hopefully. But we're waiting to see. This 183 definitely needs to go down here. Uh, he, I think he can tell I'm looking at him. Let's see if we can splash the top of his turret with Hesh. Oh, come on! This gun is so good. Okay, picking up an essential kill shot there. The Yo is also taken out, and let's see... Almost able to snapshot a shell to the Progetto, but the DPM did allow me to even try and take a shot there, which obviously the old... FE-215B couldn't quite pull off there. All right, so e 50 might have spotted me up. We know the 4005 is over at A. The Jaeger is pulling in towards the mid here. And, oh, well, that's not really what I wanted to see. Let's put a quick shell into this Jaeger. And I do want to discuss the equipment real quickly in a moment. But also, I want to demonstrate to you just what this Hesh can do. Side of a Yak, boom, 500 Hesh into him like it is absolutely nothing. And then we're just going to kind of pull once again across away from him, wait for him to get snagged on the building, pick up a quick kill. So with this speed boost consumable, that allows you to make plays like that where you can kind of catch that dude off guard and just, you know, nuke him. All right, we have a wild E50 here. Let's put a Hesh shell towards him. I thought that was the side of his turret, but I was clearly mistaken. And this game is actually pretty close. 405 is up top over there. I'm just going to work my way into killing this E50M. And as far as this game is concerned, it wasn't like an incredibly high damage game for me. The enemy team was kind of split up all over the place, but we still were very effective in kind of getting our tank into the game using the gun. And especially clearing out that Yak Panzer E100. Now, in terms of equipment, for your provisions, run the equipment that improves your modules. Take my word for this. The 205B has some of the worst fuel tanks and driver injuries possible in this hall. And so if you're not running that, that provision set that increases your modules, you will quite often get caught on fire and die. Now, it looks like the 405 is about to take out our poor 50B here. 405 in the open, though. Easily able to snap a quick kill shot onto him. That puts us at just about 3,000 3, damage for this game. Maybe if we kill the Progetto, we will get that 3,000 damage. But so far, it looks like the game is pretty much over for the enemy team. Almost able to snapshot the Progetto here as far as caps are concerned my team definitely have the lead and so if we are fast enough to get around this corner we can put a kill shot into the progetto for 3,000 damage five kills so picking up a lot of kills this game we we're able to take advantage of some of that hesh as well using that mobility equipment uh consumable to you know circle that yag there pick up a quick kill on him and then you know adrenaline and stuff like that but i'm just going to show you because this is a super important piece of equipment protective kit absolutely all 215b drivers should be running this because if you are not Take my word for it, you are going to suffer every single module, your fuel tanks catching on fire, your driver dying constantly in this tank. This definitely lessens that effect. So you should run that. That is something I should have mentioned at the start, but for those of you who are uh, just now joining, keep that in mind. All right, let's jump into a second match here, and here's what we're going to do. Uh, looking into this lineup the enemy team have, they have a pretty mobile medium lineup. Now, I don't usually like fighting A side on this map, but since we are on the south spawn, and the south spawn is actually much better suited for going A because you can hold down low, and the enemy team have to kind of overextend to shoot you, I think I will go for the A play. Now, in terms of tank lineup, they have a VK, E100, Kranwagen, T100 Progetto and a Leopard PTA. So I'm not super scared of facing any of these vehicles. None of them are really that difficult to deal with, except for maybe the Kron if it's haul down. 
as far as tank destroyers are concerned, just a Waffenträger. So, I'm gonna see if I can push my team over into A cap here. Although, with the enemy team already on D, that does suggest that their team is not headed this way. So, we're left at a crossroads here. What do we do? Do we push in and, and into their spawn, or do we pull back and try and hold our spawn? What I'm gonna do, for starters, is try and get the A cap. Because we don't want to fall into a massive cap deficit. This map, as it is a supremacy matchup, we don't want to be stuck in a position where the enemy team have triple double caps versus zero so i'm gonna start out by capping a i'm gonna head back into spawn odds are their team's gonna push through the middle of factory towards b and through our spawn towards our tank destroyers and i think that's gonna provide me a lot of potential farm where i can maintain a hold down position now there appears to be an afk e100 in the enemy spawn i would love to farm that up but I'm thinking more for the dub right now than my initial damage farm. And I think right now, with my whole team yoloing into enemy spawn, we have to do something about maintaining some of this map control. So let's see if we can spot anyone up for the time being. And we do find the VK-72 and Kranwagen are indeed both headed in towards our spawns. Put a quick shell into the VK, making use of that incredibly good gun handling. And then we're going to pull back ever so slightly from the Leo PTA. Let's see if he gives me a shot on his lower plate here, picking up a kill maybe. Unfortunately, that one doesn't quite go in. But I know if the Kran pulls forward, and Waffenträger that I should be able to maintain some crossfire on these dudes. So here's the VK-72. He's not currently in a position to shoot at me, but that's a whole lot of tanks. Okay, boys, that is way too many tanks. Put a head shell into this dude. We're running away. I don't want to be the one to abandon this uh, this Jaegeru, but just looking at this lineup, you know what? I have a yo with me. Here's what we might be able to pull off here. We might be able to get kind of behind these dudes. Nah, I can see that the VK is turning around for me. I won't be able to do a sneaky flank here. But I actually have a yo with me. I, I didn't notice that at first, so I wasn't paying attention. And so that's why I went to make a break for it. I have a feeling, yeah, my team's catching up with me. We won't have to worry so much soon. So firstly, let's back up for Monsieur, Mr. VK here. It is one to one. The VK looks like he wants to push in towards me. That's fine. Let's aim for an APCR shell in the front of his turret. Unfortunately, that one doesn't quite go in. We're going to try and back up around this corner here. Uh, managing to get a ricochet off of our upper plate. That's a pretty big uh, rarity for something like the FE215B. Let's aim for a track shot, keeping him in place. Very nice indeed. We're just going to continue kind of farming out this VK. And I think I actually might start kind of pressuring him. So let's get up close and personal. Very nice. Try not to give him a clear haul shot on us. There we go. We get another ricochet. Let's pull back before the Waffen Traeger can nuke me. Put another shell to this VK so he gets taken out. That just leaves the Waffenträger who's way overextended now. Now, if he's not running a spall liner, we might be able to pull off his 644 HE. And here's where I'm just going to accept I'll take a shot to nuke this man. 320. Looks like even though I hit him below his gun shield, that was not quite enough. And unfortunately, we fluffed our pen there. But it's not the end of the world. We can put another Hesh into him. And wow, my team made quite the comeback. Wasn't really expecting the team to make this comeback, which is why I kind of ran away from there initially. I'll just take a shot from this poor dude. But, um... You know, good play by the good play by my allies. They cleared the enemy spawn very quickly, but they returned immediately, which is why this game turned out to actually be a dub in the end. It's because they came back immediately to support us in our spawn. I was gonna make a break for it because if I'd stayed there, there's a really good chance their whole team would have just been like, ah, oh, free two and five B. Let's just kill them. And I wasn't a hundred percent sure how fast my allies were gonna come back and assist. But uh, in the end, that also kind of damaged my damage farming potential for this battle because. Well, I didn't get the farm a whole lot with their team just doing that. So let's put a quick kill shot. <laughs> a kill shot into the T1LT, he said. It would kill him. No, of course it doesn't. We bounce off the T1LT. But he gets taken out by the 183. 3,000 or so damage again. Once again, not incredible farm, but the tank performed quite well. And we did use its mobility, I think, pretty effectively there. And made the right decision holding our spawn. It's just... In a situation where you know most of your team is in the factory and it's kind of just you and a Yag and I I, I wasn't I didn't realize the yo was with me at first, so I thought it was just us two. Um in that kind of situation, I was like, I gotta get out of here because I'll probably get yellowed by six enemy vehicles. Turned out it wasn't the case because my whole team just flooded back, but um not not a terrible game. Uh, if I wanted to farm more damage, I probably could have just stuck around and DPM'd everyone, parmed like four and a half and died. That was an option too. But at the time I didn't want to throw my tank away for uncertainty uh watching for the beach or ghost hey welcome venice you need a legendary mustache attachment for your vehicle i think this is a great idea <laughs> uh we're gaming Make it happen. Almost 100 likes. Thank you so much, guys. And so let's start this match off by looking at the lineup. Triple Tank Destroyers 2 and 5B Concept Sheridan M60. Okay. I'm going to go support our beds. Uh, firstly, 2 and 5B, once again, more suited for holdout engagements rather than your typical uh, 
kind of heavy tank engagements. So we're going to try and avoid those heavy tank engagements. I have my turret turned here in case I get spotted by the Sheridan or something. You never know if they're going to try and shoot you in the crossing. And I help my team out in A. Now, as far as support goes, we have a 405 on the rails, which isn't the worst case scenario. And so far, my meds have really spotted nothing, but they haven't really pulled forward enough to give me good info on what the enemy team could be doing at the moment. I'm going to hold here in case they send someone to this corner. And until we know precisely where those dudes are, I want to be just a little bit careful about what we do. Now, it looks like there's an enemy 205B crossing in the open. Managed to hit a nice shell onto him, but unfortunately, it hit some angle where it didn't pen. But at least we know we kind of have some crossfire on our man's Mr. 215B here. Now, I'm going to pull back before I get hit by the concept. So, surprisingly, the enemy concept 1B actually did head to this side. So, I was correct in assuming they would send some tanks this way. Now, our STB is kind of making a bit of a mistake here and not really being... Uh, he's kind of pulling back when he should really kind of chill here. I have a feeling this concept's going to pull forward in just a moment here. We can see here's the concept. Let's just put a headshot onto him and pull back. Our 2 is going to flank him anyways. So, boom. He shoots hatch at me. Surprisingly, his hatch hit. Mine didn't. But uh, let's put a hatch into the back of his hatch. And here is where this 187 millimeters of hatch pen is just going to go sicker mode on this poor concept 1b let's pull behind her right into the engine deck 490 so with two shots we've already done 950 damage concept looks like he's content to just kind of yolo rt100 lt here let's put another hesh towards him that was a bad shot rt100 is not really flanking this concept super effectively he could just get behind him and the concept has no gun depression on the rear so if he was doing that we would be better off but it seems like our our poor uh our poor t100 lt struggling a little bit now i'm gonna take a shot from this man's but let's put a hesh shot onto his lower plate well, that's very unfortunate. It didn't even hit his lower plate. It went completely, like, under his tank or something. But he will still be a two-shot regardless. Put another headshot onto him. 200 should hopefully have the kill. But it looks like Mr. 200 just isn't interested in helping out anymore. So I'll probably take another shot from this dude because he has the reload. Only 380, 70 alpha, though, in exchange. But, um... Yeah, unfortunately, bouncing that one headshot did allow me to take one more hit. Although I thought with pretty much my whole reticle on his lower plate, there were very slim odds that that shot didn't pen. Turns out it didn't. All right, so two, and Hobie's getting killed. We can see an EM60 coming in on the flank. The gorilla's chilling in the mid here. That's pretty much their whole team. That just leaves me in a position where I will have to 1v1 Monsieur M60 here. Now, M60 has more DPM than me. Let's pick, take off his tracks for starters, get up close and personal. Try not to give him a lower plate shot here. Very good for the start of this brawl. We're going to push a little bit past him load up some headshots here boom one headshot you can see our fuel tanks were hit but boom with that one headshot we guaranteed this dude would be pretty much a two shot to us so let's put another shell through the front of his turret very good and with like three shots we've brought this dude down to 400 or so hp now i should be able to hatch his engine deck once again um apparently not so we will just have to pick up the kill but the m60 kind of dumb messed up just a little bit here even though he hits my tracks unless he hits them again he is he is a Oh, we capped out. Dang it, I was gonna fire him. I was like, why is my take not moving? Uh, in terms of damage, eh, it could be worse. We got 3,500 or so, our T100 and our STB. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, that, that explains. I was gonna say, they didn't provide the best support. We should have been able to easily clear that concept really fast and just push in together, but um, yeah. They had other plans in mind. We'll just leave it at that. Still, this, this tank's gun is amazing. The Hesh in particular, like that M60, that one shot that hit him for about 700 with the Hesh and the little fire there, that made a huge difference in that one versus one. It pretty much guaranteed that I wouldn't lose, even though I didn't even pen my second Hesh shot after that. Uh, let's look at the enemy's lineup. So, 2 and 5B, Mouse, IS4, Yo, we have a Mouse, our 50B is going the other way, we do have a Concept as well, but in terms of tank lineups here, the enemy team are very, very strong, and so is, uh, so is my team okay in terms of strength, but definitely not on the very very, very strong spectrum. All right, Wild 183 spotted. And he misses the concept with Hesh and hits me instead. And the concept also blocks my shot. What a what a lovely combo that is. So the 183 is just is just joining the HE spam squad, but we'll put another shell into him just to show him who's the boss here because he has a he has a, a very well-sized forehead that uh, can easily gets bombed. And so let's see. Um, I was going to push up to where the concept was, but then I decided not to when the concept pushed into the position. It's hard to work two tanks from a position like that, which is why I decided in the end to not go there. But instead, we'll wait for someone like Mr. Yo here, who is going to give me an APCR shot, maybe through the front of his turret. Not quite. APCR is definitely not my preferred premium ammunition type. In my opinion, it's kind of just very average. Um, but with this dude keeps doing that... He will eventually get penned through the lower part of his turret. Looks like our 50B is in a bit of a pickle over there, but I think it could be much worse for him. Let's pen this APCR into this dude. Oh, apparently he saved that shot. So, unfortunately hitting me, um, 
I don't know where he penned. There's no hit marker on the front of my tank, so he might have just hit a weird angle on the front of my turret. Fit to be actually does manage to clear out that flank, though, so good for him. We know there's an enemy IS-4 just kind of chilling in the back, and sadly, that shot doesn't go in because I didn't aim down far enough. And it looks like 2 and 5B is starting to push up here, which is not the worst case situation. 2 and 5B gets gets bopped by our uh, tank destroyer here. Let's see if this IS-4 moves up. Right now, I'm just playing a little bit more on the passive support side because I don't want to overextend and get myself killed. So I'll just leave the hold down concept and the mouse to hold off the frontal attack with enemy team because those two combined are going to have like really no problem at all just holding this flank. Even our mouse still has a ton of hit points. Now the enemy 2 and 5B looks like he's getting a little bit aggro here. Let's, let's load up a head shell for that lower plate. Boom, 562. Let's pop the adrenaline so we can definitely kind of have to reload on this dude. We'll angle up the front of our hall here ever so slightly. Side of, side of his upper plate, dude. 432. We definitely had a low roll for a uh, Hesh shell, but it does make him a guaranteed one shot. Let's pick up the kill there. That just leaves the enemy's mouse and IS-4 is the only two remaining vehicles. So this game was uh, definitely pretty fast in terms of enemy team getting bopped, but I wouldn't say it's the worst case situation in the world. Let's pull forward here. IS-4 kind of missing me a little bit. That's fine by me. Let's just get ready to do a little bit of a drive-by on our mans. One quick shell into him there. 2,800 or so damage dealt. IS-4 having a kind of bad day, but so am I as I get my tank stuck on the corner of a building. Let's just get ready to hash this IS-4 on the side. Boom. Quick hash shot for the kill. Old 2 and 5B would not have been able to pull that off. And, oh man, steamroll after steamroll. So only 3,300 or so damage dealt. We're not farming like crazy, these gangs. It's mostly because I'm not putting myself in the most ideal farming situation because I'm prioritizing my safety uh, for the start of the games. I'd rather not overextend in a 2 and 5B and find myself in a situation where I'm just dead right off the bat. So I'm taking it a little bit more cautiously, but that also means in these kind of sweep games, you might not be able to farm as much uh, at, uh, right off the bat. How's it going, Jack? How's it going, Batman? What's up, Dwarf? Good to see you, Yaro. How's it going, boys? All right. Here's what we're going to do. Okay, okay. So, once again, I think I'm going to go med side. Now, the enemy team, they have a 62 rated Vickers. These aren't, they aren't terrible. They'll, they'll probably do okay on the flank. They have a couple of German tank destroyers, a mouse, which is very slow and heavy. I don't have to worry too much about him. An M4, which could be annoying if it gets hauled down, and a T57 heavy, which obviously can be annoying, but I can also deal with frontally. So I'm going to support our meds right off this engagement. I don't think committing to the heavy side is necessarily a great idea because of that mouse part particularly. Yeah, uh, primarily because of that mouse and the 62A dumb messed up ever so slightly getting the update 9.1 experience There's the gorilla 15. I figured the TDs would be covering any meds that came over to the side Now if we pull up close to this ridge We should be able to have just enough gun depression here to deal with these dudes But only if we don't pull forward too much. So here's what we're gonna do We're gonna hold this position here. The M4 isn't really angling. He gets an extremely lucky pen right through the hatch there. That's a very small shot, especially if we're taking like an M4, which has no accuracy. But you know what? Let's hash him back. 443, a nice little head shot right through the front of his turret. I'm sure that was quite annoying for the M4 to deal with there. But unfortunately, he is pulling up. As far as cover goes, it's just the Waffenträger. So I should be a little bit cautious here. Let's put another head shot towards him. Not quite able to hit his hatch once again. And it looks like my allies are just not interested in helping me here. So let's pull back a little bit. 62A unfortunately taken off my tracks, but... It might not be enough. Let's point out the shelter to M4 and back up here. I have support from the object and from the TBP in the mid. I just need these dudes to actually start doing something rather than just sit back this whole time and, and well, do nothing, which so far they're doing a very good job at. M4 is pulling forwards. Put a head shell to his lower plate here. Let's activate that sped boost and pull back. If he wants to pull into me, he's going to have to overextend. He might not even be able to back up fast enough to really avoid me here. And so let's just keep backing up a little bit into more safety. We'll let the M4 overextend. And this is definitely a situation where you you feel the fe 205 bs rear mounted turret its lack of gun depression and all that stuff it's it definitely is painful in a situation like against this m4 but the hesh not so painful 525 through the front of his turret let's pull back and keeping an eye out there's a mouse flanking us they also have a waffenträger and whatnot on the other side that could drop down onto us so we're gonna have to hu hug this corner for now wait for this mouse to maybe overextend into us but the kind of real issue is I don't want to pull into this ditch because that waffle might just pull out from behind us and start nuking us. Now, let's see if we can start off by doing anything about Mr. Waffle here. And so far, no. But what I think I can do right now is just try and get the safety. Yes, we might take a shot from the mouse, but it turns out 
Lamasipu is actually not in a position to shoot us. So let's get ready to flank behind this mouse here. Now, I don't think we can really hesh him, but there's a 57. Let's pick up a quick kill shot on his vehicle. I didn't think he was actually going to pull up there. Turns out he does. The Vickers is pulling into the open. The mouse is pulling into the open. Let's start farming these dudes out and just keeping an eye out on the crossfires, making sure I'm not putting myself in a position where they can just YOLO me. Looks like we're chilling for now. There is the wild Waffenträger who is getting a little bit more aggressive here. Let's aim a hesh shell into his gun shield. 564. That hesh is so satisfying when it starts penning. And that just leaves Mr. Mouse, Gorilla, and Waffle. So I think the grill is probably still covering the mouse from behind. Let's pull in here and try and angle up so the mouse can't quite pen me. He does, unfortunately, pen me. And that means I might die here to the grill or the Waffle. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Now we do out reload the mouse, aim for a track shot, keeping him in place. And let's try and avoid the grill and the mouse. The grill fires on the move, fluffing his shot. Let's traverse back a little bit. Not quite able to hit him. Sped boost came in quite handy there, keeping me alive for a little bit longer than I should have been. And the wild gorilla 15 is going to die. That just leaves Mr. Mousy Poo, who has just fired. We will load up another APCR shell, pick up a quick kill. Well, we low rolled, but not too bad. 3,800 damage dealt. It was a lot better in terms of damage, and that game wasn't as much of a one-sided sweep. It was definitely close, but... um. Not bad. I think this game definitely highlighted both the 205B's really nice strengths and its weaknesses. So you definitely saw the kind of rare occasion where an M4 hits a very minuscule, minuscule headshot on the front of my tank there, which was a little bit annoying considering my headshots into his hatch weren't even hitting. Bleh. But, um... And also just the size of the hull, like the lack of gun depression there. See, if it had seven degrees of gun depression and a frontally mounted turret, it would actually be a lot better because you'd be able to pull up to the edge of a hill and be able to shoot over. The issue with the rear mounted turret is you have to pull your hull so far forward that the front starts dipping up and that just leaves you stuck at the back like I can't shoot anything, right? And so you definitely notice that in the engagement against the M4. The armor it did its job for the most part. We were able to kind of stay alive because of it in the hull down situation, but in the moment, tanks got shots in my hall. We weren't really ricocheting much. So, yeah, you know, hit or miss, but the 205B is still is still beautiful. I still love this gun to death. Are you going to try tank company? Uh, probably not. <laughs> uh, one tank game is enough for me. Okay, so let's see. The enemy team of Projetto Bash shot the on. Quite a few heavy tanks and tank destroyers, but I think we can go haul down in the mid. Looks like the majority of my team is headed this way. Someone's definitely coming through the middle there. Here's a Type 71. Put a quick hatch shot through the top of his tank there. Luckily, our gun handling is much better than that of a Types there. And, um, well, we do get penned straight through the front. Now, unfortunately, that glitch still exists, which shows that the Type 71 doesn't have shots on you, but he actually does. So this dude's definitely running the gun depression equipment, giving him a total of nine degrees here, which is good for him. Not so good for me. My whole team is kind of just, uh, they're just kind of chilling it out in the back. I'm going to barbecue. You know how it is. Let's put a snapshot into our mans here. This type might be able to shoot me once again in the hall. We do manage to avoid that shot, but it looks like my allies are, are definitely not going to be providing me the best of support. Now I'm going to wait for this 57 to kind of dump his whole magazine here. Looks like he's about to do so. Let's aim for a shell into the front of his turret. I'm going to back up just a little bit. So we know where the Yag is. Now, I don't really feel comfortable trying to 1v1 that uh, Type 71 up in the mid simply because he is running the gun depression equipment. And unfortunately, my tank destroyer allies are all just kind of uh, sitting in the back and themselves killed. Now, I think we can deal with this Progetto here. So let's see. If we pull forward fast enough, we might be able to snap a quick hash shell into his side. 520 into him. Very nice indeed. Progetto gets dunked on. Looks like the M60 has gone down low. The Yag actually popped up in mid to try and deal with us, maybe. And so, let's see if we can pull back any shots into Mr. Yeageru. Boom. Quick, nice shell into him. You can see once again just how glorious the 2-5-B's gun handling really can be as we've hit some really nice snapshots into him. And now this type is playing kind of aggressive in the mid. Now, this position is not as bad because the type will have to kind of overextend a little bit here to start shooting at me. And unfortunately, his hatch is super small, but if he keeps sitting up there, he's just going to get pounded by my allies. It looks like the Yeager is pulling back, so I'm just going to keep playing the, um, the casual, uh, watch to see what happens and kind of ch sit it out and farm damage when possible, but don't YOLO just yet because we still need our hit points for the uh, next couple of tanks. So the Jaeger should be an easy kill here. Boom. Nice quick kill shot into him. We can see where the 268 has positioned himself. 57 dropping down. A very bizarre game by the enemy team as they are all kind of pulling down. Let's put a quick shot to this 268 and pull back. We've already dealt 2,700 damage, so not too shabby. And it looks like, yeah, that dude's about to go down. The enemy team really don't have much left. Now, I'm going to see this 268 is still spotting me. Put another snapshot into the 268 there. 57's a one-shot. Type's a one-shot. Progetto's a one-shot. Essentially, everyone's a one-shot except for that 268. So I want to I wanna see if I can definitely farm 
Mr. 268 out soon. Well, let's not overextend into him just yet. Instead, let's load up an APCR shell for killing this dude, because I hate Type 70 ones. Die. Okay, uh, that leads to TVP, the, um, sorry, not the TVP, Progetto, the 57's down low. We can probably just speed boost across, kill the Progetto, and then deal with the 268 in a moment. So I'm going to do precisely that. Let's keep avoiding this 268 here. Very nice indeed. We'll use these rocks as cover from the 268 if he tries to pull into me. It looks like he's not as interested in doing that as I thought he would be. I'm going to act like I'm not looking. We're going to act like we're backing up. I don't want to take shots from this TVP. You know what? We have enough hit points to probably pull this off. TVP bounces a shot. So, um, yeah. I, I, I guess we'll just take one from the 268 because this game is probably going to be a dub. I have enough hit points here to pull this off here, I think. So let's put a quick shot into the 268. Very nice. Puts me at 3,600 damage. We should get just under 4,000 or so damage if we don't significantly mess this game up. Although, let's not drop for the 268 yet. I don't know where that Progetto and 57 are. I want to first take care of them and then see what I can do about the remaining dude. So let's put a quick snapshot into this dude. Very nice. I think the right play here is to kill off this 268 support, and then we can focus prioritizing the 268 afterwards. Put a head shell into this dude. Nice little kill to him as well. We are just committing death to these dudes. All right, 268, your time is come. Or, or, oh, my time is come. Never mind. I almost threw my takeaway there for free. <laughs> All right, 4K damage, 5 kills. Not shabby. Uh, those type 70 ones are so annoying. I don't know how long it takes Wargaming to fix the glitch on the type 71, where if it is using gun depression to look at you, show it. <laughs> When will you stream to Object 274A? It's fun to play. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I It didn't look super interesting to me. Kind of like a T54 at T44 got a rip off at, at DR8. But it's not bad. Hey, J6, how's it going? I'm not sure if I'm in the right place. Looks like you guys are like some type of game. Why is this nonsense? This isn't food cooking channel. I, I don't know. You know what? We're cooking up puppies on the enemy team. We're going we're gonna to make stir fried puppies today. Enjoy. Uh, it's, it's on the house. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, this I said, glitch still exists. Yeah, it's so annoying. All right, guys. Here's what we're going to do. Um, enemy team have a lot of tank destroyers. Waffenträger, Waffenträger X2, 183. They also have I7, IS4, E5. Very good TDs. In terms of meds, they're a little weaker with just a standard B versus our 121. I think in this situation, I don't want to get myself stuck on C Hill, where there's triple TDs just looking to pen my juicy octopus. Um, and instead, let's just go toward the hill and try and clear hill and then force the enemy to YOLO into us. I think that might be better. And um, I don't want to become Calamari over here. Yeah, yeah. My octopus doesn't want to become Calamari. So let's let's go towards the hill. Uh, my allies seem to be mostly headed this direction, which I, I guess is okay. I can't blame them because I didn't go see, and I, I won't put it on them to go see either in this situation. 183 spotted up already. It looks like... So far, the enemy team is kind of unspotted. Now, I've learned from experience that yellowing down low through A, generally speaking, is not a great idea. Uh, you just usually get stuck or cross-fired out. So what I want to do instead is, you know, the enemy team weren't on C. The 183 is getting nuked, but they're clearly uh, at C. They're just not capping C yet. So I don't have to worry too much about getting into some bizarre cap deficit. Mr. E5 having a really bad day. Let's put a shell into his side as well. Very nice indeed. The standard B is indeed up here. And it looks like he wants to see if he can nuke some of my allies. Now let's pull forward for a second. Put a head shell through the front of his turret there. 570. That's what we're talking about. And there's a wild IS-7 spotted up top as well. Now unless this dude's lucky, he shouldn't be able to hit me there. Very nice. Their heavy tanks are getting wrecked by our OP spotting Gorilla 15. Shout out to our Gorilla. Best scout in the game. Confirmed. Look at this man. He probably has so much spotting damage right now. Incredible stuff. Now there's an IS-4 in our spawn. And so that's what I was going to say. Is that pretty soon, I'd want to start preparing myself to clear out our spawn. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's wait to see. Okay, looks like the IS-4 will be able to spot me on this crossing. But you know what? I don't care. Let's just go and kill this IS-4. He's overextended. He has a Waffenträger. He has a Mil-2. He has a 2 and 5B coming in for him. This dude's day is about to get real bad real fast. So, let's get ready to push him. He could have support from one of the TDs. We know the 183 and Waffenträger number 1 are just kind of big chilling in the enemy spawn. Let's put a quick shell into Mr. IS-4 here. I'm not going to waste my adrenaline just yet. He's going to be busy trying to kill our dude over here, which is, yay, free has shots. Let's pick up a kill on him and 474 is it just me or does this tank not feel like it has 515 hash alpha i swear sometimes it just feels like it has 480 hash alpha okay let's push back towards the windmill now so 
Both Loth and Traeger spot up. Sterebi's gonna go down. 183 is a one shot. He's almost going down. Looks like Monsieur E5 over here is uh just escaping my wrath. Almost able to kill him, but not quite. Okay. So one Waffenträger is at the opposite, opposing end of B cap. Mr. E5 getting a little bit over aggro here and everyone kills him. Wow, very nice indeed. Waffenträger, I believe he's pulling into that ditch where the 183 and the other Waffenträger will be able to cover him. But if we play our cards properly, we should be able to, Never mind. Uh, we won't be able to nuke him. Or maybe we can. Maybe we can nuke him with a nice head shot. Boom. 354 kill there. That just leaves Waffenträger number two and Mr. 183 all that. Oh, yeah, 183's down. This game ended a real fast for the enemy team. Let's aim a head shell into Mr. Waffenträger here. Aha. This man has no spawn liner. Good stuff. I think what we can do now... Our man's is probably not going to pull all the way up. I hope not. Let's use our sped boost to get there as quickly as possible. Farm one more hash shell into him, hopefully, and 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 end up with maybe um, just under 4,000 damage for this game. Not a very productive game for me, but I'll take it. Oh, yes. 550, so 3,900 damage dealt. Not too shabby. We got close to 4K in the ends, and uh, overall, pretty good game. Good to see my boys. Wait a minute. J6. $100 donation. Thank you very much. That will go towards the paid actors. We will pull out 7,000 damage next game. Let's make it happen. J6 Rants, great to see you as well. Thank you so much for the donation. Hope you are doing Good well. Good to see you, my boy. It's been a minute. Thumbs up. Squidward is traumatized. Good day, Fantasy Stream. Veggie White Taker. Hey. Uh, J6, thank you so much. And also, guys, thank you for 140 likes, too. Appreciate it. All right. So, let's look at the lineup. You know, here's the thing. All of these games, I have been going med side and farming up med side, which works out. But when the game's fast, you don't get to farm the heavies out fast enough. So let's do an experiment. Now, I know it's not as optimal to take a 2 and 5B into a heavy tank engagement, but I want to see if we can maybe just pull this off as we hit a S tier shot on this E75 that I was pulling forward here. Now, we're going to side scrape. But I'm side scraping under the knowledge that it's not going to bounce everything, and I'm perfectly fine with that. We're just going to sit here to punish the enemy team every time they make a mistake. Mr. E4 shooting. Let's aim for that lower plate. Boom, 414. E4 getting immediately just nuked for all of his hit points there. Now, let's try and avoid getting tracked by the 50B here. Let's track the 50B, as a matter of fact. Trying to give him my drive wheel here. So, he hits one shell into me. That's fine. He should be able to pen a second one, but we're able to pull forward just in time. Let's track him again. Let's see if that makes some waste to repair kit. Okay, not quite. And so, you saw we were able to bait the front of the drive wheel. And that's really the only way you're going to get ricochets when sidescaping this vehicle. Is, is really just by baiting through the front of your drive wheel. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck in a, a bit of a sticky situation. Let's see, the E75 is not looking. One quick snapshot into him. You can see we're just reverse angling a little bit out there to, to hit a shell into his tank. And we also have a wild TVP 5051 pulling in on our flank here. So, I think my new priority is definitely going to be killing the TVP. And maybe the 50 be that could be going through B cap right now. So the 50B is indeed going through B. Enemy team are pulling off quite the stunt through our spawn. And so that leaves us in a bit of a, a bit of a sticky situation here. We can't, okay. The E4 is dead. We need to kill the E75, 752, and Kron. Our TVP has already realized that. Excellent work to our TVP here. He knows what's up. The Kron goes down. 752 doesn't have shots in me. And guess what? 187 hash pen goes burr. Hitting the E75 for almost 500 through the side with HE there. Very nice indeed. E100 should be able to finish him off. Even if I take a shot from this object, I believe we can pen that with hash. Nope, we can't quite pen it with hash. That's fine. Looks like he's on a full mag reload. Enemy's TVP is definitely coming back for me. So I don't want to get stuck with that TVP shooting. I might just put a hash shell into this dude. So we're going to around this object 752 here to avoid that TVP. There we go. TVP being a little bit predictable there. Let's put a quick shell into the 50B as well. These dudes, if they want to YOLO in for me, I mean, they can do their best, but they are probably going to die as a result. TVP, I believe, is now reloading. And guess what, TVP? You have no armor against me. 520 into the TVP there. We've already dealt about 4,000 damage this game, and that just leaves this battle as good as over. Now, one thing you'll notice is... I was being very situationally aware there. The moment I saw that TVP dive bombing through the mid, I knew his first play was going to be to YOLO me. So I, I immediately, instead of getting to the rear of that 752 that I was shooting at or just hugging him on the side, pulled past him to get to the building. 
because my team was pushing through C, but if I stayed on the outside of those buildings, that TVP probably would have put 1,200 damage into me. Instead, I only took 600, which was a much better trade, and I was able to have enough hit points to just kind of YOLO around after, right? If I got stuck there, maybe Permachak 50B TVP would have both killed me. Not sure why the TVP went all the way back specifically for me in that situation when he could have worked at the 50B to kill our spawn off, but... um. You know, it, it is good. That's why you always want to make sure you are looking around, trying to pay attention to what the other players are doing uh, on the enemy team. Even a player like that TVP who is very far out of that fight, I saw him, you know, for a, mo a brief moment there when we were making our pressure. I saw him rotating instantly through towards mid, and I knew that dude's going to YOLO, so let's, let's immediately find a place to get cover once we kill the 752 or start killing him. Situational awareness is really clutch in, in times like that, so just wanted to call that out. Okay, so next game, enemy team have a 60 TP, an E100, uh, nasty tanks to deal with, triple tank destroyers, a shower dawn, which put a blind shot in, you never know, those sometimes hit. If I'm not spotted, that means he wasn't there though. Okay, he wasn't there. Sheridan might be going up top. We're going to take this top position here. I have an IS-8 for support and a couple other homies, so it could be much worse. And we're going to see if we can start spotting up this middle position. See if they have any late crossing tank destroyers over here. 60 TP is headed in towards our side of the map. So let's just ever so slightly reverse our tank around this corner and kind of pre-aim to see who our first victim will be. I'm going to stay unspotted for now. Let's wait for Mr. 60 TP to maybe overextend and then take advantage of that. So I should still be unspotted for the time being. All right, let's just hash him through the drive wheel. 73 damage, keeping him in place. I should still be unspotted to this man's, which is good news. And so let's just keep chilling here. It looks like the K91 also headed this direction, but the enemy team doesn't seem too intent on pushing. Although, two tank destroyers, the, y the Yag and I believe the Gorilla, as well as the Sheridan are spotted up top. Now, this is an interesting development because it means as far as TD cover goes, the enemy team is very minimal. If this Yag decides to pull forward here, let's put a headshot through his side. Like, look at that. Able to hesh a Jaegeru through just the side from all the way across the map because this tank has such glorious gun handling and of course, 187 hash pen. It is amazing. It's such a good feeling being able to do that in a vehicle like this. So let's see what the enemy team are up to for now. I still have Mr. Chieftain Mark 6 and I say chilling in the mid. There's the Conway. All right, so the Conway definitely is just chilling back here. And it looks like, in addition to the Conway, the E100 is kind of chilling in the mid as well. Now, I don't want to overextend up top. We don't know precisely where that Gorilla 15 is, but this E100 might give me some shots here. Now, I know I'm spotted already, so we're actually not going to take that risk. Here's what we're going to do instead. Let's wait till our camel resets ever so slightly here. Okay, we, we, we might take one from the grill. We got to kill this K91 and 60 TP. We have five tanks over here, including me. Us sitting back and doing nothing this entire time isn't going to get our team anywhere. So let's get ready to start dealing with tanks like Mr. K91. Now we're going to start off by kind of side scraping out to K91, aiming a head shot, hopefully into his upper plate, but can't quite pen that one. So let's just put an AP through, AP start through his turret there. Very nice. And as these dudes have absolutely no tank destroyers cover firing them, finishing them off should be pretty simple work. All right, let's put a head shot onto the 60 TP, but we do 11 damage. <laughs> Very nice indeed. STB is also kind of suffering. Chieftain should have a kill here. Very nice indeed. Mr. 100 side scraping back. He has just fired what's aimed for the bottom of his turret. He does angle out there very, very well. And we know there's a Conway back here as, as well. So, I don't want to get myself stuck with that Conway shooting at me. And it's pretty evident the enemy team are going to be pushing on in behind us pretty soon with maybe the Yag, Sheridan, and Grill. I'm going to go back for rear defense and hope these dudes can deal with that E100 and Conway there. But for now, I want to see if we can spot anyone up behind us. We can see here's the Sheridan. Interesting indeed. And let's get ready to... Well, well, Mr. K91 is giving me a clean kill shot here. We unfortunately take one from the Gorilla because, well, I didn't expect the Gorilla to quite be there. But yeah, we do take a shot from the Gorilla 15. So let's get ready to pull back. I'm going to act like I'm turning around. And let's see, this Sheridan might ever so slightly give me a shot here on him. Just missing out. E100's almost dead. Our Chieftain has enough hit points to hopefully pick up a kill on this dude. And I think now I'm going to rotate back. It's okay. I wanted to see if I could help our team clear that or spawn. But now that I know that the Grill and Yag are probably the ones covering that position, not a good idea. Instead, there's a wild Conway just kind of YOLOing into the open here. I'm going to do my best to kill him off as quickly as possible. Boom. One quick kill shot into him. We also have Mr. E100 here who might be able to kill our Chieftain, but he doesn't quite pull it off. And I get hit by... Is that the Grill minimum rolling or is that the Sheridan low rolling? Not really sure. We do take four 450 there. Definitely wasn't the Yag. The Yag can't roll 450. So it was either the Sheridan low rolling or the La Grilla 15 low rolling. Luckily, 450 is not the worst number in the world. So now I'm going to go back to the rock spawn once again. 
We have two minutes and 45 seconds left on this game. Gorilla is, as far as I'm aware, on absolutely full hit points. Yag, we know, is about at least half hit points, if not lower. Sheridan is about 1,100 or so. So I'm going to take the low ground here. Okay, it was the grill low rolling. Let's put a headshot into this dude, and wow. Wow. Okay, so unfortunately, that shot doesn't quite go in, and I'm spotted over here. And, um... Gosh, I don't know where I want to push in. I want to kill the Sheridan, because once he's dead, the enemy team is blind, but interesting. Someone is now on encounter cap. Okay. All right. All right. Let's think about how we could potentially play this out. Let's go low ground for starters. If we go low ground, so we know it's the Jaeger on the cap. If we go low ground, we won't get crossfired from up top, but I don't have to worry about that anymore because we know it's not a Yag or a Grill that could be up top. It's the Yag capping. And the Sheridan is the only kind of anomaly at the moment. Sheridan looks like he's going in from down low to try and uh, try and snipe my allies here. Let's see if maybe we can put a quick shell into him. 375 into the Sheridan. Good stuff. Making him almost a one-shot. Not quite, but almost. And I think what we will do now... Oh, that's a Gorilla 15. Let's put a quick shell into the Grill here. Um, my new priority is to make sure that that Yag isn't able to cap out. It looks like he won't. Sheridan is now a one-shot. Very good indeed. I didn't realize that APCR loaded up, so... Oh, well. Let's get ready to kill Mr. Sheridan. Boom. Him. Quick kill shot to Mr. Sheridan there. Good stuff. I have 800 hit points, which could be worse. The grill will either sit up top and try and cover the Yag, or the Yag will look this way. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a very sneaky approach to trying to reset the cap. We're not going to fully overextend ourselves, because we don't know which way 100% that Yeager is looking. Okay, okay. So he's, he's not going to expect me from this side, at least in theory. In theory. Let's get, use these bushes as cover. Okay, there's Jaeger who spotted up. I can reset the cap. You know what? There's only 15 seconds left on this match here. All right. Jaeger, not quite looking at me. One has shell. 644 HE max roll. It is absolutely glorious. Mr. Jaeger tried to run away, but we only have 42 seconds left on this game. So let's use our sped boost now. I think I should have just been more aggressive right off the bat. There's the wild gorilla 15. Quick shell to the grill here. Let's use our sped boost to try and get around the Jaeger. One of my allies ricochets off of him. Aim for a track shot. Trying to avoid the Gorilla 15. 26 seconds left versus this Gorilla 15 um, who doesn't quite have the gun depression. As long as I pen one of my shots here and our Chieftain pens one of his shots. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Nice. One of our allies pens a shot. Has shot. Woo! Clutching at the game with 11 seconds left. Very slow game. We did 4k damage. We had to take our time. Hesh was so clutch there because it guaranteed the Yag would be a two shot. 644 max roll meant that there was almost no way I wouldn't kill him with the next two shots. That's a very nice feeling. That's when the Hesh is just it's so sublime. It's, it's perfect. 4k damage dealt. Not the highest damage game. I gotta be honest, I apologize to you viewers. That battle was probably super boring. <laughs> like, I was just driving back and forth, back and forth. I couldn't really make up my mind. I didn't really want to YOLO anywhere because of the unspotted tank destroyers. That could have been who knows where. But it worked out in the end. 2 and 5 be over all the heavies. Yes. Oh, Vindicated, thanks so much for the $5 uh, donation. Do appreciate it. Mega farm tank, yes. Mm-hmm. Nice clutch, just in time. Thank you, J6. Okay. For this match, here's what we're going to do. Enemy team have... Okay, you 100 Chieftain. Chieftain's faster than me. He's going to make it to the corner before me, especially since I didn't hit my sped boost right out the way. But we might be able to spot the E100 or V4 or something crossing to that corner. So let's see if we can spot anyone on the crossing right off the bat. Maybe track them. Hopefully my allies can nuke them. So far, no one's spotted, but I am spotted, which means there might be a tank destroyer or a heavy tank destroyer back there. Here's an E100. It's aimed for a track shot. Oh, glorious track shot. Yes. And you know what? This is a bit risky, but we might be able to track them once again. Hitting another shell into the E100 here. Unfortunately, not quite able to pull off that second track shot there, but still able to get, you know, 800 or so damage into that E100 right off the bat, which is pretty clutch for me and my allies. All right, someone tries to shoot at me, probably the V4 sitting in the back, and they also have someone capping B cap, which is a bit surprising, but uh, there you have it. The Chieftain Mark Six is probably the one trying to shoot at me. Let's put a quick shell into the side of his drive wheel. Very good. I have a Yag Tiger for cover fire here, although we know that there's a Sheridan. Oh, no, no, of course, it's the TVP. TVP gonna make my life a little miserable, but oh, a max roll with a fire. TVP having a real bad day. Unfortunately, he gets a super lucky shot. Damages my Amorak as this dude does the typical TVP gameplay, which is to YOLO and die as quickly as possible. Not a great idea. And so with two shots to that TVP, we did about 1,200 damage. 
Come on, how many other how many other heavy tanks can do that within like seven seconds? But APCR shell towards this dude. Not quite able to hit it. Sheridan's up top. The Yag Tiger should hopefully provide some cover fire from the Sheridan here. I'm gonna wait to see. We're gonna pop our sped boost there. Okay. We're gonna pull back a little bit. We have a K91 in the mid. So I can use this K91 for support. And this Yag Tiger just needs to kind of stay alive for a little while longer. And so let's see. E100 might be giving me a side shot on his turret here in just a moment. Let's let an APCR show up for him. Very nice. We have about 30 seconds until our repair kit respawns. So let's just hold for now. E100 doing what most E100s do nowadays, which is just spam HE. HE spamming Andes. Okay. Anyways, I don't want to take another 400 HE to the turret. So let's just pull away from Mr. E100. Put another APCR into him. And uh, pull through here. Now, 704 is going to be kind of an issue in our spawn soon. Luckily, the Sheridan isn't the one flanking us. I wonder if we can hash the hatch of the V4 here. Let's see. Not quite, but at least we have a Maxwell loaded up now, which definitely could be much worse. Okay, let's repair that Amarak finally. Very nice indeed. Here's the Wild 704. Please don't shoot me. And of course, he doesn't kill the K91, which is lower HP, but instead shoots at me, which is... Well, a very interesting idea by our mans here. Okay, let's try and get safe from the 704. I'm just trying to back up from him. We know the Sheridan's going to be a bit of an issue here in just a moment. I think the one is just going to try and kill us with HE. Oh, no. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the Sheridan for as long as this K91. Just because I have the DPM and pen here to, to deal with this mans a little bit. Okay, E100. E100 is probably going to try and kill me, but with one well-aimed APCR shell. Oh, the Sheridan ricochets a shot. Very clutch. Very clutch indeed. And the 704 is indeed pulling forward. Of course, all of my modules have been killed one after the other. But if we are, if we're lucky, we can stay alive just long enough here. Oh, the acceleration is bad. The acceleration is bad. Sped boost. Oh, yes. The 704 messes up. He messes up big time. Let's keep going, boys. Let's keep going. Let's back up a little bit here. STB just pen a single shot into our man. Just pen a single shot. Oh, lucky me. We are still alive, ladies and gentlemen. Almost 5,000 damage dealt here. Let's start cap stalling. Although it looks like my allies are going to lose this game to cap here. Let's put a quick snapshot to this dude. We do lose the cap. Unfortunately, we weren't able to cap B. Um, I wouldn't say I played that necessarily the best. We did do 5,000 damage. The issue was my allies were a little bit too spread out. And our Yag Tiger unfortunately didn't stay alive. If our Yag Tiger just pulled back and stayed alive, we might have been able to pull it up. But I mean, if you look, our T22 did, well, two shots of damage the whole game. Our Fosh died instantly. Um, our T100 LT only did 700. Like, some really valuable tanks there to that game. This STB actually did a pretty decent job doing almost 4K there. But, um, oh well. Darn it. How unlucky. <laughs> Let's use that 200 like mark, guys. Smash the like button. Thank you very much. T77 Heavy Take 205B has highest uh, skill ceiling, but can absolutely farm. Super Conk got better in 9.1 is super good. I'm just going hard on that. <laughs> Abusing Heavy. <laughs> Back to Jim. Miss me? Go away. No one missed you. <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. Enemy team have a concept at 60 TP. They also have an E100, so they have two very good hold on heavies, which means they'll probably be good on the outside of C. We'll watch out for that. They have a couple of medium light tanks, uh, AMX-30, you know, the Vickers, the standard B, and the 60 TP is, well, not a light medium tank, but it's pretty fast heavy. And so I'm going to support my meds on this side, but I'm going to be very cautious about this left-hand corner, because if their 60 TP decides to go there, we got big problems to deal with. If it's just the 100, then I, yeah, I can APCR spam this dude for days. Now, I guess spotted up, I'm not sure really by who. Let's just watch out in case they have a WZ back there. 60 TP's over here, and um, it looks like the standard B was the one that spotted me up. How, how peculiar was that? Okay. So our E50M is done getting himself nuked. The standard beast chilling back there. WZ has, has had of yet to become spotted. And, um, you know, there's a good chance he's just chilling in this bush. So let's take a blind shot just in case. I see dirt, which means that he is not, in fact, at the front of that bush, at least. And let's just kind of keep pre in this corner. Let's see if maybe we can catch that Vickers off guard. Almost able to catch him off guard. I hope he didn't spot me up and return there. Ooh, there's the WZ. A headshot to his lower plate. Well, it was hashable, but it hit his upper plate, so unfortunately only 100 damage there. And so, 60 TP is indeed pushing on the outside. The E100 is also pushing through the mid there. Now, in a very peculiar turn of events, the enemy Z100 is also kind of just YOLOing into my whole team here. Let's load a hash shell up for the side of his turret. 644, nice little just random max roll on the hash there. That's always satisfying. 60 TP is no longer in a position to deal with this. So Mr. 100 is just kind of kind of killing himself at this point. Really, that's, that's all he's doing essentially here. Standard Beast pulling forward to aim a hash shell into him. Unfortunately, we overled that shot ever so slightly, but we still did 200 splash damage to his lower engine deck there area. Let's put another shell to him. 460 damage. T22 just has to pen a single shot. Then we can pick up a kill shot on this 
this dude and very nice he goes down all right so the enemy team pretty much cleared out my remaining allies back in our spawn i can hold here uh but it is versus a concept 1b and a 60 tp odds are your boy won't be able to clutch this up but i has shell to the side of the 30b here once again i'm not really sure how our man's is able to not get penned by Hesh through there, but that is the case. Let's pull forward ever so slightly. 60 TP shoots HE at me. It's in for a hat shot. Not quite able to hit that one either. I'm just going to keep holding this mid position. Our T22 is making a break for it. We don't know 100% what that concept is up to. Okay, there's the concept 1B. All right, all right. Let's aim for engine deck shot. Maybe not quite, but if I pull back, I should hopefully have the support of some allies here. So enemy teammates are probably just going to start yellowing into me. Let's put a Hesh shell into this dude. 520. Let's just try and pull back from the 60 TP. Once again, I'm just going to keep Baiting these, baiting these dudes into the open. Let's put a Hesh shell 566. Very nice. And once again, we'll just pull into the mid here. This is a very essential defensive position that I have taken this game. You'll see that I'm using this E75, even though he's probably not going to be the best cover fire, he at least will be some kind of support. And then also the STB1. 577 Hesh into the Vickers there, which allows me to pull forward ever so slightly. Concept's a little overextended here. Let's aim a Hesh into his engine deck. 490. 60 TB bounces off of the concept here. I'm just going to do my best to try and knock a shot by the concept while also killing the concept. Nice hash shown to the concept there. You can see why this new hash pen is just so valuable, right? That concept got absolutely annihilated by the hash that this vehicle carries. Put a hash shell to this dude's lower plate, 450, pulling back from the 60 TP there, trying to get safe as quickly as possible. Please don't block me. I will try not to block you if you try not to block me. Got ourselves a deal, good man. All right, enemies, Vickers is getting a little aggressive here. It looks like the 60 TP has just fired as well. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and get to a safer position as quickly as possible. One where I can't just get outright YOLO'd by the 60 TP or the Vickers. And so we're gonna get a little bit of distance between myself and Mr. 60 TP here. Now I know the WZ is just fired, can't quite hit him from here, but that's fine. We're going to keep pulling around this corner here, trying to get safe. Unfortunately, we have ran out of our Hesh ammunition here, so we aren't quite able to Hesh this man's. And I believe the WZ is probably pulling forward. Let's put a quick shot into him and pull away as quickly as possible. No way he hits that. Okay, well, that kind of ruins my chance of winning this battle, doesn't it? Let's put a quick kill shot into this man's at least. Looks like the 60 TP is just gonna kind of maybe full send it for me here. And so I'm gonna hold my position. T22, if you can kill that, if you can kill that man's, we're good to go. Unfortunately, the T22 doesn't quite manage to kill that man's there. Let's put an APCR into this man's. 60 TP has just fired, which is cool for me. That means if I get lucky here, we don't low roll shots. We might be able to kill this man's, but 383, not gonna cut it. We did pretty good. The, the main kind of issue that happened this game, and I don't have any more hash, so I'll just have to AP pen this dude through the front. The main kind of issue with this battle was I took that shot from the WZ. I really shouldn't have risked it. I would have easily won this battle if I had 600 more hit points. So that was my bad. Um, I honestly didn't think he was going to be able to snap that. So I guess really good shot to him. We did 6.6k damage. Our first loss in 13 battles, by the way. Uh, very nice high damage game. You know what? This T22 played okay. I honestly wasn't sure what to expect from him, but he didn't do too bad at all. I think it would have been better if he could have at least killed that Vickers right off the bat, but you know what? He still did 4K, and, you know, compared to our VK who did 0 or E75 who did 200, he did pretty good. I mean, he, me and him combined did just about 11,000 damage, so sadly not quite able to get the dub there. Uh, if that WZ had not hit me, that would have been a 7,000 damage dub potentially, but oh well. So was the way of life. <laughs> it was the WZ-111 GFT though. Not the tier 10, the tier 9. So that one actually doesn't have the best all movement dispersion. First time getting in a stream. That's okay. What's up? <laughs> How do you always do so much damage? Be in the right position at the right time and read the flow of the game. That's really important. I think... People don't always like mention reading the flow to see how, how a fight's going on a flank and where you should start positioning yourself ahead of time to prepare for your team's demise and how you can farm best off of their demise. Really, that is a really important part. So let's see. Enemy 60 TP is pulling forward rather aggressively here. He shouldn't be able to pen me from there. Looks like most of my team is going towards the bridges. I don't really mind. I prefer a bridge fight from this spawn anyways. Let's put a quick shot towards this STB. Unfortunately, not quite able to hit our mans here, but... At the same time, if he wants to stick around, we might be able to hash him right through that lower plate of his. So, uh, the 60 TP is actually ruining my farm by bumping into that STB. So, I am unable to, uh, unable to hit him. Let's put a hatch onto the STB, baby. Only 100 damage dealt. Looks like the teams are a bit split up here. Alright, so we have this, uh, we have the 60 TP over here. The Super Conqueror 
Looks like he might just be getting rid of YOLO mid. E150 be YOLOing mid. Our poor homie gets taken down. This is actually not a really good situation to be in. So, this is what we're going to have to do here. Let's wait for our camel to reset. And we're going to have to start preparing ourselves for that E100 and his homies to pull around this corner here. Now, should I be safe if I pull forward fast enough? I should be able to avoid any major crossfires from here. Very nice. Now, we know that the 100 is probably somewhere in the vicinity. There's the 100. Let's put a headshot to the side of his turret. He's gone AFK. Now, maybe his game crashed. Who knows? And it definitely did. So, I was going to say we shouldn't overextend if we can help it. But we do have DPM to deal with this man. So the Badger's pulling forward here. All right, all right. Let's put another track shell into our man's. Let's make sure that STB can't quite crossfire me out. We still have reload on the C100 for another quick shell into his drive wheel here. Put another shell towards him. That was a bit mistimed by me. Badger, I'm going to let the Badger take this next shot here. Let's go, Badger. Very nice, Badger. And we're going to pull forward. We're going to aim for another track shot on this dude, maybe. Not quite able to hit it. We're going to keep an eye on our rear because there are tanks clearly flanking us in this situation. I'm going to save a quick shot here to put another one into the 100's drive wheel, keep them in place. Unfortunately, a minimum roll almost, and we didn't even take off his tracks. Now, hopefully, if this Badger can take this next shot, we should be chilling. We should be chilling. We should hopefully be chilling. Oh, the Badger's hauled down, so the 100's definitely not going to shoot at that. Super Conqueror looks like he's moved into a defensive position, and we have lost the upper side of the map. So I think I made the right play by going back to deal with this in 100. And what I'm going to do is spot up our spawn. I'm not going to overextend, because obviously the enemy team could just YOLO into me. Their 4005 luckily did die, which was one of their most scary tanks that they had. And uh, if we kill the 60 TP, then we can push the Super Conqueror. It all kind of depends. Um, 60 TPs are a bit difficult to deal with. The Super Conqueror is not currently in a good position to deal with me, though. So let's pull forward, take control of the bridges while we can. There's only three tanks left in this game. STB is stuck in the mid here. Put a Hess shell into one. 500 or so damage. That had to really feel... Absolutely incredible for our mans here. Let's put another headshot onto this man. Just pick up a kill on him. Good stuff. At least Mr. Super Bunkerer and Mr. 60 TP. Mr. Super Bunkerer is just like, I don't I don't like this. I'm gonna push down. Let's put a headshot onto him. 580. This is where we're getting all of our damage farm up before the game is over. We have the 60 TP here. And so we just pull forward and um I'll just pull forward and bop this dude through his upper plate. Bop, he gets taken down. That just leaves Mr. Super Conqueror and homies. Let's just pull around the corner, hopefully avoiding a permatrack. And, oh, isn't that a nice lower plate you got there, buddy? 498. Like, look at that. We can pen Con Super Conqueror to the lower plate with hash. Like, that's just scary. Ah, well, that's not so good, is it? All right. One hat, one hat shot with hash should be enough to kill our mans here. And boom. Not bad, right? We are able to farm so much with hash there. So much. Side of the STB's turret. Side of the Super Conqueror's turret. Super Conqueror's lower plate. E100 side turret. Like, the Hesh just makes such a crazy difference in how much damage you can accumulate. If this was the old 215B, I might not have actually been able to beat that Super Conqueror in that 1v1. I might have actually lost that. Well, I definitely would have. I would have had less reload than him, right? Uh, less reload. You know, I wouldn't have been able to put those two hash shots into him, guaranteeing that he was a one-shot if I just splash touched on his turret. Like, it makes such a difference, and it's such a great feeling when you're playing this tank. So, very nice. We got our dub for the day in the 2 and 5B. We are currently at 4.4k average 14 games in. If that says anything, when I said in the thumbnail this tank is a farming simulator, I was not joking. All right, bro, are you drunken? <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I don't know which I don't know what our man's is talking about. What would make you guys think I am drunk? All right, so interesting play by the enemy Sheridan here. Let's put a quick 470 shot into him. We're gonna go hill, but this Sheridan's definitely gonna be a bit of a pain in the um, in the bum if he doesn't get taken out. Now it looks like he is just uh, doing a ceremonial suicide at this point. Man, just threw his tank away. I don't know why players insist on yoloing lighthouse right off the bat. It generally speaking doesn't work very well. Well, well, well. If it isn't my homies, Mr. Chieftain Mark 6 of 57, prepare yourself to enjoy the hash. Okay, well, that one doesn't quite pen, but it's okay. We are still chilling. 215B does have enough turret armor to deal with these dudes. Now, not, I might get hatch sniped here, but for the most part, these dudes are going to be having a bad day as long as I'm hauled down here. And this is going to be just like a free farm fest for my tank. Side of the 57 heavies turret. Well, would you look at that? Nice hash shot right there. 515 right into his tank. Very nice. 57 staying up to clip this dude out. So, you know, as long as he's distracted and in the open, we can hit a second hash shell to him. 472. That's a thousand damage to this dude with two shots. And their team's just getting annihilated. Chieftain Mark 6. Oh, what a lovely heavy. Nice lower plate. Boom. 563. I mean, goodness, man. Goodness. This hash is so deadly 
in the right hands. All right, this dude's gonna hit me, but we can probably AP his Lord Plate here. Uh, we just ran out of gun depression. One, two, one's gonna sit there. It is your typical Type 71, the least skilled tier 10 tank there is in the game right now. So let's just put another shot through the front of his turret. He's just gonna sit there and wiggle instead of pulling it to cover. I swear, Type 71 players really don't change, man. You could have pulled it to safety, but uh, he just sat there wiggling instead and lost all of his hit points. All right, one to one b looks like he wants to take some shots for the team, so I'm just gonna let him oblige and do that. Looks like this type is gonna get in my way for the moment. Put an APCR shot onto this dude's lower plate. Jaeger is just big chilling on that flank here. This dude has a damaged ammo rack, so maybe, maybe. Oh no, he pulled forward a little too much there. How unfortunate. All right, you know what? I wonder if we can hash spend the Yogg's lower plate from here. Not quite, but an AP shell through the lower plate won't hurt anyone, so... Ouch, that was 900 damage taken. But, uh, yeah, let's just farm out the Yigiri. I mean, this game was over instantly. It was track this dude in the open. Oh, and catching him on fire. And he has no repair kits. Oh, this is... This is glorious. Okay. All right. Um, so where'd Mr. Progetto go? Big question, guys. Where did Mr. Progetto go? I assume he's back here somewhere. So let's go farm up Mr. Progetto. We should have enough hit points to deal with them without any major difficulties. This dude either yoloed into that corner or kind of yoloed into one of our spawns. I'm not 100% certain yet. Ah, uh, there's Mr. Progetto. We probably won't be able to get to him in time, but I accept this fate. It's okay. <laughs> he's dead. All right, not a bad game. Easiest farm of your life. I mean, if you're a mines from south spawn, which is the Fuego spawn, you are just going to sit there and farm people. And, like, how much hash damage did we deal to that enemy team? Those poor dudes just got annihilated by hash. I mean, let's go look. Okay, so, yeah, Guru. All right, we only did 769 to the... Um, to the chieftain but that was with 200 alpha head shot uh sheridan was a high roll 1300 almost 1400 damage with three shots into that 57 so that's where the majority of my hedge farm came from you hate to see it but you love to do it almost 200 likes thank you so much wait are you Kyle? no i have not consumed any alcohols today <laughs> Uh, broken hash pair working will probably nerf it soon. There's no way they should nerf it. As incredible as the hash is on the 2 and 5B, like I said, it still has a lot of issues. And I guarantee the majority of FE2 and 5B players you um, see out there are still really going to struggle to figure out how to make this tank work well. True, he is lacking brain cells right now. The, what? Oh, I thought you were talking about me. I'm like, yeah, I thought this was common knowledge. <laughs> Fatos, please explain your equipment choices. Um, sure. Sped boost, because I like to get around as quickly as possible. Adrenaline, because I value high DPM in a brawl. Single repair kit, because I like life that is risky. And um, I run calibrated for that hash pen, particularly. As you can see, it's come in quite handy in a lot of these situations. If you are not running calibrated, it's a bit more 50-50 if you can pen something like the side of an Evil Hunter's turret. So as for me, I like to play it uh, a little bit, well, not safe, but a little bit safer in terms of pen and, and just run the calibrated. So we know there's probably some TDs up here. I just unfortunately can't spot them up at the moment. So let's see. All right, anyone there? That one might have gone in. I don't think I can spot up TDs from back here. So let's see, 54 being a little bit um, into westing. Let's see if our man's pulls around the corner here. He's trying to get the cap, which I respect, but uh, he also dies in the process. I repeat to our man's. All right, let's see, any TDs here? Anyone home? We know there's an STB in the corner, a mouse in the mid, no one at, is their whole team spawn sniping? In oh, 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 I got spotted. It means there's a TD back there, probably. Even though I can't spot him, there has to be a TD, right? I don't know what else would spot me. This game is bizarre. I don't know what to think of it. Um, our amount of three's holding corner all good and well. But, like, where am I supposed to push in this situation? I mean, I could push around on the mouse, maybe. But once again, those TDs are going to be a little annoying to deal with. Oh, STB might be a free shot here in just a moment. If he pulls up even slightly more. Let's see. STB got cold feet. I don't know what I want to do here, but let's just say, for instance, this TVP and Type 61 are pushing at the enemy spawn. Enemy team is probably going to get a little distracted. Let's aim a shell into this 57 heavy here. I don't know if our man's just YOLOing or, or not. Looks like he is just going to straight up YOLO, but I do out DPM this man's here. So let's put another shell to this 57. Um, yeah, not super sure what this man's just trying to accomplish here, but one nice hatch to the side of the turret and he gets taken down. Um, yeah, uh, good day to you, sir. All right, we have an STB-1 in the open. Boom. Oh, that should have been a max roll hash. A bit unfortunate. That one did not max roll, but it was still 289 damage. Do I complain? Not really, because I still got, you know, a decent amount of damage on this man. 183 pushing in, it looks like, a little bit here. 
I'm gonna see if I can... Okay, okay, there's a Waffenträger there that I clearly can't spot up. Uh, 183 can't really make any plays on me at the moment. I can stay hold on in this middle portion here. Let's see if this STB gives me any kind of nice side shots. Maybe APCR. That was a bad shot on me. I didn't lead it at all. Mouse is in the enemy spawn. My team do have a cap advantage here. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can hatch this dude's turret hatch. Let's, let's aim it in. All right. Only 130, but that's because I didn't hit his hatch. And I'm fine with that because AP wouldn't have penned regardless. So even if I'm just splashing for like a couple hundred with hatch, that's good enough for... Oh my gosh. That was a just absolutely beautifully pre-aimed snapshot into his hatch. We got to watch that one back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you pre-aim a shot like a pro. Okay. Well, that was fun. Uh, STB's going to try escaping. Bop. STB's having a bad day. Double bop. 704. Waffenträger. These dudes are dust. Let's just YOLO and get our 4K hopefully damage up before it's too late. So, 183's here in the mid. I am juiced to farm this man's. And let's see if we can pull it off. 704, kind of looking my way. I would rather save my max roll, but it's okay. This dude's probably going to go down. 183 is just like, bop, haha, <laughs> lose all of your HP. Hey, 183's aim a hatch to his lower part of his turret. 560. Very nice indeed. Very, very, very nice indeed. And we should pick up a nice little kill. 4k damage achieved. Spicy! How did you see it there in his hole? <laughs> uh, just watch till the end. I think Atrix's gameplay will give you an ex explanation. Ah. One in one shot. Nice. Pure skill, guys. <laughs> Obviously. Let's, let's watch that back real quick. It'll only take like 10 seconds. Um, all right. So STB's just big chill in here. We mess up our first shot. And then we're just like, all right, boys. Uh, just just for the memes. Or was this... Okay. Watch, watch this shot here. Pre-aim. Fire. Hat shot pen. Goodness. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. <laughs> I gotta save that so I can record that later. Oh, man. You like to see it. You like to see it. 215B. Mwah. What a gorgeous tank. <laughs> what do you think about the Object 752? I think it's a pretty decent tank, to be honest. Very juicy. Um, it has pretty derpy accuracy. Armor profile is both troll and not the best at the same time. And its gun is very nice. 4400 damage, 88%, 88%. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yes, Fidu. Welcome to 2 and 5 B spam. This is what we're talking about. Now, usually my stats are only like goaded till 20 games in. And after that, I kind of start playing worse as my brain slowly starts uh, deforming. But yes. 2 and 5 B is cracked when it works. Oh, yeah, Dragon. I'm telling you. 2 and 5 B, mega spicy. And the only game we lost was a game I kind of threw by taking a shot from a TD. And I still did like 6K in the end. So, unlucky. Okay. Let's see. Uh, 183, V4. Those things have bad camo. So, let's... Oh, it's a wild 60 TP. Bop 495 into the side of you. Because, yes. The 2 and 5 B says so. This V4 could be problematic. I don't think the 183... I don't think the 183 crossed unspotted, but the 62 way is spawn, is spawn sniping. That's, that's kind of adorable, isn't it? Mouse is pulling forward ever so slightly here. APCR, boom, 350. Welcome to the HE spamming meta. I swear, everyone just loves spamming HE nowadays so much. It's, it's kind of funny. All right. So if those meds were a bit proactive, they would start pushing in maybe on this V4 here, who is kind of overextended to try and shoot at me. It's put an APCR on top, but he'll probably pen the top of my turret here. Um... There we go. I'm not really sure what our meds are up to. There's the 62A, but hopefully... Well, actually, they have double 60 TVs to worry about. So maybe I won't really blame them. Has shell to the side of the V4. 580 damage into our mans here. That's what we like to see. We also know that the 183, because he shot one of our dudes, the E5, he's not in a position to crossfire us out from where that 62A is, which means he's just chilling in the back of spawn. Unfortunately, only 69 damage there into the V4 because we hit his mantlet, but we're in an okay position now. I, th I think we don't have to worry about getting yolo so much. I'm mostly concerned about killing this V4. The 60 TP and E5, hopefully, will be able to just chill there for now. And we can start working down Mr. E5 and V4 momentarily. All right, V4 still being quite aggressive. AP center to his lower plate. Let's pull back. We've already dealt 1,000 yard of damage. Both 60 TPs have already died, so you can see they're, they're clearly having a very good time in those uh, snazzy 60 TPs of there. Let's aim a Hesh shell to this dude, maybe. Not quite able to pen that. But we also know where the 62 way is and, and, his, and his friends. Aim a AP shell into this dude's turret. AP CR element. And very nice indeed. Let's pop that adrenaline. We got this 183 chilling back here, but it doesn't look like he's in a position to shoot at me. Front of the E5's turret is still very, very weak if you have an accurate gun, so let's take advantage of that. And uh-oh, uh-oh, Mr. E5 getting quite aggro here. Boom, another shell to him. He takes a thousand damage from a 183. Owie. Owie, patowie. My man's is not feeling so good. Okay, so 62A still in the corner. 
I would love to find out this 183. Okay, is this still gonna get spotted up soon? Rat. Boom, take 582 through the lower plate. 62A is just demonstrating the way of the spawn sniping med tank like a real pro. Let's aim an AP shell here. That one unfortunately doesn't go in. I was just gonna see if I could pen him. Okay, we know where the 62A is. E5 is dead. The 183's is in the back, but the grill and T100 should be able to deal with them. So, here's what we can do, boys. We can probably just pull the big brain flank guru on Mr. Mousy Poo. Okay, we got spotted a little earlier than I anticipated, so unfortunately can't quite do that, but we could put one nice little APCR shell into our man's here. Nice. 183 is probably pre-aiming this direction, so let's not overextend just yet. Put another shell into the mouse, 372. Very nice as well. 183 has just nuked our homie over here, and so let's get ready to start farming out less 62A. 62A is gonna pull into safety. That's fine. Oh, Mousy Poo gets a shell into me, and apparently I can't shoot, so let's just pull forward here for a second. Pop our adrenaline here. We'll kill the 62A first because he has the DPM. Nice, he gets taken down. I mean, this game's already over. I just missed out my opportunity to farm up more than 4k damage this game. So, nice APCR for a kill. Cap out. Boom. Not a bad game. Little time machine, go back to 2016. LOL. Yeah, wouldn't that be pretty epic? <laughs> 222 likes, very nice. Uh, you did the same thing before, Rannis. LOL. What did I do, Tennessee? Huh? What are you talking about? Always has been besides when it was nerfed to... Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, Dragon. All right, 43, not bad. We farmed up a lot there. 62-way, uh, very big brain spawn sniper there. He actually, maybe if it had gone with the 60 TPs to see, they could have won that, I'm just saying. Uh, is the 752 worth the 17.5K gold? That is up for you to decide. I personally probably wouldn't play more than 15K gold for a tank like that, personally. Uh, that's just my honest opinion. It's decent, it's good, and I'm sure a lot of people love it, but I feel like it's a tank that can kind of get boring for players after a while, especially with how derpy the gun is so yeah uh do, do keep that in mind when you're considering this vehicle i have streamed it in the past so if you want to see what the tank is like you can always go back and watch that all right so enemy team cron 205b 60tp cron and 60tp will be annoying 205b i should be able to deal with uh they have a 268 which is not super accurate anymore so i'm not super scared of him we also have a 62a and we're versus a 140 and ti2 which are honestly pretty easy to deal with in a 205b all right ti2 is being big brain unfortunately uh, unfortunately, we fluffed our hash there. Very sad. But at least we didn't get shot in return. All right, so 140, kind of getting slam dunked over here. 60 TP and E75 are out of the engagement zone. And Mr. 205B is being like omega aggressive. Now, this 60 TP might just pull over to mid. I'm going to wait for a second. I don't want to overextend. You can see here's the Kron. Here's the E75 as well. Let's see if maybe this 375 wants to get AP pen to the side. Let's put a quick AP shell into him. Very good stuff. Uh, looks like Mr. Object 140 here. We might be able to put a nice kind of hash shell into his engine deck, but it looks like he's not quite interested in that. 60 TP does shoot me, but we track him. So let's pull back from here as quickly as possible. Okay, okay, we're fine. The 60 TP is pretty much perma-tracked here, so let's put another track shot into this man's. I don't know why he's wiggling his gun back and forth, because... That's not going to stop me from tracking this man's. All right, another shot to his drive wheels. I'm just going to make the 60 TP's life pretty miserable. So he's like unable to YOLO me. All right, 60 TP is giving me a nice APCR shell through the front of his turret. There you go. And uh, yeah, he's having a bad day. Need I say more? Although it looks like this man is eager to just YOLO in. So has shell 530. He ricochets his shot. 60 TP's having a really bad day now. He's like, these darn 215B's are so annoying to deal with. Uh, here's the wild E75, APCR, not quite able to hit that one. Now he's getting farmed from behind. I mean, this dude's already dead. This is not going to be a farm game if I don't get in here as quickly as possible. Let's first aim a Hesh shot towards the TI2 here. Oh no, only 200 damage dealt. But we have to yell the E75. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Pre-aim the TI2. Bop. 350. Bit of a low roll, but at least we do pen him. Here's the 268 as well. Uh, this dude's practically dead, but maybe if I can pick up that kill, it will all be worth it. He is now dead. 268 just fire. Let's aim a head shell towards his hatch, maybe. Not quite. I'm just going to keep yelling in. I mean, the game's already over. Let's be honest. Their team has no hit points left. Oh, my gosh. The 268 done got himself new. Oh, my goodness. Now the cross is just going to yellow into the bit and die. My damage. Oh, well. This game is definitely not going to be super high. I didn't think their team was going to die this quickly. Like, uh, RIP to their team. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just give me some side turret here, buddy. <laughs> well, that was fast. Rip 4.4k average. <laughs> Probably dropped to like 42.50 or so. Let's see. No, oh, we still did 2.5k. I mean, it's not the worst case. R62A just had like the mega farm. He did good. 
in retrospect, I guess I should have just dropped low and farmed them from, from down low. If I had done that, then we would have been... We would have had all the farm. The issue is I kind of stood up dealing with that 60 TP and you can't really track a 60 TP all the time and deal damage. So it was just like, I wasted too much time on them instead of farming their tanks down low. Oh, well, I like to play it a little bit safer if I can help it. <laughs> Imagine the Super Conk has the same gun with this. Yeah, it would be OP. Yeah, Super Conker would be busted if it had this gun. Here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to go park because, um, never mind. Most of my team's going right. I'll, I, I don't mind going right. We'll go right. I like playing park, but I just realized they have a T22 TVP, a Chieftain, a Kron. There's a good chance their team's going to go right as well. So I'm going to try and see if I can support them pushing together and uh, get some early farm off onto these dudes. While TVP spotted crossing up top here. I'm sure I am now spotted as well. So far, I am spotted. Let's see. Maybe we can put a nice shell into Mr. Kranwagen here. Not quite able to pull that off. All right. That's fine by me. I'm still just kind of spotting up, seeing what's happening. And very interestingly enough, we can see that their team is highly split up. There's a Chief to Mark 6 going through towards the left-hand side of the map here. Um, not exactly sure which way he's going to cross from, but if he goes through here, I should get a nice early shell onto him. Put a quick shell onto that Chieftain. Very nice indeed. A little bit of pre-aim there for, for our man's Mr. Chieftain Mark 6. And I think in in considering this game, well, 268 is also kind of suiciding here. That's kind of cute. Uh, there's also a TVP. Let's put a quick shell onto him. I was going to say, maybe I should go back for the Chieftain because I don't think we can just yell over to Bridges safely. So, let's try and deal with the Chieftain and his homies real quick while we can. Let's put another shot towards the TVP. Not quite able to hit it. Yeah. I think that's what we'll do. So, Mr. Chieftain Mark VI is clearly learning that um, yellowing into a flank by yourself is usually not a great idea if you don't have any support. So, let's just pull past this man. Oh, wait. T T22 might give me a shot. Nice. Let's pull back a little bit from this T22. He gets taken down. Hopefully, he didn't spot me up. He did, but it's okay. There's the 183. There's the 4005. I'm trying to decide the safest route to push in on this Chieftain and 183. I think what our 30B is doing will be fine. Okay. He's not even there anymore, is he? Yeah. Go figure. He's over here. All right. Let's aim a hash shell into this dude's engine deck. Bop, 471. Very nice indeed. And it looks like we can start getting ready to pressure these fools a little bit. Here's, here's a high risk, potentially high reward play. We're going to try and cross through here. Okay, we made it safely without getting used by the 1A3. But now I'll have control over this section. And I don't have to worry about getting yelled by those TDs just yet. Team Order did kill himself, though. RIP to our mans. All right. Wild Kronwagen TVP spotted up. When has shot into this dude's turret. 538. Very nice. We've already dealt 2,000 damage this game. Let's aim a another has shell for our man's turret. 500 again. We've done 1,000 damage to this dude with a couple of shots. And I should be running away from that 4005. Now, 4005, I think, believes he's going to catch me off guard here. But uh, joke's on you, buddy. 427 into this man's. E4, unfortunately, missing a shot. Hopefully, the VK can pick up that kill. If not, I'll have to kill the FV here. Very nice indeed. Good stuff. Now, we do know the 183 just fired, and the Kron and his homies are over here. So, let's pull away from Mr. Kron for the time being. I don't want to make myself one one clip territory to the TVP, but I also kind of want to farm up damage before this game is over, because that 183 is pretty much as good as toast there, huh? All right. One lower plate shot. Boom. 522 into Mr. Kron here. He ricochets a shell off of my lower plate there. And, um, yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to hash bend this dude, I guess, right through the lower plate. 477. One hit point! I swear there's an algorithm. But, uh, yeah. Five, 4k damage dealt. I mean, what was that Kron going to do, though? Like, he just gets Heshpen through the lower plate and doesn't even have, like, a ton of gun depression to make up for it. Very nice. We got 4k damage out. I don't think we played that all that terribly. Um, I probably could have farmed more damage. That is true, but I'm not going to be too mad. We are still pulling a solid 4300 average, 89% win rate for 19 battles. Uh, that is statistically really, really good. And that just demonstrates when I was saying, you know, this tank can be a farming simulator. You put it in the right position, farming simulator. If you're like on Normandy and you're kind of just stuck doing nothing, yeah, you're doing 2k damage. Enjoy. Hey, CJ, hope you're feeling better. Yeah. Oh yeah, CJ, hope you're feeling better as well. Edgerev, load more HE shots. You definitely need more. I don't know, man. 12 HE? Like, I had a game where I had to frontally 1v1 in E100 and IS7 and a run out of APCR. Like, we did win, but I don't want to drop below 13 APCR, and I don't want to drop below 20 AP either. Maybe I could drop to 18 AP. Maybe. That's a possibility. I mean, I use so much hash in this tank anyways. Maybe we should go up to 14 hash. I know that sounds ridiculous, but you'll see that there, there's been a couple games already where I've used up every single hash shell. Like, 12 hash shells in a single game. Mind you, I didn't pen them all, but still. All right. 
Wild Type 71 spooted. I hate Type 71s. I hate Type 71s. I hate Type 71s. What is with everyone just spamming HE nowadays? I can't even comprehend. Also, I also can't comprehend the moves my allies are making here. Let's run away from our food. I might take a shot from this type here. Okay, he doesn't have enough gun depression. Still spamming HE. Uh, I gotta get out of here, though. I just realized my whole team went towed. And I was by myself over here. Not a great idea, guys. Not a great idea at all. We might get caught out by TVP. So I'm gonna have to pull in through the mid here. Uh-oh, they're going through B themselves. Interesting. Interesting. Let's put a quick shot to this man here. TVP might still be coming for me here. And he, he certainly is. Oh, boy. Oh, of course he hits my track. Why not? Heschel, 533 into this man's... Okay, life could be worse. Let's uh, let's try and cross to safety here. We have this type still YOLOing, 330 into him. Let's pull away from the type and the object while we can. All right, so I was so busy talking in chat, I kind of let myself get kind of uh, nuked unnecessarily on that flank. But, you know, the good news is we are still alive. Although on a lot less hit points than I would have wanted for a situation like this. But it looks like the enemy's type 71 and everything is being really aggressive. Let's put 600 into this dude's face here. My allies are... Really not all that interested in progressing this flank, unfortunately. And so they're not doing not they're not they're not doing too well over here. Let's put a quick shell to this dude's hatch. Okay, I didn't realize I had Hesh loaded up. I think we're gonna lose this game. Unfortunately, because my whole team went town just to do absolutely nothing, right? They're they're all just sitting here. They're they're, they're doing pretty much nothing. It's it's like the worst case situation there could be for me to deal with right now. So I'm just gonna do my best to stay alive and farm damage before it's too late. Um, we know that IS-7 is kind of thinking about YOLOing into me. Nice one to the ST-1 gets taken out there. Uh, we can see there's a 752 pushing into the mid now. Let's put a quick shot on the him. Very nice. We bounce another one from this IS-7. Fosh, if you if you would uh, be so kind as to kill Mr. IS-7, that could be really essential for me and my allies here. Put we'll track shell into them. All right, all right. These dudes are kind of pulling into the mid here. Fortunately, take another one from this dude, but we should be able to pick up a kill shot on him at least. Okay, okay. Situation is not unwinnable as of yet. The TVP did get himself kind of nuked here just ever so slightly, and that looks like this ob looks like this um. This object's not paying attention. AP shell. Uh -huh. Nice auto ricochet zone. We might be able to win this, guys. You know, I thought this game was going to be a loss. But you know what? It just might be a dub. Let's just not die for now. Let you want to pick up a kill on this man's. You got this, I believe. Oh, nope. That's, that's not good. All right. Uh, Fosh has about a seven second or so reload. So let's aim for a track shot onto our man's. Keeping him in place. Come on, Fosh. Come on, allied Fosh. Help, help, help a homie out over here. Okay. What on earth is this Fosh doing? Why? You had 600 hit points. No one was looking at you. Our Fosh threw so hard. Our Fosh threw so, so hard. He could have killed their Fosh. He could have pulled forward and done anything. He was sitting there the whole time while Mini 100 were... I mean, he didn't even kill the IS-7 there. It was a close game. Uh, it wasn't ideal. I should have gone with my allies. Except for E100, who played this well. Our team was straight up awful this game i mean firstly why did they even go town it would have been much better off going going to the right side where our team would have worked better given the tanks we had there but uh <laughs> hrf what's your favorite tank he is stock yeah big stock or not though man it, it is a bit of a disappointment if he had killed their fosh i could have pulled down but instead he was sitting way too far back instead of doing anything about it. I guess I should have just YOLO'd and killed the TVP there. But I was trying to save every single hit point because I knew if I'd taken even one shot, I could have lost that situation. So, oh well. It was a good attempt. It was a good attempt. Unfortunately, we didn't quite have the team for it. And I think I know what I'm going to do here. Enemy team are super heavy with a couple TDs and only an object 84. Instead of getting myself stuck in the mid, let's go for the extremely high risk. This is like an old school comp play. Co uh, high risk play and try and push to the ditch and see if we can spot up any TDs, maybe the object, pick up a quick kill on them. I mean, it's very likely their team isn't going to be headed this way. Let's put a quick shell towards this man's and pull through down low. All right, perfect. All right, so the Emil is probably going to pull forward here. Or not. Let's put a quick shell towards the Emil. Not quite able to pull that one off. And uh, now the Object 84 shouldn't be an issue. So it looks like their TDs are going pretty aggressively through the mid here. Where's that 183 at? All right, all right. Object should go down very, very quickly. We should have quite a few rear shots on their team soon. So they mill the 183, all these dudes. I think pulling this quick flank here might be kind of beneficial to me and my teammates. All right, so aim a quick shot to the Emil. Very nice. Good stuff. And um, 
Uh, we don't know where the grill is. I'm gonna assume the grill is sniping in the back. Okay, there's the grill. Let's get ready to flank these dudes. With the support of the Bash off the on and the M60, I think we can pull this flank off and be fine. We just have to make sure not to kind of overcommit into it. Now, the Emil is clearly pulling back to deal with us, I believe, unless he's just reversing in the open, which is also an option. There's an IS-4 here, which Ama has shell to his side. 480, damaging his Amarak as well. He also misses a shell onto me. And it looks like the 183 and a mill all might be turning back for me here. Let's get ready to aim an APCR shell into this IS-4. Can't quite pen him. That's that new IS-4 kind of a... Well, maybe not as fully new armor profile, but definitely it's very difficult to deal with armor profile there. Uh, showcasing itself. And can't quite pen that one either. He is splashing HE. Dude, I I'm surprised. So many players are splashing HE at my 215B. It's not like you need the HE at 215B to pen it half the time. All right. 365 to this man's grill is just getting wrecked. RIP to the gorilla 15. I think this game is already over pretty much, man. Yeah, I gotta do, I gotta be aggro if I want some farm here. 183 seems a bit uh, distracted. Oh, what? Where did that one go? No. Okay, so we are not getting the big brain farm here. I'll let, I'll let the homies kill him. I'm gonna farm this mouse out instead. One quick shell to you, Mr. Mousy Poo. And lucky for you, Mr. 100, your team was also not the best this time, so. RIP to our mans here. This Emil's gonna give me a hash shot to his side. Oh, 644 max roll. Sorry, Badger. I didn't know I was blocking you. My bad, G. Oh, man. That had to really hurt for Mr. Emil. Not gonna be a farm game, but at least it's gonna be a dub. All right. So it could be a much worse situation. He has just fired and he's dead. Wow. Fast game. But we got the win and we're almost at 300 likes. Thank you so much, guys. Do appreciate it. Is it bad and not good? <laughs> it's just the meta that holds it back. The three Japanese TDE. Is the, the Hori type one? Is that, isn't that too pretty decent though? I thought it was pretty decent. All right. 2.7, almost 3k. Probably could have pushed in faster there for more farm, but man, their team just got, those beds did a really good job clearing out the enemy spawn. All right. Hey, Treff, what is your favorite tank? Ah, oh, man, you know, guys, that's a really hard one for me to figure out. I like, um, obviously the Leopard 1 is still forever going to be one of my babies. And 405 is probably one of the most fun damage farming tanks in tier 10, if you can work it properly. I would say the E6 is ranked very highly for me. I just absolutely love playing the E6, but uh, it's hard. I like so many tanks. Pinpointing which one's my favorite is kind of like one of those nearly impossible things. Monthly swap to HRS mid actors. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like a LLC. J6, thanks so much for the $50 donation. And yes, um, monthly installment. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, thank you. HRF paid actors for the win, guys. Let's go. We still haven't farmed our 7k. I just haven't been able to synchronize with my paid actors yet. We've almost gotten the, to work. But uh, let's quickly spot up this mid crossing. Now, there could be a TD back here, someone crossing in the entrance of town. I'm going to try and keep my tank a little bit, you know, not overcommitted to one side or the other. Let's see if a TVP backs up from here first. So, no heavy spotted up yet. It means their team's probably going... Sorry, not the TVP. TVP's over there. It means probably the entirety of their team is, is either in their spawn or behind B cap. Interesting play by them. Let's wait to see until a few more of them get spotted up before we actually commit to something. And there's a type and there's a 268. Cool, two tanks I was rather worried about, but at least we know their positions now. All right. Enemy E100 is pulling through the mid here. This object 260 is getting nuked. I wanna see if I can nuke the C100 or maybe TBP as they're pulling forward here. Uh, headshot maybe? Oh no, the gun fails me. That would have penned though. That would have penned. But unfortunately, the gun fails me just ever so slightly there, and we won't even get an opportunity to shoot this dude again. So TVP is playing it safe. Really can't blame him. I think I guess I could just pull forward at this point because these dudes are obviously just straight up kind of YOLOing over here. So, you know, I'm going to maintain this crossfire. They're going to push through because their WZ is already down, right? It's only a matter of time. Let's aim for this TVP side. Boom, 592. Oh, yes, man. That hash is so satisfying. There's the Type 68 pulling forward. All right, E100 also pulling forward. I don't know if he's probably not going to be looking my way. We'll have to AP him from that angle. 370 into him. Very nice indeed. As long as these dudes kind of keep spotting up our flank, we should be really chilling the farm damage up here. Uh, assuming they don't die super fast either. Because if they die super fast, we're not going to farm very well. All right, here's the wild 268. Let's put a hash into the side of his tank. 497. TVP spotted. E100's looking my way. Let's pull back from him. E100 bounces. We might be able to pick up a quick kill shot on this dude. Nice stuff. TVP only has a couple of shots left, judging by how many times he shot at me. And there is also a type looking at me sideways. Put a hash into him. 539. I mean, come on, boys. It doesn't get any more hash... Hash, hashable than that. Like, this is just pure hash farm. And you love every second of it. All right. Bouncing the SU's heat shell there. We're just kind of chilling haul down. 
Actually, the game ended up being super close. Wasn't really expecting that. Let's make this dude a one-shot. Nice, we kill him. But we have double caps for the time being, which is the important part. As long as that TVP doesn't get out of control. All right, let's put a quick snapshot towards this dude. 268's gun handling is pretty bad, so I don't have to worry super much, uh, all that much about him. But um, TVP's on A. IS-4 is in the mid. 268's dropping down for me. I have an E-100 over here. So let's clear the, let's clear the TVP. Uh, because we don't want to lose double caps here. Oh, I could have capped B. I am a little bit stupid, aren't I? Alright, so instead of capping B, I decided to just full forward aggro here, which is either going to end up really good for me or really bad for me. Let's see, which way is the 268 looking? 268 gets taken down. Good stuff for me. Ice 4 seems to be a bit distracted for the time being. We can pick up a kill on this man's here. TVP's probably going in for C cap right now, or, or he's not, so I'm just going to yellow in on the TVP. As we do have the caps here, so if we pick up a nice little kill shot on our mans, we should be good for the dub. Let's put a head shell into him, 4 and 44, and we just about won that game. Not bad. Not, not too bad. We should be able to get maybe one more head shot into this dude before it's all over. Come on, pull forward. Nobody. Well, we didn't farm as much as I wanted, but uh, we got the dub. So, I'll take it. I, I, I'm kind of surprised my allies and spawned actually died so fast there. I thought we were like super chill, so I was just going to send the middle game and farm them out. But then I realized we had to do something about the caps. I only got like 2.7, huh? Oh, 3.5. Not, not too shabby. We're still pulling an easy 4K for 22 games. By the way, T49 is tier 9 in what PC? Yes, same with the 54 lightweight and quite a few other tier... tier Tier 8 light tanks and blitz. Hey, Shrift, do you hate any tank and blitz like Conway or something? Well, I don't hate the Conway. I don't really hate tanks. They're just tanks that I don't enjoy playing all that much. So it's kind of difficult to say if I would, you know, hate a tank or not. Um, tanks that I, you know, I say I hate Type 71s, but what I mean is I hate playing against Type 71s. I don't actually, like, physically hate playing the tank. I just find it to be a little bit too bruh for my liking. Um... It's a bit difficult to say. Honestly, I, I can't give a great answer on that. So I'm going to go med side for this game. The reason being, the enemy team, well, they do have a couple of TDs. They only have a 4 to a 2. So I'm not, like, uber worried about them. Okay, well, I have to worry about those TDs. But I'm not super worried about the med side losing. As a matter of fact, I think there's a very good chance their whole team just might go up this way. Okay, this was a mistake, but you know what? Everyone's happy to spam HE at me nowadays. So I don't have to worry about anything. So we know the 4 to a 2 is back there. I'm hoping RM60 can spot him up. He has way better view range than the 4 2 As for the TDs, there's the Yeageru. There's the 50B. 183 unspotted. Oh, oh, wait, wait. We actually might be able to hit a shell into this Yeageru here. If he backs into the open. I should be unspotted for the time being. Bop, one shell into the Yeageru. Bit of a low roll. We've already done a thousand damage this game. And so it looks like we're going to have to defend our spawn here. Odds are the enemy team are just going to thrash, thrash our spawn. So I'm going to accept that. We're going to aim for a track shot here on this dude. Track him in front of our 60 TP. 60 TP, you can hit those. Good work, 60 TP. It's the 183 that's on the encounter cap here. Oh, no. Really? Oh, man. I didn't think he spotted me up because my my uh, bell didn't go off immediately when I shot at him initially. Dang it. I should have taken that shot for the Yag, but I thought he physically couldn't spot me up from there. All right. I think that one is pulling through to go through mid. I don't know, 100%. 4 2 2 oh, We got to do something about the cap. Actually, you know what we're going to do instead? Our M60 seems content to just sit there and, um, and 1v1 that 4 2 8 2. I think what we can do instead is firstly, we need to defend Cap here. Nice. Someone pulled off of the base. There's the 100. The 4 2 0 2 seems to be bopping our M16 in the 1v1. So I might have to push on over to assist our mans over here just a little bit. All right. Let's see if he pulls forward. Okay, I'm spotted up here. The 183 is the one with all the cap points now, but I can't worry about him too much. Instead, I'm just going to start pressing the 422. The moment we clear him out, our team is free to push into their spawn. So, uh, APCR, boom, one quick shell into him. Now he's a two shot to our M60, but unfortunately, M60 is a one shot here because he got nuked by the 50B. So, instead of overextending forward too much here, oh, he gets brought down to a one shot. Oh, he fluffed his shot, but no, the 422 is heavier than the M60, picking up a ram kill there. Well, isn't that unfortunate? This 422 needs to die really badly. I wish our E50M would do something about it. And my allies need to reset cap as well. Oh, this game is probably going to end up being awful. My allies can't reset base. I don't know why the enemy team's capping out. They are winning the battle, but okay. Boys, are you really going to cap out this game? Oh, man, that's unfortunate. I got to do something about the base here.
Guys, you're gonna reset cap or 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 not. They're not gonna reset it. It's not possible. No one's in a position to reset it now. <laughs> I can't believe that ABT went for the cap out. Yikers, bad. I was gonna go for the cap myself, but no. <laughs> that was so bad. I should have gone town, I guess. I should have just gone into the ditch like usual. I wanted to play med side, but then I couldn't really. Oh man, how did my heavy tanks all die and spawn? That was a really bad game. I mean, RE100 did one shot, or YAG did one shot. RE50M and uh, M60 did an awful job working together. If they if they both killed that 4202, I would have been free to push in behind them. The issue is the 4202 is left alive. And so the E50M should have gone with the 4202 there. It's kind of a stupid loss. And honestly, the 183 should have capped out because we weren't going to... It's likely we weren't going to win regardless, but... Oh well. So let's look at this next game. Luckily, the enemy team shouldn't be able to cap out on this one as easily. Uh, we have Sheridan, TVP54, Double Tank Destroyers, and E5, and a Yo. So enemy team could go any direction with that lineup. They could try going towards A, B, or C, or all three. Not really sure. I think I'll just take my FE to the mid, see if I can farm him out. I'll let the M60 do all the big brain spotting for me. Now, I think I got spotted by that Sheridan because he way overextended, and somehow an M60 missed a shot from two meters away, but I guess we don't mention those things. Um... And we're going to be a little passive here for, you know, tanks like this 54. Let's put a quick shell into his track there, keeping him in place. Very good indeed. 54 kind of getting bopped. Now, judging by the 54's position and the movements of the Sheridan, the enemy team are probably sending most of their forces to this left-hand side. Well, at least that's what I thought. But you can never, you can never fully judge based on just some random uh, enemy team's tank's movements. They are apparently all over the place. Okay, so this Yo is crossed to the right side. 54 has gone left, and they have a couple tanks in the mid. Kind of, uh, you know, just as I called out. Here's the T-125 here. It's but it has shell towards them. Unfortunately, missing because the E-50 uh, e was ever so slightly in my way, so I didn't have really much time to aim that one in. Um, enemy team is all over the place. Okay. Yeah, all okay. right. So our Super Conqueror, not our Super Conqueror, just our Standard Conqueror, did lose quite a few hit points there. So I think my man's... Uh, did kind of down got himself nuked by one of the TDs. Good to know. Or a TVP. Hard to say. Um, I don't want to overextend just yet. Okay, 54 pulled out, but he's about to go down. There's the whole re. Not really sure what the enemy team is trying to do here. E5 ricochets. This is going to be a game that's just going to suck for me to farm in. Because I don't want to YOLO anywhere. Okay, there's that 1A3 at least. I don't want to give up mid control, you know? But their team is just going to slowly bleed out on every corner of the map. At least we know where the 183 is, though, which is the really important part of this game. All right, let's see if this Sheridan tries to make any plays here. All right, 183 has just nuked one of my allies. Sheridan pulling up a little aggro, 533 hash into him. That's good. Making him a one-shot super essential for this game's progression. Um, TVP is crossing to the corner there. Ho, Re, and E5 are both together. TVP, though, not really fully backing up there. Interesting, interesting play by him. Couldn't quite hit his lower plate. I was hoping he would just continue pulling back and forward there. Let's pop the adrenaline. See if we can put a shell in towards this Hobie or E5 here. And then aim at AP shell for the drive wheel, maybe. It stops right in the open. But I can never understand why players stop in the middle of the open there. But he does get away with it. Hobie getting absolutely nuked. Goodness. What do I do if I want to farm this game out, boys? What do we do? Really? The Sheridan went all the way into our spawn. Interesting play. But now he's not going to be able to spot it for their 183, which is kind of cute. All right, I'll let our E50M do something about him, maybe. Or do you not want to? All right, I'll just kill him myself. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. If we can kill that whole re, that's really essential. APCR. Boom. Nice. That was an important kill. I'll take that. All righty. So. Sheridan just fired again. Here's my opportunity to kill him. I should be unspotted. For now. Oh, really? The E5 spots me up. How cute. I should be able to at least force him out into the open, if nothing else. Let's hope the 183 doesn't hit me from up there. That's That would really kind of suck. Okay. So, forcing the Sheridan to pull back, which is what I was trying to do here. That's really important. Here's the Sheridan. Sheridan pulling into the mid now. All the way into the open. My ally should hopefully be able to do something about him. Let's put a hash shell into there, too. Oh, my goodness. The TVP hits my tracks. Well, this sucks. Apparently, my Hesh shell hits this dude in the gun, and none of my shots hit the TVP. Aha, die. No, I left him a one hit point. Ay, ay, ay. All right, Sheridan. Uh-oh. You might have done overextended ever so slightly here, buddy. Kill shot into this man's. Now I'm versus the full HP 183. The TVP. E5. This game was just over, man. I don't know why my team went A. I can never explain 
why players are so infatuated with going to a cap because in my opinion a cap just sucks i mean you get stuck there and you can't do anything i couldn't even really support these dudes very well either all right one shot to this man's before i go down oh man i had three tanks going to a i mean they did an okay job holding there it would have been nice if i killed that tvp though or ap <laughs> allied allied team was all over the place I should have just gone C instead of B. I think instincts would have been prop better if I'd gone C. I could have cleared out their 54 and 183. I don't know how our Conqueror didn't kill the 18 or at least keep the 183 spotted there, but uh, oh boy. Well, as I say, after 20 games, usually things go downhill. So that is uh, that is the case <laughs> right now. Another very incredible game, unlucky. I mean, what are you supposed to do when your team is just YOLOing to every corner of the map, but into like the worst positions? Like the enemy team were holding their spawn, in like hold on spots where my team were poking around buildings at a cap so yeah they're they are eventually going to lose that engagement the hash worked pretty effectively there though i mean the tvp got nuked we did manage to two shot the shirt in there and um and everything but it was just i couldn't do anything that game so like the initial position i'd taken was not very smart i guess going to b cap in a 205b as we absolutely bomb the poor sheridan there who went for the early spotting run but uh i guess he didn't realize 205bs have omega hog gun handling so we managed to absolutely snapshot the daylights out of this man's looks like mr 628 wants to get hatched in the side boom 533 into our man's very n oh he just takes 1100 from the 183 as well wow Quite the gamer experience. I'm, I'm sure he's simply delighted. All right. Sheridan's pulling out into mid. I7's going corner. 62A has been bopped. They have a 113 GFT. I'm going to go for a bit of a spotting run here. There's a 60 TP and a Type 71 as well. Interesting. So here's how the game's progressed so far. Enemy team are kind of just um, full committing right on into the corner without really covering their top base all too much. Now, WZ is over here, maybe one other tank. The TVP is the only one unaccounted for at the time being. But as far as map control goes, their team is pretty much in, in a very poor position. All right. Headshot unfortunately doesn't hit this man's. TVP does shoot me once. I, I'm just gonna accept I'm gonna take a shot or two from our man's, but I think he only had two shots in the mag, so let's put another shot into him. I'm gonna pull back and get ready to deal with this WZ and Type 71. Type 71's being really kind of over aggressive here. WZ also being a little over aggressive. Let's put a quick shot into him. Man's running reactive armor, but I mean, he's losing so many hit points for this, and now he's just going to get nuked into the open. TVP fluffs a shot, pick up a kill on this man's. We're safe from their TVP, their WZ getting hammered. And now it's the enemy's turn to get absolutely swept this battle. All right, let's pre-aim a head shell into this man's here. Um, I don't know if that one went in, but he does shoot me once, so maybe he pauses the open there. WZ's almost dead. WZ just fired. Let's aim a shelter's lower plate. Boom. And we can just see all their heavies. All right. TVP shoots at me again. So TVP's annoying. Man's just chilling in the back, but he's just really annoying. All right. Has shell 515. Very nice. Oh, man. Dude gets evaporated. Oh, the 183 just evaporates. This other dude. Talk about just instant death for their... Ah, how are you supposed to farm when they're so bad? Their whole team just insta died. I didn't expect him to send all three of their heavies there. That's kind of what messed up the game for their team. It's because they didn't have any map control at the end. All right. So let's go find this TVP, boys. Ah, oh, the blind shot didn't go in. How unlucky. All right. So this TVP is still just sitting back over here. TVP really didn't do much all game. <laughs> Unfortunate. And I didn't get my farm. This is so sad. But we did it. almost hit 300 likes. So that's a positive note. <laughs> uh, this dude's going to die before I can get to him. Oh, it would be so nice if this tank went faster than 35 kilometers an hour. Or 34. I will admit. Ugh. <laughs> Oh dear, 7 0 sweet. And our 60 TP was AFK, how nice. And then a sweep, you can't make it up. <laughs> I just got held by 62A, and our TPP just watched me die. Sounds about right. We did almost 3k damage. It could be worse. But, um. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that TPP was thinking. If he had supported the heavy side, it actually probably would have been better for him. Or not heavy side, supported his heavies as they're pushing through the mid there. All right. So we're dropped below 4k. We still have 80%. Uh, 25 or so games in. HRF Angel collab win. Uh, who knows? When HRF gets seven k a 7k game. Yeah, I've gotten like multiple 6k's, but no 7k's. This is very sad. I think I'm going to go to the gum ports. We'll spot up early, get some maybe early farm out. Uh, they do have a 60 TP and E100. Uh, and, oh, and my allies aren't really coming with. So that could be a problem. But I would still like to spot up the mid, see if I can do anything about it. Here's a Sheridan. 
Unfortunately, the gun handling was not good enough there for me to hit that shell. Whatever it happens, I'm just going to kind of spot up this crossing for now. Um, if I don't spot anything in the next 10 or so seconds, I'm pulling back into our spawn. But not to run away, but to pull on a defensive play. Because obviously their whole team is headed our way. So, let's get ready to run away. We have a wild 60 TP. Aha, uh -huh, he tracks me. I bounce off of him, but it's a good one-to-one -one trade. I won't complain too much. We both ricocheted off of each other, so life could be much worse. Man's getting a little aggro, though. Let's put another shell into him. Boom, good stuff. 50 bees AFK, but he'll act as potentially good bait here. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. I didn't realize he had a shot there. That was just stupid of me. All right, 50 bees woken up. 60 TP is getting nuked now. Very nice. TBP is running away. The E100 actually isn't covering this man, so maybe he was by himself, and I didn't have to worry about really anything. But let's see if I can farm anyone from the mid here. And there's a good chance they might have had tanks pull back up into the mid. Hmm. All right, just a 60 TP for now. And there's the 183. Go figure. All right, one headshot to the 183. 440 into him. Good stuff. That's what we like to see. 183 still just kind of big chilling in the mid. One more hash, 490. We also get a ricochet from this dude as well. 4202 staring at me. Good stuff. It's 183 having a real bad day. Another hash shell, 550. You can see the unlimited power of hash. And this 4202 is just sitting in the open getting farmed out by my allies. Good stuff. All right. So if the 60 TP wants to get aggro on me, he can. But I'm side scraping out here. So I'll have the first track shot on him since he has a middle mounted turret. I don't have to worry too much. Sheridan getting bopped as well a little bit there. And so let's just aim for a hatch shot maybe. Not quite. Of course he hits my hatch, but I can't even hit his. The odds of that. The 60 TP having better accuracy than a 215B. Aye, aye, aye. All right, hatch shot. Oh, 560 to that little cranny there. Very nice. Oh, he gets tracked into the open. He gets tracked. All right, one more hatch shot to our mans. Very nice. Boom, he fluffs that shot. 422 dies. 60 TP's next one to, uh, to get eliminated here momentarily. Nice. So we played the right defensive game here, I think. I think that was the right play. We only got 3k damage out, but we were able to hold off all of these dudes in their kind of counter YOLO, which was perfect because their meds just couldn't really push into me after their initial after their initial progression. So let's go find this E100 out before it's too late. The game's already kind of over for the enemy team. E50M goes down soon. And I want my damage, so let's go YOLO for some damage, boys. Nice. All right, E50M is almost dead. All right, E100's in the mid here. Boop, one shot to our mans. E100 just doing the HE spamming as all good E100 players do nowadays. Put another one to his lower plate. It's already game over for him. We got 4k out. Not bad. We got the dub. We got 4k damage. That's what we like to see. Enemy team um, probably would have been better off if their meds, their Sheridan and 422 just held spawn. And instead of trying to kill me that in a hold on position covered by a 50B. So even though our 50B was AFK most of that game, Mads woke up and chose violence and did 2000 damage. So good for him. The enemy's TVP also had a pretty decent game by the looks of it. Although I didn't get to shoot at him. So poor Mads was left alone in spawn. Was, was Rain logo a woman? <laughs> huh? Are you talking about the Rain monkey? Uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> uh... Vanus, when are you going to review the 907 or have you lost faith in it? I just haven't got around to streaming it yet. I mean, come on guys. There's like 52 tier 10 tanks that were rebalanced. I, I can't play them all at once. Even if I streamed once a day, it would still take me like two months to cover every single tank that was changed. If we take a moment to consider that, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Is it worth running Cali? Because I don't really notice the difference. I think so. It definitely makes penning like those E100s and stuff a lot more consistent. So for my, in my opinion, I think running Cali's is worth it, Jen. Um, also, dealing with Type 71s, having premium uh, calibrated APCRs makes your life a whole lot easier. Let's be honest. All right. We got a wild E5 up here in the mid. Um, there's a Sheridan over here. We might take a single shot in this dude in the crossing. I won't worry too much about that though, because I'm going to move into a position to deal with the Sheridan in the 113 here. All right, so he fives over there. Our Sheridan decides death is optimal and dies. Um, we have a wild 113 over here. Put an APCR shelter in front of his turret. He's spamming HE, because, like, seriously, what is with everyone spamming HE? Like, boy, you got probably like 340, 370 heat. Why are you spamming HE? Put one shell into him. Everyone thinks they're a 215B nowadays. They're just like, HE for days, HE for days. Yes, yes, let's see about that, buddy. 479, HE for days, yes, okay. 
So, um, boys, you really should be shooting a little less HE here, in my opinion. Oh, that was a really bad shot. I didn't, I thought he was just going to sit out and try and take some shots on me here. Let's pull back from this 113. He's probably just going to shoot at me because, you know, tunnel. Uh, allies are doing nothing. Well, it's game over for me. The allies are just doing absolutely... How is my... What? How is my whole team dead? Oh, my gosh. Our 57 got racked probably up there. 183 obviously couldn't pull in. How did the 62A shared and both of our Sheridans die in the corner so badly there? To a single E50M, right? Because the Sheridan was in mid, the 5 and 113 were on me. Oh man, that team was just awful. There's, yeah, there's no other way of putting it. That team was just so bad. <laughs> what on earth am I even supposed to do in a situation like that? My whole team was dead. In like seconds there. I think it's better with rare, but it takes like twice the skill to actually make the difference with it. Possibly. Um, zero damage. Zero damage. One shot. Two shot is for three shot 62A, one shot 1A3. My whole team combined like maybe did two, three thousand damage. All of them combined. Excluding me. All right, let's, let's try rare for a little. Who knows? Maybe rare will be interesting. Oh, man. What was that team? What on earth are you supposed to do when pretty much your entire team does sub 1k? <laughs> that was just like the worst possible... Uh, that was just like the worst possible team I could have had there, unfortunately. One minute and 40 seconds, yeah. A two minute... A two minute 7 0 sweep. Like, there was nothing for me to do. I went to a perfectly logical position, but my whole team was dead instantly. So it's like, oh, nice. Nice beam. <laughs> I only had an opportunity to shoot like four times there. Okay, I'm going to spot the outside for the start of this battle. Hello, 50B. Get one shot to Mr. 50B here. We might even be able to hit a second shot into our mans. Rammer might actually make a difference here, boys. Another shot into our mans here. I'm not really sure what his, his goal is, but um, yeah. Interesting play by the 50B there. Hey, Bobs. How's it going, girl? All right. Oh, he got my driver, so I guess I should use my repair kit now. Oh, is he going to poke again? He's definitely poking again. Wait, IS-7. Why do you have to block all my shots? One quick blind shot in. That one might have gone in. I'm going to go back towards the hill. I always like to go for that initial spotting position, as you saw, because it's it's nice to be able to um, kind of catch some dudes off guard. And uh, we lost the hill, though, as a result, sadly. So, RIP to our hill game. But we can still win this as long as we take this nice and easy. It's a lot of a headshot for the 405. He has a spall liner, but it doesn't matter, because as long as we're damaging modules or something, it's all worth. All right. 405, kind of looking my way. Mads gets bopped. Let's put one more shell towards him. The gun says no, you. But he's still having a, a pretty bad day, if I say so myself. Let's hold up a headshot for this 405's hatch. Boom, 430. Nice. All right. So our E50M's doing his best to hold here, although... Oh, here's where Rammer actually might have been a bit of a mistake. I, I really can't pen the Yag. <laughs> Rammer's nice, but uh, when you're facing all these frontally, front, heavy tanks frontally, it makes life pretty miserable. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Alright, let's see if this E6 gets a little over aggro here. E6 or Leo. I guess I'll just chill here for now. Their 183 is still unspotted, so I don't really want to over, over push their spawn or anything. Um, however, this Leo getting a, little, getting a little antsy over here, isn't he? 60 TP, fires, and we can probably hesh him there, but... See, if I was running calibrated, that probably would have hesh penned. Maybe have now racked him there. That's the only reason why I feel like maybe... Maybe running calibrated is more worth it, because that would have been an easy hesh pen with uh, calibrated, but it was only... I wasn't really able to hesh it with, with that rammer there. All right, let's see. APCR, nice. We managed to side out to the Jaegeru. Good stuff. Jaegeru having a bad day, but also here's where rammer might be kind of clutch up. All right. We're just, we're just gonna risk it for the Biscuit Boys. We know they have a 183 back there, but we don't care. Let's put a headshot to this dude's lower plate. Oh, the 183's not even here anymore. So yeah, of course we don't have to worry about him. We should out-reload the E6 very, very easily. Or the 50B if he gets a little over-aggressive here. E6 blown forward, one hash shell, 644. Ow, that had the hurt, okay. And uh, 50B looks like he wants some business as well. Let's get rid of the hash on the side. 500 into him, we can pull forward away from his tracking. All right, all right, all right. He still has four shots left. 
Let's get ready to put another shell into our mans here. 447. He's now almost a one shot. I probably shouldn't keep bleeding to this 50B because my allies might end up throwing this game, which would be kind of uh, sad. But I don't think they should. But you never know, right? You never know what your teams are going to do in the end. All right. Jaeger is just, just fired. He's backing up into safety here. Um, yeah, my allies did, in fact, throw on counter cap, which is a bit of an interesting thing. So I probably, the safest play for me to do right now is to pull away from this side of the hill, get to the back, get safe from the E6 and the Yeager room, because they both try to push into me or something. So let's see if we can do anything about Mr. E6 here. All right, E6 tries to pull up. Leo, nice. Leo dies. That's pretty clutch for me. Alrighty, alrighty. E6 looks like he is getting ready to pull up onto the hill here. One has shot. Oh, I didn't have the reverse speed to deal with him there, sadly. Okay. Here's the Jaegeru. He's considering the same kind of option here. All right. Here's what we're going to have to do here. The enemy team is trying to cap out, which is fine. Now, I should have the reload on Mr. E6 here. Let's just try and angle up our hull a little bit. Aim for that Hesh on his lower plate, maybe. Engine deck, even. Nice. All right. I have the reload on this dude, hopefully. Especially while he's distracted as he is right now. All right, one more hash into our mans. He ricochets again. Do, 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 do. We blocked 2k damage so far. Let's keep pulling back a little bit from our mans here. Since he had the adrenaline crew skill, he got reloaded me. Needs someone to defend cap though. Oh, it's just our E4, huh? Oh, nice grill. Clutch one grill. Very clutch move by the grill there. All right, let's see if I can do anything about it. Oh, hello, 60 TP. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 60 TP isn't paying attention. Max roll. Okay, okay, okay. I just have to pull back from this man's. All right. I don't have any hash left, but APCR should do it. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. No! Almost. Almost. Man, if the, if the, uh, if the 2 and 5 B's reverse speed was better, it'd be perfect, you know? Oh, this girl has to out. No, no, no. The Yag's probably going to kill him. Yep. That was a good try. We did, we did good damage, but yeah. I, uh, I won't be too mad. I'm, I'm a little sad we lost another one. We're part 100% winning for the first, like, 15 games. But 5.7, considering what map we're on, it could have been worse. Um, I like Rammer on the 2 and 5B, but I don't know. It's almost nice having that better APCR and both Hesh and APCR pen. Like, the Hesh, you're right. The Hesh is good no matter what. It's still 170 base, even if you run Rammer or APCR. Or, I mean, Rammer calibrated. But, uh... Kind of helps having more, more APCR pens sometimes. Especially in, in, in games like on Mines and stuff like that. Bye, Chef. Hey, see you, dude. Rip Rammer. Good night, everybody. Come early in the morning. All right, Andy. Take care. They took the advice in the wrong way. <laughs> Carry two more HE shells, please. I might have to. Man, if only I was able to, to escape from that Yag, we probably could have won that game. Let's go town. They have a lot of heavy tanks and two 183s. I'd love to farm them up. Let's, let's do our best. We'll go ahead with our Rammer. I mean, it, Rammer does give you like 3,200 damage per minute, which is just crazy. Also, thank you so much for the 300 likes, my dudes. Maybe we can even reach that 400 like mark. So if you do like to uh, like the stream, I've said like, like so many times already. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was just a joke, but I think I took it overboard. All right. Alrighty, let's see. There's a couple tanks over here. Concept getting nuked. That's cool. Um, 1A3 over here. 2 and 5B. Someone else capped B cap though. Let's see who it is. Alright, it's the Chieftain. We're gonna totally hash his lower plate if he pulls forward even a millimeter. So let's just wait and see. It's only a matter of time before our man gets a little antsy here and decides to move. Especially once that 57 gets spotted in the open. Probably gonna just pull forward or back. Ah, uh, he's gonna pull back. Okay, that's fine. Concept's gonna go down. The enemy team is super split, so that's cool. Um, only issue is I don't really get prime farm off of their split play. So, yeah. Not really sure what's going on here, if I'm honest with you guys. I can't really farm off of anything at the moment. I guess I could go back through our spawn, but there's so many tanks in front of us. I would love to just farm out right now. Let's put a hash shot to the 183. Nice. 494. <laughs> Alrighty. 183 getting getting slightly bombed there. Second 183 wants to get bombed as well. Let's put a hash shot onto him. That one might have pinned him. Alrighty. E100 has some mega crossfires on me and my allies here. Mr. Chieftain, Mark 6, 2 and 5B are probably going to kill our 57 in just a moment. So let's put ourselves in a position to see if we can farm off of that, that transaction from the enemy team here. Let's put a hash shell to this dude, 501. I right, look how good this hash is. And you're right, even with Rammer, the hash is still hitting crazy amounts of shots and pending all sorts of weird things. All right. 
Man gets taken down. Uh, 57 still alive. Our Batchat's making quite the play. I want to see if I can... So we know there's a 1A3 up there, so I don't want to yell into the mid with everyone, but he hasn't shot at anything yet, so maybe, just maybe, that 1A3 is actually not even over there. So I'm going to see if I can do anything about this E100 Progetto. Uh, here's the Progetto, boom, 485 hash through the front of his upper plate, which is kind of crazy because the Progetto actually has decent upper plate armor. Let's see if we pull forward even a little bit more here. A little bit concerned about the E100, but the Progetto is going to go down soon. Not really concerned about the one, just the 183, come to think of it. But you know what? We'll kill this dude. Alright. So we have a max roll loaded up here. 183 is just big chilling somewhere. I'm on 1700 damage. If we want damage, just gotta yellow. So let's just hope the 183 is not the one that spots me up first. Alright, so our blind shot hashed into the 183, unfortunately, wasn't a pen, but oh, 644 damage into our man's here. He's having a very bad day. All right, aim for that below his turret, boom, 466, man's is dead. Oh man, a thousand damage with two shots really is an unreal feeling in something like the 215B. Okay, let's pull forward into Mr. 100, try and farm him up as well before it's game over. It's already pretty much game over for our man's here. Boom, one more plate shot. Yay, we got like 3k damage out. I, I guess it could be worse, um, but yeah, their team was just so bad. <laughs> I honestly expected my team... <laughs> every time every single um what was i gonna say i totally lost my train of thought there very nice good one fatness uh what was i gonna say i was talking about rammer wow you know what because we lost a train of thought here's here's a bobby pat I enjoy your bobby pats right <laughs> bobby's with us it's an insta dub I don't know what a max roll is loaded. You'll see in your crew notification skill box right at the kind of uh, bottom of your screen. I can just show you while you're watching this game. You see right where like my credit consumable, like my credit provisions are lined up. Right there, there's going to be your crew notification for skills right above your hit point bar, right? And so if you have your light tank crew, max roll crew skill completely loaded out, um, you hit three consecutive shots, your four shots are 35% chance of max rolling. That's kind of how it works. And so you can kind of predict max rolls and it also helps if you're just like uh want to try excuse me and 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 rely on it a little bit for it a chance to high roll even just a little bit i don't recommend 100 relying on it but you know sometimes it comes in handy okay not able to hit a shell to this man's here and the 50b is being quite aggressive indeed but mr 50b you have hit one shot into my turret but will you be able to hit any more Mm -hmm. No, I didn't think so. Okay. So enemy team is obviously pretty split up here. I can't really do much about Mr. 183, but if I use this rock as cover, I should stay unspotted from him. Let's see if I can spot this crossing up at all. There's the Sheridan. Boom. Put a quick shell towards him. I, I had a feeling he was the one that spotted me out the whole time, but he gets nuked because he was sitting there for a little bit too long in the open looking at me. So cool. All right. So my team has full control of the top of the map here. He went, dude, why does everyone just spam HG nowadays? It's, it's kind of boring. All right. Let's put a quick shot toward the 183. Apparently that one ricochets. Oh, well. And we are getting ready to start pressuring up top here. Now there is a 60 TP. Can't quite shoot at him. You know where it's pulling through. Sheridan's pulling through. Mm -hmm. All righty. So we're definitely going to lose that C portion. But if we can remain... If we can maintain some mid control, that'll be super beneficial to me and my teammates. Okay, here is a 50B. Pick him off with an HE shot here. Very nice indeed. Looks like the uh, 183 is pulling forward here. Sheridan really can't really do a whole lot to me. He's probably just going to spam HE. Oh, he gets a very lucky pen on the uh, hatch there. Sheridan's do be that way. Oh, that's going to suck, huh? Maz decides to lose all of his hit points, pulling into an open crossfire to shoot at me instead of pulling into a safer position. Very big brain. Okay. Well, is, I suppose I should just sit back and farm now. Our 1 2 1 should get the Sheridan. Looks like the 183 is having a bad day soon, anyways. So if I just sit here, I should be safe and have some crossfires on this dude. So let's pre aim for the 60 TP. Boom. One quick track shot into this man's here. And uh, here's where Rebber actually might work out pretty well for me. Second shot into our man's here. Very nice. Looks like he, he got cold feet. He's like, you know what? We ain't pushing through there. Uh, this C100 still really wants to shoot at me. APCR. We gotta keep an eye out for this WZ, but the 60 TP should hopefully be able to keep him at bay there. Um, I'll just keep spotting up these corners, I suppose. There isn't really a whole lot for me to do. These dudes are just side scraping it out for now. 
We have double caps, so we can just hold. At the moment these heavy tanks try to make a play out from their position they're at right now, that's when I can start farming them. So, one APCR into this dude. Wow, how does that not pen? I don't even know. The 183 fold all the way through. It's just these two heavy tanks, all that's left. Yeah, I guess this isn't going to be the best farm game. Kind of poor positioning on my part, I think, ever so slightly there. Let's put a hash up. Oh, right. Those boxes are spaced armor now, Wargaming. Very, very big brain. I don't know why those boxes have to be spaced armor on the 183's terrorist side. The hash actually can't pet its side. It's kind of stupid. I'm honest with you. Uh, see, if I was running calibrated, that would have been a hash pen. So, that's what I'm talking about. Like, the calibrated hash is low-key kind of nice for stuff like that. I was so used to running it that I forgot that that actually wouldn't be a hash pen. Alright, but I should still be able to pen his bum. Yes. Oh, well, that was AP anyways. <laughs> All right, give me the hash farb, everyone. Yes, all right. Oh, my goodness. Yes, just turn into me. Turn into me and turn sideways to everyone. Ver very big brain. Ah, very nice. <laughs> I think I might switch back to calibrated. I like rammer, but I just feel like you could do a lot more with Cali, personally. Bo both of which are fine. Both of which are fine. But the moment I switched to rammer, my games were just not going as well. So, let's switch back to Calibrated, get that higher hash pen back, higher PCR pen, and go, uh, go nuke some people. Hmm. Alright, they have an IS for a concept, uh, quite a few meds, NTDs, and I think I will probably go see this time. Uh, let's see what I have for support. A VK might have a Sheridan. If the Sheridan spots B, then he, he, he'll be making the right play there, because he does have the mobility and V range to spot a B. You better go to B, boy. Good. All right. Resident stream sniper over there. Oh, he just drove into a gas tank and exploded. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> 60 TP is not coming with, but I will, I do have the TI-2, a VK, and an FV-4005. I'm not, like, super concerned with Priam Michelle into that TI-2. Sadly, that one doesn't go in. I don't think he can spot me because the TI-2 is a tier 9 light, so it doesn't have the best of view ranges. Uh, there is the Type 61 concept E100 Yag. Concept's making a interesting outside push here, which I might be able to take advantage of him and the type's bad positioning in just a moment. Okay, here's what we're going to do for starters. We're going to take up the position opposite of this Type 61 here. I'm spotted up by him, but I'm not super, super worried about that. Obviously, their whole team is going towards A. I've always said A is a pretty bad position, so don't go for it. Uh, if, if you can help, at least don't send your whole team to A, because then you'll get surrounded, especially if you have tanks holding mid. That's precisely what I intend to do here, is just pull into the mid. Concept is pulling into the mid as well. Bit overexpended here, couldn't quite hit the Hesh shell on him, but if he keeps overextending you to shoot at me, though it's only a matter of time before my TD start greeting him with some rather unpleasant shots through the face. As you can see, that has just happened. All right, enemy's 183 is trying to cross in the open, boom, 512 into him. Very nice indeed. Let's load up another shell of Hesh here, aiming this one in at his side once again as well. Boom, 524. He goes down. Very nice indeed. This concept really can't do a whole lot with me here. I don't think I can Hesh pen his hatch, but I can definitely Hesh pen his lower plate. Oh, okay. Very nice gun handling. <laughs> so unfortunately, the gun derp's a little bit low there. But now the, now the concept has, has, a, has a TI2 prime. One 500 Hesh shell to him. TI2, you can totally shoot this man's if you want, but uh, apparently he don't want... So I'm going to keep holding for now. You know, if this concept wants to get aggro, he can, but because I'm going to get some free shots on this STB, I mean, Type 61, I have no reason to overextend just yet. Very nice. So free shots to our mans over here. We have a wild Jaegeru possibly pulling forward. Uh, wow, I'm really surprised you can't uh, hash pen the Jaegeru's hatch, but there you go. Let's pull back from there. Must be like 200 millimeters thick or something. Concept is just overextending again to shoot at me here. Pull another hash shell towards the yak. See, that's where the calibrated hash is super helpful. The rammer hash would not have penned there. So I was able to pull out an extra 50 damage on that yag or so. And let's see. Mr. Concept, boom. 535 hash into him. This concept is quickly realizing why he should hate fighting 2 and 5 Bs in a, in a brawl while he's in a concept. Pull another hash shell on 2 and 468. That just leaves the concept and the, um, the leopard here. But this game's pretty much already over for these dudes. All right. Let's just put a hash shell into this man's. Oh, not quite. Should have just saved my shot for the Leopard, but not a bad game. Not a bad game indeed. All right. Easily pulled out 4K, and you're able to see just how nice that Hesh is. 255 on APCR. <laughs> what? 255 on APCR? Oh, the roll. <laughs> hey, I got ran to the gas tank. Yes, you did, sir. I, I'm positive of it. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> 60 TP uh, gave me a thumbs down. This is so sad. Who's 60 TP? Oh, it's their leopard. Man's did three shots of damage. Good job, buddy. All right. <laughs> Whoever liked the video, like it or else. Hey, guys, you heard Bams. You heard Bams. Do appreciate anyone who decides to smash that like button. Thank you very much. Is that possible to hash you or Yag in the side with Rammer? Yeah, see, that's what I thought. That's where the hash is like really nice, though. Like, having that 187 allows you to hash the side of your 100s, Yags, and a lot of other heavies that you probably can't with Rammer. So, it, it comes to personal preference. It, if you think you're going to be using um, maybe not so much hash, but just focusing on the raw DPM of the tank, then run Rammer. But if you really feel like you want to try risking it for those crazy hash shots, like I absolutely love to do, then I probably would recommend Calibrated. Really comes down to personal preference in the end for the tank. But so far, Calibrated was working super well, so I don't feel like I have a reason to really switch right now. Uh, speaking of which, enemy team of an I-7, a Concept 50B, there's the Progetto, double 405s, and a bunch of other dudes. Alright, so Concept went mid. I'm gonna try and spot this heavy tank crossing here. I do have a Yo kind of in the vicinity, but we will have to watch out for those double 405s. There's the wild I-7, and what? Why is he just sitting there staring there of all places? Okay, and I don't know how he hit that shot because it looked like his turret was behind the building by the time he fired. Alright. Well, besides that IS-7 that's just going to sit back and spawn and really do nothing for a while, I'm going to go back to mid, I think. I really don't want to overcommit to anywhere that I don't believe is going to really have enough team support. Now, say a 405 went with that IS-7 and yellowed me, my life would suck, so I, I would rather just take a safer position. And so that's why I'm going to pull up into the mid, maybe start crossing out this concept from the right-hand side here. So let's just pull it into the mid. Our yo is being good bait right now. We know there's a Progetto on my right and a concept in the mid. Let's see if we can take advantage of Le Concept or Le Progetto. So there's a Progetto. He bounces a shell off of me here. If he wants to overextend, he'll probably get farmed out by my allies. So I don't think I'll have to worry a whole lot about him just yoloing into me. But he might, he might try. Let's see if he, let's see. He's going to try and bait some shots out of me. I'm going to just sit here and stare at him for a little while. Because I really don't have anything else I want to do. I'm just waiting for these dudes to get situated to start farming him out on the side. All right, Progetto gets a little over aggro, and just as predicted, he starts getting farmed out by the allies there. So, yeah, we're safe for now. Now, the 4005s at 183 could still be a problem. Gosh, I've done zero damage, and this game has already been just kind of sucky sucky. Okay, I'm going to pop into Encounter, but let's not overextend, actually. I'm doing, I know they have TDs over there. That Progetto? Ah, uh, the Progetto's actually going to escape. I was thinking maybe I can get a kill into the Progetto. Concept and IS-7. I don't know where their double 405s are. That's what scares me most right now. They just have two unspotted 405s, and it's kind of nerve-wracking. Okay. There's the IS-7. He won't spot me up just yet. Let's see if we can find out where those 405s are from here, maybe. Nope. Can't quite spot them up just yet. And there they are. And I figured they're going for the YOLO. So let's pull back from the 405 here. Progetto's also kind of going in for a YOLO. Bit of a, a YOLO run by the Progetto here. Pick up a quick kill onto him, hopefully. Only 480 damage dealt. 405 has maximum, like, one shot left. So I'm just going to pull forward here. Pick up a quick kill shot onto this dude. And my rear should be safe. The 405 has nowhere to run. And, uh, yeah. 405 done messed up big time. Like, like, real big time. I figured they would YOLO eventually. I just wasn't sure from where. I'm glad I played it safe, though. Like, very glad I played it safe. Okay. Here's the wild concept. Okay, okay. So we know where the 183 and the other 405 is. All right, there's the IS-7. Boom, quick shot to him. Let's pull back to the rock here. Very nice. We've done about 2,000 damage so far, so it could be much worse. There's only three tanks left, though. So here's Mr. Concept. I guess he wants to um, maybe 1v1. <laughs> Let's see. Their other 405 could be running in to crossfire me out, though. I mean, that's the logical play. Instead of 1v1ing a badger. Yeah, it looks like that's what our man's is up to. Okay, let's go for the e let's go for the IS-7 first, because he is the bigger threat. N luckily, with APCR, I can pen that pretty easily. Dang it, I didn't think the concept was just going to full send it in here. All right, we unfortunately take a shot here. I'm, I'm really banking on the C-50M's assistance in just a moment against this concept here. Concept, unfortunately, fluffs his shot, but uh, you know what? E-50M is, is nowhere to be found. Um, really? <laughs> I'm uh, not really sure what that game was. I hate this map so much. It's one of my least favorite maps in the game. Everyone just kind of sits and spawn and does nothing, like, all the time. Or just YOLO's over. And that's what happened. The whole enemy team just kind of sat back and spawned. And you couldn't really push into them. It's just, eh, I hate maps that are designed like that. But, uh... I mean, these guys might be able to do it. Who knows? 
Hey, Fantasy, hey, help me. How's it going? Who if I be just looks so cool? Because it is so cool. Badger, where are you going, buddy? Hmm. They could win it. They could win it. But, um... I slightly doubt it, but the Badger probably can pull this off as long as he doesn't take a clip from the 4005. So if the E50M and Badger work together, they're fine. I don't really have too much faith in this E50M, but the Badger might be able to pull this off. He's probably on your left side, dude. Or right side, okay. Oh, he's booty on? Oh, no, he's, he's facing frontally. 450. Badger, that's a bit ambitious of you, but who knows? Maybe it'll work out. Um, 4005, though, it's going to be able to clip you out like it's no man's business. As stated, that was just a wee bit ambitious of you. Now, if this E50M was a good player, he should easily be able to 1v1 a two-shot concept. I mean, he has better reload than him, even though he has like 340 alpha. Okay. You could have shot him in the side. You quite literally could have shot him in the side. Like, hmm. he's gonna throw. The concept's gonna yellow in because he probably assumes that E50M's just really bad, but um, Shoot. Yeah, I, I had zero faith in this E50M. I had absolutely no faith in him. He could have won if he had just shot the concept. Uh... <laughs> 10 out of 10 player. <laughs> what was he thinking? He like, <laughs> I don't even know what our man's is thinking. Our badger threw her because he threw the cap there. 118,000 battles. Wow. Mans has played a lot of what blitz. Um, if the E50M had just shot the concept when he took the first shot and then pulled away and baited the concept into him, the concept is like 380 alpha. It's not even going to guarantee, like, he'd probably still have to two shot him, right? E50M could have just paused for a moment, put a shot into the concept, then ran away. Oh man, that was definitely not very ideal. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, let's hop into another one. Alright. That that game was just a little bit painful, I, I will admit. It wasn't really the 2 and 5 B's fault. I just wasn't positioned anywhere very well. But really the issue is the entire enemy team was just spent all game sitting at the back of the map, really. Like, they weren't really pushing forward. My team was mega split up, so it was really hard for me to find an area to farm damage. Especially on that map, which kind of sucks. Okay. Um, let's see. M4 is just going to sit there, haul down. Can't really do a whole lot to him. So, wild 200 LT here. Boom, 429. Very nice indeed. They do have a tank on A, surprisingly. Must have gone the long, safer route. Alrighty. That's cool. 1704 and um, Anjo San Best Waifu 6. <laughs> Anjo, <laughs> Anjo San Best Waifu 62. We got ourselves a weeb on our hands, boys. Operation Exterminate. Begin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's prepare ourselves to start 1v1ing Mr. Mouse over here. One APCR into our man, so we can pull away from him, hopefully before he can shoot at me. Very nice. Mouse takes 500 from another dude. Um, yeah, Mousy Poo, not having a very good day. Now, 200 LT with his lovely 5 or 6 degrees of gun depression, also experimenting, experiencing pain. Although, he's in a really annoying position, if I'm honest with you guys. Like, uh, we, can't really, we can't really wedge him out super easily, which is the problem. And same with the Sheridan, so... I guess my whole team decided to give up spawn. That's a really good idea. So, um, yeah, this game's looking a little sus right now. Let's put another shot into this mouse here. We'll stay Sheridan, we'll stay Sheridan safe. We'll try and stay 704 safe. Very nice. Looks like our 268's making a, a reverse pressure here, which is good. There's that 200 LT. As long as I keep chilling for now, let's wait for this maybe object or something to pull forward. Right now, I'm more concerned about protecting our spawn than really pushing anywhere. Uh, the 704 is a bit over, so that 200 LT could be a little annoying to my allies, though, if I'm honest. Um, I feel like I kind of have to make a pressure soon. I just don't know where to make a pressure, this is the problem. All right, there's the Sheridan. He's pre aiming for me. <laughs> my whole team is just kind of sitting in spawn. Dang it. The mouse is bleeding a lot, though. That's good news. Mm -hmm. Sheridan's probably going to get ready to start killing my allies soon here. Mouse pulls forward to shoot at me again, even though he got nuked last time he did that. So, cool. All right, M4 MLE dies. These games are so weird. Why did my meds and like 268 not hold spawn? Also, are you guys seriously not going to cap out A or something? We got a double cap deficit here, boys. We got to start capping A, picking up kills. 
Ah, uh, this game is over. I didn't realize we were still down on caps there. Dang it. <laughs> no! What is my team thinking this game? I don't think they're even gonna cap A. That's the issue. Okay, okay. Don't die, Sheridan. Don't die, don't die, don't die. I will protect you, son. One more kill. There we go. Okay. Already, already. We gotta keep picking up kills here, guys. So 200 LT should be next. Oh, no. It's, it's a loss. It's a loss. Um... Wow, not really sure what that was. Okay. Um, our heavies were... <laughs> what were my heavies doing that game? <laughs> Would have been fine if it wasn't Supremacy. Ay, ay, ay. Um, Moishin, E100, and IS-4. Instead of pushing into the enemy's two isolated heavy tanks where the mouse was focusing on us, they just sat there on A cap or B cap the entire game. If they'd been a little more aggressive, we probably would have been able to cap their base and maybe get the dub there. I was just trying to support my allies and spawn. The issue was I couldn't really YOLO because the mouse would have crossfired me if I tried that. And then, of course, the 200 was in mid. They had the Sheridan on the outside. Like, I couldn't pull into our spawn to defend it. I was just there to support my dudes, but... Like, the primary issue was we had three very strong heavy tanks just refusing to move from their positioning there. That's why we eventually would lose that game. If they had just managed to push a little faster and maybe retake A, we could have had a chance of winning that. Ooh, hello! What a nice little Hesh zone to you, good sir! Hey, <laughs> hey! Love that Hesh. Love that calibrated Hesh. So good. Alright, so we take one from, I presume to be the 4005. Let's see, if we if we bounce 410 again or something, that's the 4005, right? Could be a, could be a, oh, it could be a Hori. Another one to the Hori. Nice. Let's get some good farm out this game, boys. Let's make up for these last couple of slightly, um, Pepega battles. Alright, one APCR, boom. Hori's having himself a real fine and dandy day, isn't he? Alrighty. Um, I guess that's the 4005? He must be up top there. He'll get spotted soon. Oh, it's an M60. Well, that's adorable. All right, let's see if we can engine deck snipe this dude. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, bless him. Bless the poor M60. I don't know what I'm looking at, but all I can say is bless him. <laughs> and he's dead. And he's dead. These teams are truly something special, aren't they? All right, we get one ricochet from the Hori. APCR. Oh, I guess the 45 was back there as well. Whack. Oh, no, my accuracy's down. No. We'll just shoot AP. Nice. Well, this guy's gonna be an absolute steamroll, dude. Our mouse, this game, this game, our mouse was omega useful. APCR, nice. 3,400 damage dealt. That's what we like to see. Even with a dead gunner, look how good the 205B's gun handling still is, even with a broken gun. Like, that's not bad for a tank with a broken gun. All right. And we still managed to snap a kill shot to this dude. Well, um... Yeah, ni nice, uh, nice enemy team. I guess they had a really good day, huh? <laughs> we got 4k damage this game so easily. Goodness. Oh, man. Their team was... But, oh, they, they had the bad team this time. I guess all is fair in Wargaming balance. <laughs> Alrighty. At least we got the dub. I will die happy now. Almost 400 likes. Let's go. Hey, Fanis, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. Let's get the Bobby Cam action going as well. Very nice. Uh, 4,200. I wanted my 7K. I haven't quite achieved the 7K yet, which is big disappoint because this tank isn't too difficult, the 7K. You just need a slightly longer game. Stream is so entertaining. Hey, halfway, glad you're enjoying. Venice, what's your opinion on the new chat filters? What are the new chat filters? You mean the one where you can't type more than like two words at a time? I think it sucks because you can never communicate with anyone that way other than help. <laughs> Wargaming should just fix the chat glitch and then they don't have to like censor the length of it. All right, here's what we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go left here. Mouse 2 and 5B, E50M, Vickers, 50TP. Uh, yeah, that would be some amount of tanks here, but if we're able to take the med corner, I don't think they have a ton of tanks that can contest me. My, the thing that makes me happiest about this situation is they don't have any tank destroyers, which is really cool. So, Conway coming with, K91 coming with, I take it back. I'm not going mid because my whole team is dropping into mid, so I'm not going to drop into C-cap for my own safety, if I'm sure you guys will understand. I will spot up this crossing, however, and do my best to nuke anyone in the mid. There we go. Quick shot to the Vickers, demonstrating that rather spicy FE2 and 5B gun handling. Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, 50 TPs crossing in the open. Looks like we have a Mousy Poo here. APCR into Mousy Poo. 
I'm not really sure what my allies are doing here, but uh, they are they are demonstrating their their extremely talented abilities of mid yellowing. All right, 50 TP kind of pushing through here. We're gonna let our Leo pull back. Leo, if you if you pull back just ever so slightly, I can provide you the support you need. All right, 140 looking a bit almost dead here. Nice, he gets taken out by our G over here. Let's see, quick shell into the E50M. It is a 205B and a Vickers. I'll, I'm gonna save my repair kit, okay? I'd rather save my repair kit in that situation. 205B can start pushing in down low, but AP cream, you know, APCR should be able to pen him super easily here. Luckily for me, this dude's just kind of spamming AP, so I can just keep kind of pulling over and shooting at him. Very nice, he doesn't have the gun depression to shoot me from there. Very cool, very cool. Let's pull back once again, get ready for a nice maybe hat shot this time. And my allies are all just dying left, right, and center. What a great gamer experience. Oh yes. Yes, this is what this is what we like to see. Um I don't know what on earth my team was, <laughs> was thinking in this situation, but uh as you can see, uh dying was a big part of that plan for them. Um Oh yeah! M4 is YOLOing around an enemy spawn and K91 is sniping from A. And unfortunately our Bash Shot the Yawn Conway Sheridan and Leopard really kind of played a little too aggro on the outside. They should have pulled back instead of just all pushing there. I tried to help them out, but enemy team was of course going to win when they had seven tanks pushing a flank together. And I had a lot of, um, two, our two other heavy tanks were wandering around on the other side of the map, providing really not any support at all. I mean, look at this dude. Look at this dude. He's like, this is a rock. Brother, you're driving into a rock. Oh yes. Very big brain. My goodness. <laughs> oh, he actually penned the FV. <laughs> he penned that entire magazine. You know what? Um, I'll give him credit. He penned his whole magazine at the end. Not very many players that play like that would do that. Uh, as for the, the team, I mean, I guess he spent the whole game 38% win rate. Oh, man. I have M4 did a single shot of damage. He has 1100 games. Let's see how many tier 10s he has that are tech tree. Oh, I see his highest tech tree take is tier 7. And M4 is his first tier 10. Very good. Uh, if, if you can make the M4 look really bad, I, I have to give you some credit because that isn't always the easiest thing to do. <laughs> ah. No, anime in general is awful other than Attack on Titan. Bams. Bams. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put you, we're gonna put user in timeout. You were just uncultured. I don't care. You are uncultured. <laughs> people hot, people over, I mean, yeah, anime has its stereotypes and it's true. A lot of anime does follow stereotypes. However, there are so many actually super, just super good shows, but people will never know about them because they're too, too familiar with the stereotypes. Okay. That could be much worse. <laughs> Okay, what is the enemy team? Like, why is the enemy team for this full on YOLOing? Everyone into the middle of the map here. I'm so confused. Do I have any support? Because if that 57 and uh, 50 people have decided to YOLO in on me, then we got big problems to deal with. I'm going to start pulling back. We're going to use this rock as cover. Uh, actually, I can't really pull back. The 183 is going to be an issue. I have a fellow 183 for support, though. All I have to do is hold here. I hope my allies can clear that mid as quickly as possible. <laughs> Anime the best. I agree, Kermit. <laughs> I mean, I, I will admit, there are a lot of stereotypes. And I was of the opinion that it was bad until, like, a year and a half ago. Like, I had never watched a show or read manga a year and a half ago. But then I was like, oh, wait, my stereotypes are actually... Uh, at least what I thought what it was like was wrong about a lot of shows out there. You just have to find the right ones to watch. Okay. Let's see. So... I think that 183 is still around. Oh, yeah, 183 is having a great time. All right, 50B is lagging out maybe i don't know we're just we're just gonna hold on to our safety here 644 maybe oh yes oh yes oh yes i don't know what's happening this game guys i'm so like i'm just so confused as to what is happening this battle like why do they have four takes in the mid can someone explain to me please boom track shot oh this 183 hates his life he literally hasn't penned a single shot against me I mean, he's like splashed me for a shot, but he hasn't like penned out of three shots. He's done like 500 damage. 
That's how you know your you're just your life just straight up sucks in a 183. All right. Protect me, homies. Don't let me die. <laughs> One track shot. Oh my goodness. So I farmed 4K there. <laughs> Girl, like the best anime. Both sides. Hmm. I just can't wait to see Chainsaw Man animated, dude. That's gonna be straight fire. Okay. 4.1K. <laughs> I watched that myself last year because I thought it was cringe to our animes in their regrets. See, Ruski, you know what's up. I thought it was cringe too until like a year and a half ago. <laughs> so now you guys look around. Which anime is your favorite, Fatness, and your chats? Um, honestly, a favorite's hard, but I think Spice and Wolf, especially the first season, is still one of my favorites out there that I've watched recently. That one's just super nice. It's from like 2000. I think 2008 or so, but I really enjoy it. <laughs> if you could change anything in Blitz, change anything what in would Blitz, you change and why? What would you change also, and why? any stream that includes Bobby Cam is a good stream. I agree, Hashtag Bobby Cam meow. streams are good streams. Thank you so much, Stinky, for the donation. If I could change anything, what would it be? Um, gosh, that's difficult. I think one thing I would definitely change is Type 71's ever profile. Like straight up, that's that's top agenda for me. <laughs> Type 71 upper profile. If there's another thing I would change, I think would be really cool is allowing you to kind of uh, customize your tanks a little bit more. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Oh, he ricocheted off my turret and pinned my hatch. Oh well. Let's start our farm fest, guys. 418. That's a bit of a low roll with hash, but I'll take it. Oh yes, this is the farm fest we've been waiting for. Oh, 523. Look at this, guys. Oh, man. But I think rebalancing some tanks like Type 71s and stuff like that would be where I start. Oh, wait, that's his tracks. I'm kind of stupid. Um, as far as major changes, I'm fairly happy with the game, so it's hard to say. Oh, look at this gun, man. Like, the 205B's gun truly is something else. It's an entirely different animal. Like, watch. We're going to pull back. Bop. 511. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. How many other 2 heavy tanks can just do that? Oh, man. You hate to see it, but you love to do it. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. So, I don't really want to deal with this M103 too much here. They shouldn't be able to pen me. Very nice. But this E3 do look like a juicy snack. So, uh, first, let's focus killing this Le Vickers Light. Okay, can't quite kill him, but maybe engine deck. Well, we hit it, but we didn't quite pen it. Could be worse. E3 is backing the safety. That is, of course, the intelligent play to make. And we have Mr. M103 here who wants another one through the front of the face. Not quite able to pen him. All right. Well, my team have essentially won this game. So let's use our sped boost to get out of here. There's just the Vickers and the E3. We're going to go kill the Vickers and then deal with the E3. So let's load up a Hesh shell here. As long as we don't low roll, we should be we should be big shelling to kill this dude. And, of course, we do low roll. I always jinx myself when I say that, but because we are selfish damage farmers, we are just going to straight up send it for the E3, because this game's already over, let's be honest, guys. All right. So, Mr. E3, I hope you are ready to get bopped. Bop. Yes, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, he gets taken down, and let's go into them 103 again. Yes, give me that damage. <laughs> give me the damage. All right, Mr. M103, your time has come. 474. Don't get 183'd. Don't get 183'd. He's so getting 183'd. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. He definitely got 183'd. Bop. <laughs> Akame got killed 91 days. Any more favorites? Akame. Akame would be a favorite if the ending didn't suck so much. Let's be honest. All right, 4.5. Not bad. See, now we're getting some decent kids now. Man, I was gonna drive. <laughs> also, Devil Z is actually so hard to drive. Uh, you guys are talking about something else. You're more talkative than the RU streamers. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's. Thank you. <laughs> I like to talk a lot. It's it's a lot of fun. It's good practice. HRF, what do you think about the Japanese car culture? I think it's cool. I, I generally speaking, enjoy Japanese culture, so. <laughs> I stay away from all anime fandoms. Uh, anime fandoms are, yeah. But, but um, yeah, you can be like me and you can just like read all of Chainsaw Man in three days. All 11 volumes plus the online chapters. <laughs> it was a great, it was a great read. What could I say? Good stuff. Can't wait to see Mappa adapt it. HRF Ghost Wolf premiere 2023. We'll be watching it when it premieres. Um, oh, hello. Bop. Potentially. I haven't been in, I haven't seen, I really wanted to watch some, um, 
Last time, like, the Jujutsu Kaisen movie was in theaters, I was like, oh, cool. But then my final showed up and ruined all my plans, so I wasn't able to watch it live. Next time a good film is in theaters, though, we definitely got to go for it. Oh, Bouncing to E3 and bopping the TVP. That's what we like to see. Okay, that rhymes just, like, way too well, and now I feel cringe. Uh, what tank you like most? Everyone tanks. Uh, every tank from tier 8 through 10. Um, tier 8, I don't really play, so I can't give an honest opinion. I would say, um... There's just a lot of tanks in tier 8 that are good, but I can't really find myself saying, oh yeah, this one is the one I like the most. So, I'll just choose one at random. Let's choose something like hash pen. Well, that was a bad... It was like a it was like a 30% chance that that hash would pen there. <laughs> so, probably not the best idea. All right, let's put one shot onto the Sheridan, make him a one shot. That's pretty essential for me and my boys. All right, all righty. This dude is still on reload for a little while. Let's put a shot onto the mans. We got double cap, so we're on the better spawn for this map. As long as we hold with double cap, there's really no way for us to lose. All right, boys, do we believe in the hash? We don't believe in the hash. No, not at all. We, we never had faith. It was never going to hit. Uh, enemy team getting kind of bopped, like, real hard. Um, hash? Oh, now we believe in the hash. Now we believe in the hash, guys. It exists now. All right, let's pick up a quick kill on this man's. Oh, I ran out of gun depression. I suck. I nub. Suck nub. Okay. All righty. Let's just do a bit of a debate on the E100 here. Maybe aim for that drive wheel so we can just keep pulling past him. Kind of block him with my gun here a little bit. We're just going to circle of death this dude until we can hopefully hash pen him. One more track shot. He's going to get shot by the TBP twice, in which case it's probably not even worth time to hash him anymore. Not really sure. Uh, poor E100. Can't really do much here. One quick shot to you. He goes down. 7.52 is all that's left, but um, they have no hit points. I mean, they have no cap points left, so it's not even really worth. We're going to cap out before the game's over. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We hit those. <laughs> oh, 400 hash. That's like AP. That's like AP alpha on a hash shot. No, 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 no. Don't pull forward. Darn it. Darn it. I wanted to farm this meds. Okay, I just drove into a wall, and we cap out. Boo, I hate supremacy. I should have capped B. Ah, such a nub. <laughs> Bro, why is there an IS-4 in your spawn, <laughs> potato? Because heavy tanks do that. They do nothing, quite often. <laughs> I was kind of a rip. Yeah, the IS-4 did two shots of damage. I tell you, man, those spawn snipers, those spawn snipers, they really built different. Initial D? Ah, yes. If as if this object 274A new tier 8 Russian med and creates superior to the T-44, or is the latter still slept on tank? Cheers to the, to the stream. Honestly, I haven't played. The Object 274. So I really couldn't say if it's better than the T-44. It looks decent, but it looks pretty slow. Uh, whereas the T-44, one of its strengths, in my opinion, is that it's actually really, really fast. So use that information as you will. <laughs> Fanis, thanks for doing stream. Late Asian horny. <laughs> Your previous stream was like at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. Yeah, I usually do streams in the evening, but sometimes if I have stuff to do, I have, I, I'll have to... Um, do them a little earlier, but uh, glad you're enjoying the stream. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cross. Oh no! Oh no! Hit ah yes! Yes indeed! Okay. Um. Oh, that's a big oh no. Ow! Why? Why are Yags so fast? Why? Why are Yagaroos so fast? Okay. Well, that kind of sucked. I didn't think the Yag was going to get there so fast. I was like, okay, the E100? Sure. The Yag? Definitely not. Me and this dude should be chilling over here. I'm just going to keep an eye out on what's behind us. Now, I did get spotted up, so there could be a tank, like, right behind us. Oh, it's the E100 that spotted me. What an interesting position, E100. Um, these dudes are just content to sit in the back of spawn. I'm more concerned about someone pulling through there. My allies are dying on the hill, and, well, it looks like our Yag's going to create a diversion very, very soon, so I'll take advantage of that when he does. Okay. Let's see. The Jaeger isn't really here. Boom. APCR into the C100. See, this is- I only have nine APCR left. This is why it's a bit risky running such a little APCR on this tank. That's the 183. All right, all right. Here's what we're going to do. This 183 needs to die as quickly as possible if we can help it. Let's load up a headshot for him. Really? Oh, wow. I way overextended there. That was just idiotic by me. Good news is, though, that I do believe I outreload the Yag, but I can't overpoke with the 183 there. Hopefully, our Yag and Type can do a little bit more here. This game is a bit bizarre, I will admit, but it's not completely over just yet. All right, Chieftain overextending a little lower plate. Not sure how that one didn't pen, but we do now have an E4 problem to deal with here. 
Okay, we can ignore the E4 for the time being. One quick shot into his hatch there. I'll just have to double hold here. Don't really have an option. Double holding is my only option, boys. All right. Boop, 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 boop. A little bit of that lower plate. Give it. Gimme, gimme. My allies are down 3-0. This is very, very not, very not pog. I can't even pull back thanks to this um, 183 spawn sniping behind us. I'll just sit here for now, but I'll have a chieftain to deal with soon. All right. Chieftain looks like he's getting a little aggro up here. He fires. E4, I also know, is on a reload here. Sheridan's coming in, though. Oh, man. This game is just looking kind of over for me. Let's just put a headshot onto this man's here and pull back. Oh! -ho! We've blocked, like, 2.7k damage so far. But the issue is my allies are just really, really out of it this game. I'll let the C4 crush me for extra damage. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. Oh, he's 700 damage off this, too. Um... Sheridan, 30B, Horiol through A, always the bad play to make. 1A through sniping. The Yag got caught up there instead of going C, and, um, ooh, Sheridan gets taken out. Me and the type couldn't really do a ton there. Yeah, I should've got med side. We probably could've won if I had gone med side. Oh, well. I didn't think our meds were gonna suck so much, though, versus a Sheridan and an STB-1. Two tanks. <laughs> <laughs> or were they facing one of the heavies? They might have been facing a heavy up there. In which case, I'll say, I understand. Um, nope. Uh, Chieftain was here. E100 was here. E4 was here. Yag was here. So, yeah. Except for the 183 spawn sniping, our three dudes couldn't kill a Sheridan and an STB. That's kind of sad. <laughs> if, if our meds had managed to clutch up there, we would have probably been okay. Fast, what's the craziest thing that ever happened in your real life? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that, that's a trick question. A lot of crazy stuff happens. <laughs> um, but I can think about it. It was just Sherry SD, not even the 30B yellowed up on top. Oh, I see. Not the same gun, this, this version ST92. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, that's a lot of meds. I think I'm just going to um, clear heavy side as quickly as possible. I learned last time going med side didn't work. We're almost at 400 likes. Cheers, guys. So let's pull in through the mid here. Not the same gun dispersion as T92. Oh, you're talking about the Sheridan? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> all right. Now there's a chance they have a Type 71 Mini 100. I mean, there's a chance their team could have all headed this direction. It's pretty slim, but we should still keep our guard up. I'm going to preempt towards C cap in case someone crosses in without me noticing. While also angling my tank up here just a little bit in case they send someone around that corner that's unspotted. So far, no one's spotted up though, which is interesting. Uh, Lee was spotted around the corner here, T22, and by no one, I didn't mean like, and no one on the enemy team, I meant like no other heavies that I thought would head this way potentially. Alright, if the C100 backs up even a millimeter, we can nuke him with hash on the side. Boom, 477, that had to be a very unpleasant experience for Monsieur E100. We can probably pump another hash shell into him here, boom, or I mean APCR. Let's pop that rammer. And get ready just to go full ham on our mans here. I mean, I think he got mad, so he's, he's just kind of yellowing. So, 322. We actually might end up taking a shot from this dude. I, I thought he was going to run away, so I got a little aggressive. But instead, he's one of those players where you shoot him once or twice. He gets angry and just just won't stop driving forward. Um, yeah, very nice E100. So, E100 gets taken down there. Interesting uh, play by our mans. TVP, <laughs> nice username TVP, is straight up yellowing. Which is kind of cute. Let's prepare a headshot for our mans over here. Bop. Oh, and a fire. Yikes. Looks like our spawn's getting yoled. Hori's out of the fight. 405 is up top. T22 is crossing into the mid as well as the Type 71. Uh, the question is, do we kill the T22 type or do we go for the Hori 405? I think Hori 405 will be a better kill here. So let's push in on this Hori. Pick up a nice headshot onto him maybe. But no, I, I, suck at, I suck at shooting on the move. Okay. So we managed to get behind Mr. Hori here. All right, let's aim another headshot into him. 502. He's now a two shot to me in this IS-4 as long as I don't fluff my next headshot. There's the 405 pulling in to try and shoot at me. So let's pull back for a second. Uh, let's see if the 405 pulls out. He doesn't quite do it. It's just me and this IS-4 here for now. So I'm going to have to pull forward with our mans just a little bit. We'll let the 405 not shoot at us. This Vickers is, is probably going to overextend. One headshot. Boom. Nice. He gets double tapped there, losing most of his hit points. Me and the IS-4 can just hold for now. Um... 
if this vicar is in, and this dude get i mean i probably should take some shots for is4 the issue is that 4005 coming in on in from behind here all right let's aim at apcr shell that's that just stupid armor profile on that tank i'm just trying to avoid the crossfires for now so is4 if he wants he can hold off that flank this vickers is just gonna sit there too much side by this dude very good for me I'll pull back ever so slightly from this dude here very nice all right all right, all right, RS4 is probably going to end up dying to the Vickers here in just a moment. Let's see if we can take an opportunity to... Oh, no, we're dead to the hurry. What? Where did that shot go? <laughs> Dang it, RS4, we had to push somewhere, but you backed up. We had to just push it to the Type 71 there, but you, if you had pushed with me, I would have pushed with you. Oh, man, that team wasn't very good either. Yeah, rip our win rate. We're down to 70%. Uh, we did 4K. Could have been worse. If that we had died, it would have been better. Um, I'm not really sure how the dudes in our spawn all did like one shot of damage and died. Yeah, not, not really sure how that happened, but, uh, you know, it's best not to consider too hard on what the teams are doing and just enjoy the process. <laughs> Games and 1k likes the stream, share with your friends, like your 1k hash pens by fatness. Imagine. I wonder how many hash pens I've penned, because I penned like probably like three a game on average. At least. Ooh, what a fatness. JD on Blitz, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Wow, I've played 40 games. Big brain. Wow, so many 2 and 5 Bs. Enemy team have uh, two 2 and 5 Bs. I have a 2 and 5 B. This game will be very interesting, I think. Okay. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Looks like our E6 is going for a ditch push. That's fine. I'm not going to full commit to that, though. Let's sit back here for just a second. I'm going to prepare myself to... Just be a sneaky little damage farmer from the back here instead of over committing for now. So glad I could catch your stream. Love your streams, JD. Thank you so much for the donation. Do appreciate it, my dude. Um, how do I get spotted through a bush? And also my ammo bar wasn't open, so I wasn't able to switch the APCR fast enough to shoot that dude. Sag. All right. I hate this map so much from, from when it comes so to glad bush I place. Could catch you streaming. <laughs> Love your streams, exclamation mark, colon, underscore, HR, feed. I still don't know how I got spotted through that bush when that dude was, like, in the open, but, you know, it's best not to overthink it. One headshot. Oh, yes, that 2 and 5B gets hammered. Yes, that's what we like to see. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Here's what we might have to do here. So, Sheridan and E50 are... They look both to be pretty... Well matched on the flank there versus our Skoda and T22, but our Skoda and T22 seems like they're throwing that side. I want to see if I can maybe provide some assistance from back here. Let's put a blind shot in. I think that hit a rock and not the tank, but who knows? Maybe it helped out. And um, I'm going to stay in a position of support. Now, they're going to push the outside probably pretty soon. They have a 268, I would assume, covering the motion. And the Sheridan is kind of going to push up top. One of their 205Bs is maimed. There is the E50M. Let's see if he pulls into the open. We might be able to shoot him here when he does. Oh, that was such a small shot. I would have been so lucky to hit that. Let's see. When he fires, he might pull back right into my gun, but he is currently unspotted. Interesting. That's where the enemy's 205B is. Don't quite have the gun depression to shoot at him just yet, but uh, we will keep, we will, we will take note of that, of his position. E50 just shot at me, so let's put a blind shot in towards him. 268's on the outside, E50's on the outside. Looks like what my team needs to really do now is kill this Motion and 2 and 5B combo. These dudes are both kind of just chilling back here. And they're by themselves. Like, these two dudes are pretty isolated. So if we can pick up a kill on these dudes, then we might be good to win this game. But um, we'll have to be careful about it. Now, 2 and 5B has accuracy, but reliably hitting that dude's hatch, not so much. All right. Let's see. Motion's backed all the way up. All right, let's aim a shot for his hatch. Boom, 344. Very nice. We're double bushed here. He'll never spot me up. We are down two and two and O. Oh. oh, there's an I7 back at the two and five B. All right, we're gonna have to go back into spawn reinforcements soon. Sadly, I don't want to have to do this, but I don't have much of a choice here. If we let these dudes just free roam in our spawn, we got bigger issues to deal with. So, I'm gonna start the process of relocating back towards our spawn. There's the Sheridan, who fortunately is unable to push us now. He's also a bit overextended. Like, he can't really get into a safe position from there. He's always gonna be exposing a little bit of his tank to me. So, let's aim a head shelf for the side of his turn. Huh? Okay. Um. 
Not really sure what happened there, but okay. I'll pressure the Sheridan out. 268's out of the fight. Sheridan's by himself, and hopefully our uh, grill can pre-aim for this man. So let's just full send it. Because we really need some map control right now, Because especially as we're going to lose the sea cap. All right, all right. Here's Mr. Sheridan. Not quite looking. One headshot, 518 to this man's here. Nice. I dealt 2k damage, which makes me think I might have actually blind fired the E50M when he shot at me earlier. Put a quick kill shot towards this dude. Nice. We are down to two caps here, so I gotta cap A as quickly as possible. I, I don't want to do that. Nice. Our, grill, our 50 TP kills this man's. But if we don't if we don't recover from these cap deficits, we won't have a chance of winning. So let's start pausing A cap for the moment. We know 268's low, our grill dies, and we're probably not going to win anyways, guys. There's not enough time. This game was very bizarre. Ghost shell. Yeah, it kind of felt like it. Usually there's an explanation when you don't see the tracer of a shell hit, but that was just, like, really bizarre, in my opinion. Okay. Well, this game is over. I'm going to just wait for our dudes to pull in to me and give me some last-minute farm before it's game over fully. Come on, yellow me, laddies. Yes, good laddie. Give me all of the damage. The damage will be mine. Enemy yes, don't cap way. out. Give me all the damages. At least let me farm up 4k before it's too late. Alright, Mr. 2 and 5B. Let's go, buddy. Nice of you to sped boost all the way over here for me. Really do appreciate it. Let's just hash each other to death. Doesn't that sound like such a joy? <laughs> At least I got 4k out before the game was over. Um, what's your favorite fun game mode? That would probably be Big Boss or Uprising. Probably Big Boss. I like the customizability of Uprising, though, but uh, Big Boss is just a lot of fun. Well, you got 4k out there. Um, T22 did one shot of damage, and our Shkoda did one clip. So, uh, rip, rip to our bedside flank. But unfortunate that that shot on the Sheridan and Pen. Feels bad. Are we just, like, not waiting anymore in the 2 and 5B? Has it just come to that time of night? <laughs> well, guys, got 1k likes and 30k before the end of the stream. Easy. <laughs> Go shells. Not guys, two and I mad from tech tree are absolutely terrible since we're on type six one standard B can't be decent, but eh. Honestly, I think two night meds are really good. I think at least they were really good. I think of the current buffs that they gave all tier tens that the two night meds might struggle a little more, but I think they're okay. Mr. Royal. Uh if I'm loving the Progetto 46 at tier 8, what would be a good medium at tier 10? That's difficult because the Progetto, uh Brian, doesn't really have an equal, at least a tier 8 Progetto. Like, that tank is just super good. Like, it has good gun handling. It has a really good auto reloader and decent enough armor. I would say you actually might kind of like the TVP, even though it's a bit of a different play style, but currently TVP is pretty good. And I would say the tier 10 Progetto is probably the closest thing you could get to that, but it's not going to be quite the same. The tier 10 Progetto just doesn't quite pull it off. Let's put a head shelter. Oh, I thought he was running towards me. I am so stupid. Okay. Enemy team are just dipping off of A in a very bizarre play after capping it, which is fine. That means I can start pulling it a bit. Now, we know there's an E50M over there. I'll, I'll try not to worry about him too much. Um, let's just see if we can spot him up first. Unless he was running away through the mid there. All right, we have a giant mousy poo over here. Let's put one shell towards him. 380. Okay, E50M's in the back of their spawn. That's quite adorable. Waffenträger trying to make an escape. Um... Their team is just all over the place. Okay, there's a wild grill. Apparently, I was still spotted, so we take one from him, unfortunately, which wasn't a very wise move by me, but I will. Not the end of the world. Let's see if the C-15M spots me up. Not quite. Oh, their team is pulling forward. Hmm. It's a rather bizarre game. Their team immediately went into spawn defense, which I would say probably isn't a bad play, all in all considered how this map plays out, but I don't think it's going to be good enough for them. Oh, man, that shot really did not go where I wanted it to. Alrighty. Now there's the Waffle Trigger. 50B in the open here. 575 hash. Very nice. We've done 900 damage to two shots so far. Um, let's see. 50B is kind of scared to move. One more shell towards him. And wow, my RNG. <laughs> I don't know the 205B has good accuracy, but at distance, it still isn't the best. Okay. This game is already over. I don't think anyone needs to uh, 
You don't have to be too big brain to figure that this game is already over for the enemy team, 3 and 0. Oh. So if I want damage, ooh, there's the grill. This girl is very lucky as far as snapshots go. Okay, let's wait it out. There we go. One has shown to you, sir. 434, very good indeed. All right, let's just yell onto this E50M. Oh, he doesn't have a spawn liner though. <laughs> oh, 593, yes. Um, Man, the enemy team was just so bad, there was no way for me to farm out. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh, man. I didn't think their whole team was going to yell town. Thanos on the phone, Drew's on the TV, Muchos Tancos. <laughs> well, this is actually like an iPad, so yeah. <laughs> if you want to call it a phone, that's fine. No, my average 69% win rate, not bad though. And we broke 400 likes, thank you boys. Okay, that was a pretty decent dub. Hmm. Well, we've been streaming for about three hours. Let's think of a fun way to end tonight's stream. Um... I will be trying to stream a few more times this week because I gotta reach 30k before August, like August 25th or so, because uh, then my semester starts up. So, um, hmm. What would be fun? What, what would be fun? That's the question. I mean, the 183 is always memes. Um, not the Caro, don't ask. <laughs> do, 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 do. When was the last time I put the Super Bunker? Or oh, the 422 is good. You know, 4202 is goaded. I'll probably stream the 4202 pretty soon. If you guys want. Can you play Tier 9 Conk and the end of the stream? Oh, Tier 9 Conk? Yeah, Tier 9 Conk is pretty goaded, to be honest. I, I think you can run Rammer on the Conk, though. Because you're playing against Tier 8s more often. So let's get that 8.9 second reload. Type 71. No! I don't like Type 71. Type 71 like my nemesis. Don't, don't, don't make me play it. <laughs> but we have Bobby. You can play with Bobby. That's a good idea. That's a fun way to end the stream. Play with Bobby. Yes. <laughs> yes, 4202. Ah, uh, yes. But I forgot I was going to do the Conqueror at some point. So let, oh, let's, let's quickly... We'll have to put some control off so we can get into a game. We'll do a Conqueror game because Conqueror is pretty busted. Uh, of course, we want 4202. And then we'll do a game of the 422. Then we'll co-quits for the day. Sound good, guys? Sounds good. Thanks for the 400 likes. Mm. All right. Conqueror time. Fortunately, it's a tier nine, tier 10 matchup, so it's not going to feel all that great. Like, the Conqueror is going to be busted when it's top tier. That's the thing. Privet, huh? Tivor, Privet. Um, if you're not top tier, your Conqueror is not going to feel busted, if, if you feel me. Uh, it, it'll be okay, and it still will be a good tank. Also, we're going to drop out through mid. Hopefully, I don't get spotted by anyone through there. But, um... You know, it's it's in tier eight when you can just start destroying people with hash. You know, tanks that have no armor in, against tier nines. That's when this tank is gonna just be busted. So, yeah, let's wait it out for now. We don't know where that 183 is just yet. Hopefully, those three can clear that side out pretty quickly here. I'm sure the Leo's gonna make a break for it any moment now. It's the, it's the only logical play he can make right now. All right, one has shown to you, 500. Conqueror though, dude. The fact that the Conqueror gets one one um, 170 hash is just pretty busted, right? I mean, it's a Conqueror with 170 hash. Like, how ridiculous is that, right? All right, all right. Side of his turret. Boom, 479. Uh, unfortunately, VK gets goes down there. We are at a hold down position for now. The Conqueror actually has a really good gun, so we can probably hold down this corner pretty decently against the Kampf Panzer and, and, and friends. Uh, Kampf Panzer's here. Let's just keep wiggling a little bit. Put another shell into him. Very nice. I, I forgot how nice the Conqueror is. Conqueror is just easily one of, um, one of my favorite tier 9 heavy tanks. All right, all right, all right. All right, wild E100 here. He's not quite paying attention to me, so let's load a patch for the side of the type. Ugh, types are just so dumb. Okay. Oh, I, maybe I should have maybe I should have ram calibrated now that I think about it. But it might have been a little bit more worth it against like E100s and stuff. Okay. We are definitely going to become toast if we don't pull back from here quickly. So let's start pulling back from this corner. Before the Vat Type 71 just yolders over on me. Going one shell into it, maybe. Not quite. We have a TVP for support. We can keep backing up for now. Very nice. Type turned around. And you know what? We're going to take advantage of that moment to take a corner control against this type. So, Mr. Typu can stay there in the corner all he wants. There's the Vickers. Very nice. All right. We should have some degree of crossfire on these dudes now. One shell to the type. 2,700 damage dealt so far. I played a decent game, but I'm going to have to really work quite difficult if I'm going to give my team a chance to win this battle. Let's put a track shell to this man. So 
All right. Uh, I have two teammates. Ponin pulling into the mid. As far as support goes, uh, the rat type is yelling me. I hate types so much. Unfortunately, I won't be able to 1v1 this type and 50 TP here. I mean, he has way too many hit points anyways. With APCR, we should be able to pen him at least pretty easily. All right. He's giving me some easy side shots here on him. Let's uh, just pull forward a little bit here. Maybe hatch the side of his turret. Oh, only 43 damage dealt. But this tank is too fat. I can't deal with the type by myself. Three. And we have the 50 TP now. Let's angle up our tracks just a little bit here. Taking 500 to the face. Type just doing what types do, which is this YOLO, hardcore. Very cool indeed. All right. We can pull back from this man. Oh, if you hadn't killed my loader, I actually could have killed this type here. You know, I'm gonna let the 100 victors kill me. Come on, you guys kill me. Don't, don't let the type kill me, boys. Yes! I hate types. Type, you would have lost that 1v1 if the 50 TP hadn't saved you with one shot. Think about that. I did 4,600 damage. Um, RE100 did zero. RVK72 did zero. R268 did one shot. Very classic t what Blitz teammates experience. But uh, yeah, dude, Super Conqueror is super good. Uh, sorry, not the, I mean, yeah, Super Conqueror is good too. Conqueror, tier nine Conqueror is great. Uh, especially, I, I think running Rammer actually was the play in the end. And if I had penned my Hesh on the side of that type's turret, then we would have killed him. But, you know, that tank deserves all of that traverse speed with all that armor because, you know, balance. But um, that type 71 legit would have lost that one versus one to an almost equal HP tier 9 Conqueror if he hadn't been saved by the uh, 500 alpha shot from the 50 TP there. Think about that. <laughs> One more to 430 lags. VK72 is now a 100. All right. So 4202. Okay, let, let's bring up our other aftermath um, thing because this one's just going to look really bizarre once my third game loads in on the stat tracker. Okay. So, hey, that was actually, I was surprised. I mean, I knew the Conqueror was good, but that felt really nice. I haven't really played too much Conqueror in a while. So to be able to kind of just casually pull through and enjoy it again was very satisfying indeed. All right, so 422, everyone know 422 got goaded armor profile last update. I mean, it's not invincible, but it's super good for what it is. Um, Wild Grill pulling through. He's, he's like a Grill 15 is shooting HE and my 4202. Like, think about that. I mean, yeah, people will still be able to pen you through your turret if you're not careful, but it's still kind of crazy to think that something like a Grill of 15 is resorting to shooting HE. At your 4-2-2. Now the enemy team is doing the very uh not so big brain everyone YOLO into A cap play, which is definitely um not gonna end well for them, I think. I think we can all agree on that. So let's see. Who's capping A here? Oh, let's see, E5 and friends. Oh, of course the E5 bends that. Oh man, they're all gonna like perfectly right dead center of my reticle of my turret there. Alright. I keep holding here for now though. It's only a matter of time before the YOLO, but Never mind, I can't hold here for now. So what happened is my whole team abandoned me on the hill. <laughs> they abandoned me to fight a Type 71 that they're doing a very poor job of killing. Thus why Type 71s are broken. 515 Hesh into our mans here. Rill's pulling around the outside, as I kind of expected him to. But he won't really be able to do much to me, because now I'm in a solid holding position. Okay. There's the T92. M60 is low HP now. Grill is being a little bit aggressive here. Oh, oh, of course, yeah. I run out of gun depression before him. I still out-reload this grill, though. One more hash into our mans here. Gonna wait to see if the grill 15 pushes or shoots anyone. Not quite. I think I'll just pull around the back then. I don't really feel like dealing with this mans. Gonna pull out uh, TI2. I'm gonna wait, wait and see if this TNT wants to pull out. I don't know if I can out spot him. I should be able to spot him from 230 meters, though. Nice. What a bizarre game. Their whole team just yelled through A, but yelling through A never really works. Also, not a really fun game because I got just like strip yell. You can't really use your armor profile super effectively when you're not using your gun depression, so that's what kind of happened that game. Hmm. Oh, there's the grid. I will have my revenge. Bop. Mission accomplished. Avenge, avenge uh, achieved. Put a headshot to this dude while we're at it. Yes. Oh man, 422 hash is really something else. 
Like, in the end, no matter how much armor we're gonna give the 422, the only thing that, like, makes this tank click so well is the Hesha has. I turned this kind of abysmal game into an easy 4K just because of Hesh. Oh, this thing is nutty! I should stream it again sometime. I kind of want to play another game in it, although I know I should stop, but I love 422. 4,500. Um, you know what I'm wondering? Maybe I should run armor on this tank. I don't know if it'll make a huge difference, like 4% or not, but let's let's see. Maybe it will. British tank engines are... <laughs> yeah, dude, that, I love the British medium tank engine sound. It's so good. Well, I had to go feed it in the water. The, guy, the critters come back. It's still gone for the for the Enduro weekend weeknight stream. Yes, J6. I, I hope the animals are doing well. Um, I am in the 4202, so you're catching me at the very end of the stream where I kind of play a couple different tanks before going to bed. But uh, yeah. All right, 4202 time. Let's see. E50M 30B shower dawn. Now, okay. 30B is being quite aggro. We should be able to hash the side of his turret here. 484. That's always very spicy. Enemy Sheridan is, um... Well, he's making the very big brain plays. Oh. I'm gonna pull to a safer position for the time being. Wow! Um, yeah. Very big brain plays. Okay. Oh, wow, you really hit that? Of course he hits the hatch. <laughs> I swear. I swear. Sometimes it's just like, bruh. All right, there's the Type 71. Here's the K91. Who should struggle to pen me? One has shell, 391 into his side. Now I know people were like, "No, eh, the 422 got its gun handling nerfed. It's so bad now." But it's it's really not that bad. I mean, now that you have more armor, you can poke a little bit more comfortably, which is kind of a dub for the 422 in my books. So on this dude. It's not perfect, obviously, as you can see. People can still pen the hatch or some weird angles on the turret, but it's a lot better than it used to be. And you'll be surprised how many ricochets you will be able to get from this tank eventually um, during during quite a few games. All right, let's put a quick HE into this man's here. Mouse, I believe in you. Good one, Mouse. All right, enemy type 71. Being a little bit aggro over here. He wanders out of the fight. We know where the K91 just big chilling in the back. I think it's time we uh, we showed some of our some of our supremacy here. It's about, oh, 550 hash in, on the move into our mans. Very spicy. You know, since I hate type 71s, hash. Prepare to die. All right, let's angle up our hall. I'll see if we bounce any shots from this K91. Although I'm not really interested in shooting him, just the type. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, yes. Keep giving me that farm. Oh man, I love the Ford 202 so much. I really have to do a new stream on this tank just because I love it so much. It's everything you would want. I'll, it's like now it has armor, mobility, hash, alpha, accuracy. Is there a single thing to complain about on this Would you play Type 71 vehicle? for donations? Also, could you play Type 71 <laughs> underscore HR? Hey, get JD. You know I hate the Type 71. I mean, I guess I could play a game for you since you donated. Thank you for the donation. But uh, um, I guess it's just the end of the night. I'll play a game with the Type, but I don't like it. <laughs> I just find it so, like, eh to play. I mean, it's a good tank. Don't get me wrong. Hash preferring screens. <laughs> 4.7k. Oh, man. I mean, did we even have to work the farm? I literally sat behind our mouse all game and just let him do all the damn Like, farm. let him take all the shots for me, and I just farmed out. You hate to see it. All right. Type 71. I don't like this tank. I don't like this tank. I mean, it's a good tank. I don't like it because it doesn't perform well. It just reminds me so much of the old IS-4, and it's kind of just lousy play style where it's like oh yeah i just have a ton of armor and 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 everything and i could just drive and do whatever i want and it's like yeah um that's why i'm not a huge fan of type 71s but it is a good tank don't get don't get the wrong idea it's a super good tank there's a reason i don't like it it's way too good on the armor department nightcap for the donut chad mad lad also love for sweet bobbies thank Night you so much j6 chad mad lad thumbs up <laughs> j6 fix. thank you so much for the also, donation heart. Heart, heart, There's Bobby for, for you. Sweet La Bobby. Sweet La Bobby says, I appreciate your hearts. There you go. I'm just going to yellow across. Why? Because I'm a type 71 and I quite literally do not care what happens to me. I'm just going to yellow over. All right. The whole actually could be a little problematic. That is true. Let's aim one heat shell to this man's here. Pull back from him. Pop that adrenaline to farm our dudes out. He's going to probably really struggle to pen me. Let's aim for that lower plate. Ah, type 7 gun handling, though, is definitely not so ideal. All right, Hori just fired. 
He's gonna probably start turning back. So let's aim another heat shell into our mans before he gets taken down. This type 71 enemy team, instead of running away, is kind of just sitting in the mid, which is, I mean, maybe he's baiting for a 183. I don't know 100%. Doesn't look like it, but I think we can just pull on in behind this dude and be like, bop. And then, of course, because this tech needs a ton of reverse speed, let's just be able to, like, completely out reverse our mans here. Very nice indeed. All right, let's aim for that. Weak spot on his side. Bash shot the on pulling in as well. Ah, uh, this tank is just so dumb. <laughs> this tank is seriously just a world of dumb. <laughs> Although this dude's getting wrecked because he didn't put himself in the right position there, though. Like when you're in a type, yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to get like mega isolated. That's obviously not gonna work well. Sorry, slimy. I think that's what your name said, slimy. I don't know if it said slimy, but I'm calling you slimy now. Okay. All right, one shot onto this dude. Ah, uh, yes. Very good, close, difficult gameplay for the Type 71. <laughs> okay, my tank isn't tall enough. Let's see. Sheridan and 183. Let's go farm those dudes out. Ba -ba -ba -ba. This tank is... What? So what? Although this game is ending so fast, I won't be able to farm anything. The 405 is just about to destroy stuff over here. Alright, 183. <laughs> 183 doesn't even shoot at him. He's like, no, I give up. Can't blame you, 183. Can't blame you. Alright, 405 is going to die to the Bash of Yon, so yeah. Yeah, that's the Type 71 for you. I mean, such exciting gameplay. I just yellowed through the mid and yellowed their type, and then yellowed through town, and, and kept on yellowing. Oh, I forgot. Ugh, this thing doesn't have enough gun depression. That was a really bad shot. I was expecting my gun to dip down a little sooner, so I was just kind of pre-aiming it, so that was a total failure. Alright, <laughs> let's see what Mega Fire Gate of 45 be for streaming. That's just the fact. <laughs> I love you though. Alright, JD on Blitz, if you ask. Thank you so much for the donation. <laughs> Yay! It's exciting gameplay. Woo! Type 7. Let's see one. one Mega Farm game in 4005 before stream ends. Oh my. Just for the fans, LOL, love you too. <laughs> Alright, hey, search. What's up, brother? Hey. So happy to hear it. Looking forward uh, to it. We all are. Huh? What are we looking forward to? Huh? 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 <laughs> Naj plan on coming back this week. Ah! Cool, cool. I, I don't really get the context, but cool. All right. Bobby has left me. Very sad. We'll put the camera back up so it looks a little better. All right. One Mad Lad Mega Farm game in the 405 because JD asked. <laughs> we'll stream 907. Gotta do the 907 sometime. I think the 4202 I can put off because regardless, I've I've always loved the 4202. Oh look, it's Anju-san. That was the mouse from that game we had. Where my team just kind of sat back. <laughs> it makes me wonder what Anju he talking about. Not Anju from 86, I would assume. Oop. Bop. Oh, I didn't get spotted. Let's reload our mag. Cool, cool. We're gonna yellow down low. Ba -da -da -dum. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -dum. I love playing the 4005 is just kind of a sneaky... Little, you catch someone off guard, you bop them, but maybe this isn't the right time for that. Looks like the enemy team are actually, in fact, headed in towards this side of the map. I'll let the mouse do all the spotting for me, though. Oh, 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 oh. Sheridan is about to die. He's about to get the... Oh, 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 oh. That was really bad of me. One shot, two shot. VK missed. Okay, we're gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. This is definitely going to hurt. I got to run as quickly as possible. Alrighty. Away from the 50B. Away from the VK. I kind of fluffed that up a little bit. <laughs> fluffed that up. <laughs> that sounds so weird. Uh, but, you know, we could still pull this back. Alright, one track shot. Let's hope he doesn't have any repair kits. He does unfortunately have a repair kit there. But, um... One shot into this man's here as well. Let's see if this VK wants to pull forward on me. He doesn't know. I'm going to reload before he knows it. Oh, dang it. Why is he yoloing anyways? I could have had two more shells in the magazine. I don't understand players, man. Okay. Let's just keep pulling back. I still love 4005 so much. Oh, I can't wait for it. I should have put cooldown consumables on. Ooh, you know who's looking like a re snack? That one. Eight oh, never mind. My whole team is coming in to just bop that 183. Okay. Well, this game is kind of over, isn't it? They really aggressively yelled in the town. Like, way too aggressively yelled in the town. Alright, one shell. Boom, 513. Five, two shot. Boom. I'll just pop this one out just in case. Boom. But since we're a damage farmer, we're going to load an HN for the 50B, because why not? Boom. <laughs> and it's game over. Oh, wait. Nope. My allies can still lose this. I take it back. 
Maybe I should have killed the, the VK there. But kind of throwing, but no, our E5 is healthy. Our E5 has this. Dude, just go. You can kill the E5 and then take care of the grill, no problem. Yeah, we, we win. We win. I was like, they don't have enough HP to pull this off. Was that a mega farm game, though? I don't think so. I don't think that qualified. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to, uh, I mean, I totally messed up there, but not go on the VK. I could have, I don't think I would have had like that much more damage. Maybe one or two shots more. 3.8. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad indeed. Um, not quite a mega farm. It's a little below average for me in the 405 right now. Uh, let's try it again. Look at me playing so much one nation when they <laughs> How long did it take you to get 70% win rate? Many, many years. I don't think I achieved 70% till about 2018. And I started playing the game probably about late 2014. So this was the first account. I was a solid 52%er for a very long time uh, before I started kind of progressing over the years. And so, yeah, it's something that I'm a little proud of. I will admit uh, we have hmm, just a 62 way over here. Maybe I don't want to overcommit. Hey, Bobby's back. Yeah, you can see her tail. Okay, our 62A is not going to help me on this side. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we got an E4 here. Come on, come on. Let's let's go. Let's go, 62A. Spot for the homies. Even though... Oh, why? 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 Let's just clear, let's just clear med side. If we all go together, we can do it very easily. Oh, my goodness. I'm now spotted in the open. Okay. You know what? We're, go we're just full sending it. One track shot. Two shot. Three shot. This game's gonna kind of suck. I kind of got stuck in the open here, which is why it's gonna suck. As long as I don't get shot by the E4, it's not the end of the world. And it's the end of the world for me. But that wasn't what I was hoping for. Our 62A is pretty useless. <laughs> Dude just would not spot up for us, and our E4 just turns around out of cold feet and runs away. I knew I should have pulled forward there. Oh well. But that wasn't quite the big brain farm game we wanted. Goodness, 62A, you just had to spot them up so they wouldn't YOLO and I would have pushed it and supported you. And the E4 would have gone too. Goodness, why do players have to be so passive? They don't pay attention to the minimap, so they think they're alone. Then they run all the way back in the spawn. Ay ay ay. Oh, you got three shots of Boo. That game is definitely below average. I hate that map so much, though. Hillsdorf just sucks so much sometimes. All right. Well, that wasn't very bop. That wasn't a very bop game that I wanted. Uh... Definitely shouldn't have pushed in, but at this point, I've been playing Blitz for way too long. And so I'm just like, mentally done. Uh, yeah, usual. We'll end it with the 183. <laughs> Our mistake. And and core 405 battle. Very, very pog 405 battle. Yes. Um, I probably should have just yelled back into our spawn, but I was like, if we do that, we'll probably just get flanked by the meds and lose. And so I was like, I'll just push it with the 62 way we got this. But then the 62A was like, kind of just sitting back instead of pushing in. And so I got, yeah. I probably should have just dipped him. Just seeing how that player was playing, the most intelligent player I could have made that game would be to just run away from that 62A as quickly as possible and assume he would do absolutely nothing to help me because that's pretty much what happened there. I assume my team's probably going to lose that battle as well. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, now we're in a 1A3. How did we get into a 1A3? I really don't know. Just kind of happened. Here we are, in a 1A3, while I wait for my 405 to get out of game, because that game was going to take a while for my team to probably finish off. I don't usually play this spot. Who knows, maybe it'll work though. Ooh. Oh wait, it could definitely work though. Could have snapshot that dude. The 183's gun handling is actually low-key so good now. <laughs> Alright, oh wow, that's where their grill is? How bizarre is that? All right, their STB is being quite aggro. Their whole team is here. Question is, what are these dudes doing out of the fight, providing zero support for the homies? Oh, well, let's see. Leo's going to get a little bit aggro once again. Take that. <laughs> the one of these gun handling is way too good now. It's kind of funny. Like, straight up, not kind of funny. It's very funny. The kind of snapshots you can hit in this tank nowadays. Like, low-key. Or maybe not so low key if you're a 183 enjoyer. High key. Okay. Sadly, our 268's about to go down. My whole team is just pretty much lost. They are on an adventure to end their favorite rocket ship. <laughs> so, um, 
yeah, I don't know what to expect. From, you don't know. You never know what to expect from these dudes. But let's put a thousand to this man's at least. Estebi's gonna yell into me. Fifty-seven is still just wandering around doing nothing, as all good fifty-seven heavy players should. And here we have Saw725, a currently exploring the factory at the opposite end of the map, as far away from the engagement as physically possible. And no, it was the T92 who capped C. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. What type of teams are these? Um, yeah, it's the same control mode off at night, but I won't get into a game fast enough if I have it on. Uh, 405 games, but I still did better than some of my allies. Oh, I still did better than our 62A. Go figure. Okay. Well, let's just edit on a good game in the, uh, 405. Huh? What, what, what clock is that? <laughs> when can we see Optic 9 7 stream? Ah, uh, the 183 memes, Pog. Dude, yeah, J6. 183 is so much fun. Um, Saw, though. You know, it would have been so helpful if we had our, like, only tier 10 heavy tank with us. Or, like, dipping through mid, or or anything but that man's sat in the back of spawnal game and then once we were down four tanks drove to the opposite end of the map where no one was obviously located this is very sad he explored the factory or you know what maybe he's just he's a factory inspector that that must be it why, why would he go to the railroad tracks and fight there my man's got to inspect all the equipment and make sure it, it meets the requirements and everything and is properly certified factory inspector i knew it all right um, I'm gonna be passive for now. I don't want to get 4005 or Jaeger root on, so I'm gonna take it a little easy for now. Once we figure out a little bit more where their team is, then we can pull out and bop some fools. So there's the 4005. 30B's here. 60TB's in the mid here as well. Uh, I assume our 50B is probably gonna. He should hold position instead of pushing in. Let them push into you and let me do all the work. Um, although, you know, their team is getting a little aggro along the outside here. There's the Jaegeru. Okay. He gets jaegeru on. However, out of nowhere, a wild 60 TP appears, preparing to take one shot for the team. Maybe he will take more. Okay. Oh, man. That uh, Jaegeru essentially just died. Spam an HE shell into him. One shell to our man's here. Two shots into our man's here. And third track shot onto our man's here and then just eat past him. Hee <laughs> That's more like it. So 183 gave our team lost. Wow, what a surprise. What a surprise. I totally didn't see that loss coming. Okay. Um. Hmm. This game's a little close. Let me see if I can help our girl recap B. C cap real quickly. Kill beans. Kill kill. Um. As for where I should position myself. I'm gonna help our 50 B out for now. The yellow kind of has some crossfires if I'm not careful, because I have a very fat head on this tank. And so let's just pull slightly to the outside. There's the 30B. The 30B is sitting in Narnia. 4005 is in mid with no real shots on us. And um, Yo is kind of in mid as well. Interesting. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, what? Okay, that bat chat is just straight up lucky as they can get. Uh, but we do track them. Boom. Okay. Batcha is now like a two shot, so our 50B should be able to kill him. I could have almost one clipped that Batcha if I had uh, not somehow fluffed that first shell. I should have waited for my ready cal to get spotted, but then again, I didn't think it was going to be there, which is why I pushed in. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's pop that ready cal. One HE. Okay, 500. Dealt. He has a spawn liner, so I may as well just shoot AP. Two AP. Three AP. Oh, man. It's hard not to adore the 4005. This tank is just so strong. All right. How healthy is that? Well, yo, yo's pretty healthy. So same with the 30B. I'll wait 15 seconds for my equip for my magazine to reload. Then we'll just yell at this dude. We should be able to win. We do have them on hit points, but ooh, that's a yo. Okay. He spotted me up. So we'll just have to kill the 30B here. All right, Mr. 30B, the time has come to die. Because 4005 is really mobile. Like, you may be mobile, but you ain't got nothing on the 4005's mobility, Chief. All right. Nothing. Okay, we could lose this if we're not careful. So, Yo is pushing in behind our E100. E100, you need to drop down as quickly as possible while you can. Okay, I think the Yo just clipped out. Okay, here's what we're going to have to do now. 
There's the IS-4 on B cap or C, a C cap, it's the Yo. Our E-100 is just gonna yell to his death. I gotta kill the enemy's Yo here. That ain't happening. They have triple caps at 800 cap points, sadly. I wish I could say it was, but that definitely ain't happening. Let's wait for this dude to pull into B cap and then we'll just clip him out. I'll wait for him to overextend. He's probably gonna YOLO into B. Okay, what do you think he's gonna be there? Right about now? What do you think? Or sorry, D cap. Okay. Let's pop our considerables and see if we can catch him off guard. What? He's not pushing in? I thought for a fact this dude was just gonna YOLO into me. Okay. Um, I kinda don't wanna waste my considerable if I can help it. Dang it, I just wasted my reload considerable. If I can track this IS-4, we're good. Alright, one, one shell to his side here. Two shots. Three shots. Oh, it rolls 502. You know, I did a lot of damage, but the darn team, our E100. Goodness, E100, why didn't you just pull back to safety? No, you got a YOLO to the beta die. I did 6k, which is good. Our E100, though. Come on, bro. <laughs> why can't I win? It was a good game, but I couldn't win. <laughs> I found out the interest, uh, so I was having fun, and then the, um, should be... <laughs> I don't like those people. <laughs> what? What? Oh. <laughs> I was so confused. Sad, so close. I know. If you had rolled 500 or 2, at least I could have gotten, like, 6k damage at that game. I love 4005, man. Any excuse to disband the 4005 makes me happy. If you're one, if you guys are just dropping into the stream and wondering where the 2 and 5 beat is, that's the first three hours of the stream. Uh, the rest of it is just me kind of randomly playing. <laughs> All right, um, Sheridan Patton, Triple TDs, uh, E100, and Ice 8. I think I'm still gonna go mid here. Gosh, man, I've had some just, like, insane damage farming sessions in the 405. I once had a session where I had, like, 5k damage for, like, 8 games in it, and I was just like, bruh, this tank can be so memes when it comes to farming damage. But you do, you do have to hope a little bit that your allies don't die Im immediately, because that's kind of, well, that's kind of important. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's aim one shot to Mr. Bat. I swear, if that dude had blocked my second shot, I would have been mad. One blind shot, two blind shot. Maybe I hit someone there. Batchat, why? <laughs> the Batchat didn't even shoot and he pulled back. Dang it, if you, had, if you had done that, I would have been able to maybe get a full, like, at least two shots into that Badger there. The blind shots might have gone in. Who knows? You, you don't really know until it's, like, a lot later. All right. Oh, yes. Please pull in on us. Oh, what, 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 what? If only I can track this dude. If I can track this dude. One track shot, maybe. Please, please, please. Track shot. No. No. If I had my consumables, I could have. Okay. Well, that, this game is just bizarre already. All right. One quick shot to this man's here. Uh, second shot. <sighs> I don't even know what's going on. This game is so bizarre. What is going on, guys? These these dudes are just yoloing all over the place. I assume the 183 is in mid. The question is, do I care? Or do I just want to go for the full clip on the IS-8? For them memes. Of course I do. Oh. One shell. Enemy armor is Two shot. Enemy armor is Three shot. And four shot. Hit. Now mind you, this IS-8 had full hit points before I started clipping him out. Now he's on 270 HP from 1900. Poor dude. Hold oh, your owner gets caught on fire by the Quran. I uh, bash out the on. There's an IS-8 over here. You can totally kill him. I want to waste a shot on this dude, because I want to shoot the 100, but nope, here it goes. Oh, Kron, are you going to be a G and kill him? Yo, 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 you wonder it's about to mess up, though. Oh, one track shot. Two track shot. Three track shot. Dead. Yes, I enjoy your update, <laughs> update 9.0 experience, E100. Oh, this tank is so ridiculous. <laughs> it seriously is just way too ridiculous. Oh, man. Oh, 550. Man's gets a mega high roll. You got a badger to deal with, buddy. Watch him max roll me and kill me, and I'm just gonna be, like, very big Sag. Alright. Alrighty. Fun stuff. Fun, fun, fun stuff. Uh -huh. Almost able to meme the Sheridan here, maybe. Okay. Where do you think that Sheridan's going? I should just reload my magazine. He's probably going down through their spawn, right? That's the only... It's the only logical conclusion that I can make in this situation. Okay. Oh, Mr. Shawedan, where are you? Oh, wait, I'm a one-shot to him. No, no, no. 
No hurry, the fat chat's gonna clip about. Yes, run away! Run into Papa Fatness, give me the 5k. Come on, make it happen. Run away! No, he's gonna get the bat chat like a thousand damage on him. It'll be too late. I'll only get 200 damage on this fool. Mm hmm. Come here, little one. <sighs> oh my gosh. Hey yo, uh, let's let's try and be respectful of the chat, everyone. 4.7k! Yay, we won! Oh, not so bad. That was a good game, the 405. Do I have any fun replays saved? Let's see. Yo on Fort Despair? Why would I save a yo game on Fort Despair? That's only two minutes and 40 seconds long. Why would I do that? Why would I save a yo game on Faust? Like, what are these situations? Okay, I'm platooning with Fidu. Let's see. I have no clue why I saved this game. Oh! Oh, yeah. This leopard is about to be the most unlucky leopard ever. Watch, watch. <laughs> Bop. Bop. <laughs> this leopard is like, my life sucks. I, I, I saved it because those two shots were just so ridiculous on that leopard. Now, I don't think the game was very good. All I know is that leopard hated his life. And then we YOLO'd and it was game over and I did like 2k damage. Yeah. Great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um so Yo and Fort Despair. We showed 5A in mines. Why would I post Yo and Faust? I was platooning with Fidu again. I have no idea why I saved this. Oh, this was actually a good game. Um, but it was really long, right? Okay. So we're we're just big chilling over here. I don't even know if this one's like worth looking through. Let's see, yeah. I mean up oh, I7 side armor. So fine. Um yeah, we're reloading our magazine. We're just chilling. Fidu's up top. Now, enemy team in this situation are a little split. I gotta do 57 and Yo stream soon as well. Gosh, so many streams I need to do before my semester starts up. What a shame. <laughs> Play the bash F editor to Leo. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know. Did I, did, wasn't this game good? Okay, we, we, we clipped this dude out. And then Fidu's busy clearing off the flank by himself. And then this Kron's just chilling in the mid. So I bop him with three shots. Okay. Let's look at how the lineup's going so far. Our IS summons all that's left on that flank. So we're down three to one. Fidu finally picking up a kill on that side. And then so I'm going to take out the Kron here. Yeaguru just absolutely chad dropping down on this Kron here. Kron is just so preoccupied shooting at me. He gets HE'd in the rear by a, uh, a good old, uh, good old Yeaguru. Okay, so... Here's where the game actually starts getting a little bit better. A little more exciting. Me and Fidu, our Yag's low HP and our, our Yag done messed up a little bit here. He takes a shot or two from the AMX 50B, but it does allow me to kill the AMX 50B. Now he's a one shot. Fidu is on 1200 HP, I'm on 1600 HP. We are versus three tanks, just the two of us. We, they have a full HP 5A, a pretty healthy Yag, I believe, and a you know half a uh, half HP uh, 5A. Now we're, I mean, uh, uh, whatever, IS7. So I'm gonna 1v1 this 5A. And this is probably why you should be running the DPM gun on something like the Yo. We're trying to gun block him. Now, obviously, a 5A has, is going to pen you right through your kind of like upper plate with its standard ammunition. That's actually decent standard pen. But uh, we're just going to be like, okay. So at this point, Yo DPM goes ham. Fidu has already killed that IS-7. Good for him. I'm just still, I'm just out here farming this, this 5A here. I'm a two shot. Fidu coming in, coming in for the rescue. Yoink. Hit some 370 for heat. I decide what to do here is um, I'll let Fidu get the kill. Now, we can see that the Yag's pushing through the mid. So I decide the smartest play right now is to push across. That way the Yag can't trap both of us around a single corner. So we get a single kind of track shot towards this Yag. We're gonna hit a second shot. Yag fires. Yag, Yag done messed up a little bit. Not able to kill Fidu. Um, and so yeah, we just go get ready to pull the big brain flank and uh, yeah, kill, kill the Yeager. This was an okay game. It was just uh, a nice little example of what happens when you have two Rotatomous Prime Heavy Tanks playing together. You know how that good stuff goes. Uh, me and Fidu clutch up a lot of games. We went we went like 93% today for like 15 games. So yeah, we, we, we always win a lot. I don't know how much damage Fidu did. Okay, he did about 5k, I did 6k. Nice little clutch up. GG, Mr. Fidu. -y. GG. So uh, yeah, okay. That's it for today's stream. Man, I, I wasn't planning on doing a three and a half hour stream, but here I am, three and a half hours later with the mustache.
but uh, we also have Bobby with us. So thank you so much, guys, for dropping by. I hope you enjoyed today's live stream. Thank you to all the excellent donations today. Everyone who dropped by in chats and just chatted around. It's great having y'all. Uh, the mods as well. And just your viewers. Slam that like button. 455. Almost 500. Not too shabby. And so, uh, yeah. 2 and 5B. Absolutely love it. Is it perfect? No. As you saw for quite a few games, especially towards the latter half of the stream, it has its issues in terms of just being a little sluggish in acceleration, top speed, uh, and its armor profile and gun depression. But if you can get that gun to sing, like, it is crazy. Like, those first 20 games or so with 4.4k average damage was a really just, like, example of the farming simulator that I was talking about. So... I think the 205B is in the best state that it has been in a long time, especially with that hash, and uh, might be worth getting. But just, just remember, the 205B takes the right kind of player to perform well. And there we go. And Bobby. <laughs> the fight is the bomb. Thank you, Sutton. Bobby. Bobby's like, stop it, human. She's like, stop it. I'm trying to sleep. Yes, but you're, you're so cute. You're too cute to sleep. <laughs> Bobby could become a boxer. Bobby Boxer. That'd be a great name for her, wouldn't it? Bop. Bop. Except she bites. Fighting, fighting's not allowed in boxing, I think, girl. <laughs> Alright, guys. Y'all have a great night. Thanks for dropping by the stream. I'll catch you later. Take care. Peace.